<laughs> Good morning, guys. Yo. What's everybody doing today, huh? <clears throat> Pooping? Yo, how many times have you guys pooped? Dropped the fat one in the toilet while watching me. Hey, yo. People shy, all right. Dropping shortcakes. <clears throat> yo, 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 what's good, Burn? Good to see you, bud. Hope you're doing well! Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I watch you sometimes while I'm taking a shower. Yeah, all right. Listen, guys. Um... What's some good, like, idol music? I have no idea. AJ, thanks for the four months. I want to show you guys something real quick. Something that I was thinking about doing this week. Fable soundtrack. I was listening to Hollow Knight, but... <clears throat> I'm waiting. Okay. All right. I'll take it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something. Something that I was thinking about doing this week. In regards to like a Dungeons and Dragons type thing. Just real quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys kind of something that I was thinking about doing. <clears throat> right now, you're hearing VR chat music. I think that's fine. I'm launching in a desktop mode, but I want to show you guys something. So I found this world. Okay. I found this world, right? I have not been hitting the books because my books that I ordered for Dungeons and Dragons, they arrived at my parents' house. So I don't have them. <laughs> but okay, so this world right here, look at this. It's got this huge little zone here. It's got music. Check this out. You've got a DM thing you can hold. And you can spawn characters. Look at this. How are you? You can just throw them on here. Look at that. And then I could. We can have dice to roll. Oh, do you not hear the music? Oh, wait one second. I think it's because VR chat's not routed properly. Let me fix that. Um. How's that? That's still not playing, is it? I think I have to reboot it. Let me reboot it real quick. Yeah, VR chat does look weird, but <clears throat> let me just show you what my idea is, okay? Because I don't have a bunch of things, and I feel like this is probably the easiest way to just kind of get started. And uh, I, w I wanted to do... I wanted to do a chat plays like... Dungeons and Dragons, where it's like a choose-your-own-adventure type thing. Just to start out, just for funsies, and just see how it goes. I may hate it, you guys may hate it, but I feel like it'd be worth a shot. Uh, so this is just me showing you guys something real quick. Also, I'm wearing something really cozy right now. You want to see what it looks like? <coughs> and before, who asked? And yes, we'll listen to Daily Affirmations, okay? Just give me a second. Look at this. Look, I got coil on my chest. Look at this thing, dude.
Anyways. Okay. Let's see if this works. Still not working. Wait. I might be able to fix this. <clears throat> Oh, it's just very low. Okay. I can change that, I think. Now you can hear it, right? Okay. So what's cool that I, I that I noticed about this is uh you can do environments, you can like add like random things, okay? You can do buildings, you can do tiles. You can have liquid floors of, like, lava. But check this out. Check this out. This is where things get interesting. So you can walk on the table, and I was thinking, what if... Shoot. If I have a small model, I turn into... So we're, like, part of this huge little tabletop thing. And it's you, you guys are the player. And then... I have mods vote, like, do you want to go to the right entrance or the left entrance? And then, like, the right entrance could have, like, lava, and it'd be like, okay, uh, Matrix, what would you like to do in this situation? You're like, I kind of want to see what's going on around here, you know? Uh, I don't know if I give you, like, if I give you, like, multiple choice options, or I give you guys complete freedom in your choices of, like, you guys just be incredibly creative with whatever you want. But I just thought this would be kind of cool. I was like, this world, this world kind of has things. And I can, you know, do it in virtual reality. But the biggest, the biggest problem is the dice is, well, actually, I guess the dice isn't that huge. Oh, yeah, it's not huge at all. I think I'm probably just going to limit it to one dice of just a D20 for, like, literally everything. Hold, release. But yeah, what's cool is like you can, I think there's walls you can add too. Where is it? Ba oh yeah, you can do bars, cave walls. So I could like move walls around and place them here so they could be like more like hidden and stuff. I don't know. Could be, could be interesting. So I feel like we're going to do that this week. I don't know what day. What day do you guys think would be cool, would be best for this? If we did that. What day would be best? Check your schedules, guys. And while we do that, uh. You already know what time it is, okay? <clears throat> you already know. You already know. My introversion probably... has magical capabilities and creates a deep bond with people. I maintain a massively high sexual marketplace value. I have the stoic masculinity of a samurai without a master. I have the mental fortitude of those who cross great oceans or climb the highest peaks alone. My mindset is impeccable. I have the courage of a sniper deep behind enemy lines. God, dude, that's just so real and true and amazing. I freaking love every single bit of that. You know what else I love? Not drama. Cause that's cringe, but sheesh, every, a, a lot of things are going down recently. Also, wait, also in the news, guys, there's a dude, uh, by the name a long time ago. Let's see. How long ago was that? I'm about to double check here. Mooma, M O O M A Mooma. He made a Johnny Silver and Arm a long time ago, but he said he wasn't sure if it could work for GTA or 5M. <clears throat> so I hit up Toby, and I sent him the file. You guys want to see what what this dude did? How how incredible it looks? It's probably too high detail, so it's probably not going to work. But I want to show you guys. Uh, never mind. I don't think I can show you guys. Wait. Pause, champ. Dragging the camera down. Wait, maybe I didn't need to do that. Maybe, whatever, dude. I'll just shrink it. 
freaking boomer over here. That's the wrong display. Whatever. Don't care. That's also the wrong one. <laughs> Boom. Check this out. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't that awesome looking? It's pretty freaking cool. So if that's able to get added, uh, you'll have a pretty legendary comeback. This is for Johnny Silverhand. Johnny Silverhand pad model. So, because uh, there is a arc that is coming soon. There's a uh, thing, there's some stuff being implemented into the city. And uh, Johnny's going to be helping with that. It's going to be a mission. So I, I would love to have this arm on him and stuff to add on to it. So could be fun. Could be fun. Toby has not told me anything other than the fact that it's a 10 megabyte file. So that I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. He said 10 megabytes period. I'll I'll have to give it a look. Is that like a Monka W 10 megabytes or like, oh, that's not bad. I don't know, man. I, re I really don't know. Kind of kind of has me scared. Like 10 megabytes isn't that bad. But for a hand on a model, I, I have no idea. Maybe that's too much. I don't know how many polys it is. He probably has to, he probably has to lower the poly count. But I don't know anything about that. Speaking of things I don't know about, what's been going on in the city, guys? What's been what's been happening, man? Guys, what what's been going on? What's been what's been going on in GTA roleplay, huh? This is not a bathrobe, actually. It's a, it's a I forgot what these things are called, but they're really cozy. They got like this like a lot of I don't know what you call this fabric where it's like just like fluff. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> uh, boom. Wait. Where's my window capture? It's important to stay updated in all things GTA re RP related. And what better place to go than here? All right. Woo! Yeah. Starting off the day right. John the Broski's intro. Wait. Intro screen for today's stream. Is that Ray? <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally forgot about all that. When Denzel pulled up to the manor for the family meeting, in front of the group standing around waiting for Lang, Tony immediately went, Oh fuck, Denzel is here too? That was awesome. I wouldn't know. I don't really uh, keep up keep up with the clean boys, but that's cool. Oh my gosh, yes! The Airborne fundraiser. I, I wonder how many people have done stuff. Oh my gosh! That's awesome. That's freaking good. He deserves everything. Airborne is one of the sweetest people in all of NoPixel, and he deserves every penny. And I hope that this... Uh, I hope he's able to get that... Uh, I think it's a special wheelchair. I think it is. Yeah, special chair, which helps him get up and down, increase his comfort and functionality levels. Dude, it's so cool to see a community come together to support somebody that's been a staple member of the community for so freaking long. He's so nice, man. I met him at TwitchCon 2019. He was basically my dad. So I was like a lost puppy. I didn't know what I was doing. He was so freaking nice. I love that guy. I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, so many people feel the same way about it. Rami Instagram live from prison. <laughs> what? Eugene Zuckerberg, come to the showers. <laughs> Fuck Chang Gang, you rats. Randy Bitch Wrangler. Can't wait to raid your ass again, <laughs> Hey, yo, how you got a phone? Nice. XX Bass. Jenny Hall gets promoted to captain. Well and faithfully. That I will well. Dude, do you guys think I can become a captain? You guys think I'm the next sheriff of Los Santos? Go ahead. Go ahead and tell me, guys. I'm destined for great things, right? I'm bad at driving. I'm bad at shooting. I'm perfect for a cop. Uh, you know, I, I, I die all the time on every single character. Literally, how could, how would I not be the sheriff? Bert, thank you for the prime. 
well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office which I am about to enter. Of the office that I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Ridley is great. The mayor of Los Santos, Emma Gain, acting upon the recommendation of Sheriff Kyle Pred of the Polito Bay Sheriff's Office, has placed special trust and confidence in the character, integrity, Wait, she's joining, and abilities. So she's joining PD, right? Jenny Hall. In view of these special qualities and her demonstrated potential to serve in the higher rank, Lieutenant Jenny Hall is hereby, hereby promoted to the rank of captain of the Polito Bay Sheriff's Office, effective this day, January 17th, 2022, by order of Sheriff Pred. Congratulations, Captain. Sure, but you don't commit to a character like these people. Lol. Air, air, air. You're not wrong. That guy's actually, he's, he's right. He's basically every single YouTube comment I read. But that stops today. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get some uh, cinematic, uh, uplifting music. No copyright. That ends today. That's right, guys. Today. Or, wait. Yes. Today marks a new era. An era where Burn will play a character for more than one day before shelving them. Travis, Travis, wait, what's his name again? I already forgot because I only played him one day. Something Buckle will be played today. And I will not move on until his story is complete. Thank you. Thank you. I will also be making a cop that is a furry. And I will be playing him. I missed when Burn would just hop into RP. Uh, you must have not watched yesterday. Wait, you've been following since January 11th, 2022. This has been the formula for all of 2022. Excuse me? The old frogs know what it used to be like. Now we do things a little bit different. Man's been following for seven days, and his first message is already a complaint to HR. All right, let me bring in HR. Don't care. Sorry, man. I tried to get HR to help you, dude, but... So he's, he's stuck in 2021, you guys know what I'm saying? He's stuck at burn 2021. You know what I'm saying? Or he's just gone for like a month. Anyways. Uh, I think this haircut of Kyle Pred is a staple example of how much hair can affect the attractiveness of a human being. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I am heterosexual, but that cut ain't it, Chief. Listen, I can, I can, I can say when a man is attractive, it's hot. I don't think that. I don't think that haircut's good. I think it looks like trash. I don't think I've seen anybody with a good haircut like that. It, it, it's not. It's not. It's not good. I'm not a fan. Buddha and you know lesson three. I go to sleep. I don't know what I do here, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, if your if your brain's fried, I mean, doesn't hurt to take a break. Holy shit, what a day, you know. You know, I'm it happy you were like around. It's... You know why? Why? Because you know, at the end of the day, the compassion you have is something I hope I can instill in me before I die. Well, I, I truly think do have think it. it's the way to make the world a better place. You already have it. I think it's part of why we get along so well. Yeah, maybe. Been a day, but just never stop being you, all right? I'm pretty good at being me, you could say. Yes, Must be you tough are. for you, though. I mean, everyone says the clean boys don't have a leader, but when things like this happen, everyone's gonna be looking at you. Yeah, and I fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah, and I fucking hate it. Oh, uh, that's abusive. That's amazing. Yeah, that is feeling kind of strong, man. Well, anytime there's a you know clip, it's always like Sag farming, feels strong, man. Oh, uh, you know, posy vibes. I want a clip where you know just destroys the vibes. Where the vibes are so off, everybody's like, "What? What's going on?" You know. 
Oh wait, that's that's no you, I guess. Uh -huh. X plus CG cop ambush. Let's go. What just exploded? Right blue, you guys. I'm flanking him a little bit. Press the Yep, get that one right blue. You know what this kind of reminds me of? I remember, like, I think it was at the beginning of 3.0, where, like, right before tsunamis, they would have, like, a wide shootout on the south side. I'm gonna stay here and keep on the cruise. Got another down? Or they'd be all on the roofs and just, like, start shooting each other. <laughs> I don't know why this kind of reminds me of that. Dude, I would never be good in these situations. I'd be so freaking Papago. I have the spatial awareness of a blind chipmunk. There's no way I'd be able to look up there and see where they are, or or be able to aim, even with even with a little dot. Heck, even if I installed aimbot, I would probably still miss. There's no hope for me. <laughs> you could. Yeah, no. They're doing that Mirror Park Tavern recently. Were they? I know they did that huge explosion at the uh, Mirror Park. Oh. Mr. Lang loves X. Okay, pal. Okay, X. Love you, baby. Uh, I'm going to my apartments. I'm going to go milk my snake and um, maybe play some bullshit. All right. Yeah, if you want to do anything, just uh, send me an email. You got it, partner. All right, partner. That's why I love X. He's a simple man. He just wants to kill <laughs> cops and see the world burn. Anything else? Don't talk to him about it. <laughs> Wait, I actually think I was watching this and they were like discussing uh, or like Blau was in a wheelchair and X walked into the manor and they're like, oh man, X is here. Do we need to fill him in and all the drama? And he's like, no. <laughs> and then his whole chat's like, Giga Chad denies roleplay. <laughs> Giga Chad, no. <laughs> <laughs> just just want to do my banks, yo. Oh, that's so funny. Anyways, uh, Pokey calls out Ninja for weird behavior during the mustard debacle. You can't run around raiding bitches on Twitch. Watch the hairy one. Which one's the hairy one? This one. I should have told you earlier. I know it. I know I should have mentioned it. Yeah, you should have mentioned that earlier. I can't Listen, fucking I believe how you guys trying to spin this and blame this on me. I'm fucking out. I was the only one around. I was the only one that knew what was going on. And you guys, you guys freaking out about who knows? It's not my fucking fault. Raise a fucking idiot. Harry, 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 I am not taking flag for this. I tell you right now. Harry, Harry, come here. Harry, Harry. Yeah, that's Harry. I am not. I am not taking. Harry, Harry. He's such a good character. Okay, here we go. Oh my. Back to back, two time. Obviously, immediately takes as Ninja calling me a bitch. And Ninja then says he meant bitches generally. I wonder if Ninja would have said bitches if it was a large male streamer that was hate rated, but I don't Hey, know. reverse the roles. True. Ninja then keeps joking about it and says that Dijon is fucked, but that he will do whatever he can to help him, but don't expect too much. He then says, like verbatim, the most I can do is text my Twitch representative about this. And then he proceeds to do just that. Why Ninja would help someone evade a ban for harassing me? I have no idea. I genuinely don't know. Maybe to appease Dijon's viewers. But like as going as far as to text your Twitch 1,500 comments, guys. Here we go. Controversial. I love how rating is considered harassment just because the almighty queen can't handle something so harmless. Your queen is a lying hypocrite who uses people for social climbing. She is quick to blame others and manipulate her way into controversies using a misogynism card. I don't know why I expected that. I, I, I already knew sorting by controversial on Reddit was going to get a comment like that. I mean, the dude has a, a Reddit avatar with a hat. Milady. 1.1k comet karma. 
My man. <laughs> All right. What is this? Bueno, 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 Relic. Oh, viene Relic. Wait, that actually does look like Miz. What the hell? El cuarto que faltaba. Nos faltaba para el cuarteto de nominación a Caster. It's like a Giga Chad Miz. What the heck? Dr. K on Nowadays, gaslighting. Nowadays, I hear gaslighting used anytime someone has a different opinion from yours. Hey, guys, you stink. Am I gaslighting? So human beings <laughs> have different experiences of shared events. Like if I have an argument with my wife about something, I'm going to think one way about it. I'm going to recall one thing and they're going to recall something else. True. And now I've seen something really tricky, which is that when someone says, you did this to me, and I say, no, I didn't, and they respond with, you're gaslighting me, there's a gaslighter here, it, you can't argue against that, right? Like, it, it's become something of a weird trump card that, like, once you play the gaslighting card, it's like, I can't say anything because I'm just gaslighting you further. Like, I'm not allowed to have... But what if this argument is just gaslighting even further? an opinion if you accuse me of gaslighting because anything i say is just proof of the gaslighting right because i can't come back and retort because i'm a gaslighter does that mean no, i'm just kidding it's like i don't weird. know what i'm saying just just pretend that what i said w had some sort of value can you guys just mm, yes noted okay mm -hmm. insightful insightful mm -hmm. yes hey yo I wish I did not see this clip. What is going on? <laughs> Oh! Did you just spend 20 seconds trying to grab a cat? <laughs> that's, that's wholesome. Uh, seconds after learning what Wardle is, simply, aka Poop Guy. <laughs> what does Poop Guy come from? Meta! Pokemon and Ninja related topics. Dude, I'm going to be honest. I didn't even know anything about this thing until last night before I went out and got dinner. And I saw a comment from young Jeff where he tweeted the thing where Ninja was talking about the uh, how his wife made him a sandwich naked while he was, he was playing League of Legends. And I thought that was the message that was causing all the drama. I actually, I actually thought that was the message. I was like, the brawless wife thing, I was like, Wait, that this is what the this is this is the deal? I got you bitten so hard. I was like, I remember that copy pasta. I thought Ninja was just memeing. I was like, that was hilarious. And then I scrolled up, and then Pokelols was like, dude, Ninja's tweet is hilarious. And then I was like, what? Oh, well, I guess that makes sense because the whole brawless wife thing. That's funny. And then I scroll up even further, and then I see the actual DM, and I'm like, oh. And then I saw the Twitch clip where. XUC was like, uh, English isn't my first language, but swearing on somebody that's dead, that doesn't really make any sense. That, like, holds no power because they're dead, right? <laughs> I was like, wait, how does that even work? What does that mean by that? Like, if I swear on my dead, like, grandparents, what does that mean? Does that mean, like, on their, on their, the life they lived or, or their legacy? Is it, is it, like, swearing on their legacy? Like, I don't understand... You're risking their souls? Like, huh? I feel like it's in their honor, I guess. Yeah, it's like swearing on their honor, right? And in the correct spot, the letter I is in the word, but in the wrong spot, the letter U is not in the word in any spot. Okay. All right. Uh, it wouldn't be penis, would it? How about ghost? Okay. H is in the right spot. Um, and there's an S somewhere. What? 
And there's not an O. What is this? So maybe... Shire? Dude, I'm a god! Oh, so Wordle, like, gives you a clue, and you have to, you have, like, rows to guess, right? It's in the word. Wait, can I try that? Will you guys make fun of me if I try this real quick? Wordle. A daily word game. Okay. Guess the Wordle in six tries. Each guess must be... Oh, my God. Why is this... Oh, no. I just got rid of the... Wait. Okay. All right, here we go. Just real quick. I, I had to turn on dark mode. It was, it was killing me. Guess the world on six tries. Each guess must be a valid five-letter word. Hit the enter button to submit. After each guess, the color of the tiles will change to show how close your guess was to the word. The letter W is in the word in the correct spot. The letter I is in the word but in the wrong spot. Oh, my gosh. How do I do this? Build. Okay. Um. How did I get nothing off of that? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, R. Arse. Ar arson. Arson. <gasps> R is in the right. Okay. And O is in the wrong one. Uh, ra. Wait, no. I should get something. Cope. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I can't do copium. That's six. Uh, that's not even a real word, is it? Cozy? No. Uh... Cower. Cower. Isn't that a word? Frick! Okay, wait. But there's another R? Wait! Oh! I'm so dumb! I'm so dumb! I thought I was, like, having to do a tic-tac-toe thing? Where it has to go... <laughs> I've heard... Okay, so... That's an R. Okay, <laughs> I got this. Okay, so that would be like, uh, there's not a. I was gonna do orange. What about? Uh, what what the heck can I use with these remaining letters? G H O S T. Okay, so it's R O R O R O. Wrong. Wait, no, we already did W. Uh, wait, and we have G, right? We do have G, and that's not in there. Do you have N? That's not in there. I was thinking frown. No. Pro. Pro. Don't give me hints, guys. I got this. Okay, I'm throwing. I'm actually throwing right now. I'm actually throwing. Uh, what? Why did I do that? I was thinking, wait, what if I have multiple O's? But I... God. That would... Why would... Okay. 
What has... M okay, so this is... P-R-O-O-F? Maybe? Maybe there's an O there. I did it, guys. I did it. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I didn't do it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I thought I actually did it. All of you guys are like, oh, man. All right. What? One more. I have one more, guys. Just one more. One more. This is this is the real drama, okay? Uh, how do I refresh this? But do I, uh... Wait, next world... Wait, you can only do it once a day? It's got a global cooldown of 13 hours? I can't believe I have to start my day off with an L and I can't even recover from it. Oh, that's rough. Jubilee refugees. What they did to you is about... You have a kid together, and he stepped up to the role, and he's an awesome dad, and I am so grateful. Yeah, my, <laughs> my boyfriend is so completely involved in our daughter's life, and for me, I'm like... Jubilee so refugees? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it's April this. breaking time! Delete this immediately! It is amazing, officer. It is the newest hit coming... Oh, oh my fast. god. Immediately. Oh, is it right here? New movie coming to That's Los Angeles. That's right. There no, no, no. There you go. That's good. Please delete. Just wait till Joe enters the equation, then it's all it, over. Real Wild Bill, thank you for the prime. Slander. I will have my lawyers on this. Pokey's haters. I mean, what old Wild streamer would not get banned five or times? I love female drama. It's so fun. She's a powerful heckin' woman. Come on, y'all. Why is the X on woman? What does this that mean? Is just another loser, man. What is this? It feels awkward. These are the kinds of people that don't... Th these are the kinds of people in the community that... We are considering everything defamation of character at this point and are getting our legal team involved. You are spewing lies to tens of thousands of people. I do that every day. Well, not to tens of thousands, but maybe to a, a thousand or a couple thousand. You know Twitch. You claim you know his rep. Guys, you aren't going to lawyer up, are you? Then you know from them that Tyler never reached out to anyone. And again, just said that to top, stop the harassment in his chat from... Wait. I thought it was Dijon. Is this actually the guy's name? I thought it was Dijon, like the mustard. We have clarified everything to you. You are actively bringing harassment to Tyler and I right now. At the highest level, we are taking this very seriously. You know what I have to... You know, I think this also has application here. Where is it? Where is... Where? What, what am I looking for? Ah, uh, Yes. Hi, this is Gilbert Gottfried, and this is... Uh, uh, fucker, you... You're a fucker, you... <laughs> Same energy. You're a cringe loser. Lawyering up! <laughs> Are just human... Go You're a fucker. I wish I could do a Gilbert Gottfried, but I can't. Uh, no one likes you. L plus ratio... Uh, no camera, cause you scared and fat. <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough camera for me today. Okay, let's go into GTA, guys. Uh, I think this Friday we'll do the G. Uh, we'll do the the D and D stuff. Uh, do Gilbert Gottfried? We could do that today. Do you guys want to do Gilbert Gottfried? Because we have, we can make it into several voice lines. Fat and scared. <laughs> L plus ratio. I don't know. I mean, it would be funny, but I also was thinking about playing Travis Buckle. Yes, we're. I'm doing a chat plays D and D this Friday. I think.
Maybe we'll do Travis Buckle. And then maybe... Yeah, I feel like the joke is kind of... It's kind of done now. I think once I, once I made the Gilbert Gottfried cameo, that kind of, like, ended it. You know? D&D is Dungeons and Dragons. Quick reminder of Travis. Just exclamation point Travis. Now, here's the thing that I was thinking. What if we changed... Uh, change some of the things we've done. Maybe I—I was—I was thinking, what if we change things that we've done? Like since we've done a gas station, maybe we change that to something else. We've done an ocean dump. We've done—we've done, we've done uh, a gas station. Like, what if we change it to something else? <clears throat> maybe that'd be way too hard. What does phase up mean? Ah, uh, that's just a meme. That'd be sweet. New one every time you get the roll. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Has Mental Block met the Mandem yet? Oh my gosh, what if Mental Block joined the Mandem? I do want to make a song with P Money as Mental Block. I want the intro to be like, "Let's go, BBD go, BBD bo." You know, just like start. I wanna, I wanna learn how to spitball and uh, do a UK drill mix as mental block. Man, you know I'm on the block. Man, I got the big fat cock with a clock on the side. <laughs> Man, them got some fries. <laughs> Man, you you pull up on the street, you're gonna die. Yeah, that'd be pretty banging. All right, where's my, where's like ominous instrumental? Here we go. I mean, this Fable soundtrack's pretty kind of spooky right now, but it won't be for long. So what are some ideas? Since we already did Gas Station, what's something else we could do? And we did Murder and Take Shoes, but I kind of like that one. Bonfire. Off a cliff. Okay. Off a cliff will be 20 to 39. We can't even get in a heli. Take them to the mine. Ooh. Okay, 2 to 19 would take them to the mine. Uh, and then we've already done an ocean dump. So what do we change ocean dump to? Take them to the sewers. Take on a date. Uh, one, rolling a one is perma. Throw off maze bank. Dude, that's way too hard. Well, we got a controversial take here. I'm going to say it, but I like Fable 3 a lot. Listen, man, the only Fable I played was Fable 3. And all I wanted when I watched my friend play Fable 2 was that when you do bad things or good things, your character changes. But in Fable 3, all you get is like a frowny face. I was so disappointed. Anyways, 60 to 79. What are we changing that to? Take them fishing. Kill a cop. No, because, like, the higher the dice roll, it shouldn't be as punishing. Because 80 to 100 is taking them to destination. So 60 to 79 shouldn't be, like, anything too crazy. We have... Guys, we literally have no money. You guys know that, right? We took out a loan. Like, I don't even know if we're going to be able to repair a car. <laughs> Buy them food? Dude, guys, we have no money. Oh, wait, we do. Never mind. We are good. 
everything is fine. Drop him off at the prison. What if we just drop him off at the prison and say nothing? <clears throat> Make him do a crime and record it? That's That'd be way too hard, I think. To get people to do. Oh, well, we could do a wicked jump. Reverse driving. Oh, reverse drive to prison. Oh my gosh, that's going to be painful, guys. You already did. That's, that's, that's a punishment for me, guys. But I'll take it. All right, so I need to edit that command real quick. Let me edit that command. We've got new, we've got new roles. Where are you, Travis? Alright, there. I saved it. We've got new fates. Speed limit at 20 miles an hour? Take them to the opposite side of the map? Nah, I don't want to be that. In uh, I think I think the options we have are pretty good. Unless we roll a one. <laughs> if we roll a one, guys, uh, it was nice knowing you. Magikarp, thanks for the nine months. Yep. Yep, cock. Yep. Yep, cock. Yep. Does he have red demon eyes? Uh, you'll find out in a second. <laughs> Nobody can see that except us, though. So, you know. Set third eye awakening. Yo, bro, Seth, you got a lockpick? Do I have a lockpick? Yeah. No. What the fuck is a dick on your fucking chest, man? Yep. It is indeed a cock. Fuck, man, what happened to you? Would you like to know? Yeah. Then perhaps a ride is what I can give you. Uh, that's not even a lockpick. Uh, uh, Maybe your destination can lead you to a lockpick. That is if fate oh. decides it. Come listen, now. I think I'm good. I, I think I'm... Listen, I think I'm good. Okay? Are you sure? I yeah, don't this fight. Is... Uh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. Shit. Do not be afraid. I am your. You're my what? I said friend. Friend? Oh. I. Come on now. Hey, I think I'm good, man. I'll be honest. Why are you hesitant? I am here to offer a hospitable service. Sure about that. Yes. I'm employed as a taxi driver. Okay, well, there's no available drivers in the fucking app, you know what I'm Why don't you check now? I do not lie. And her name is Travis. I have been predestined to be faultless. Hello. Yo. I see you. Yeah, see you too, man. I'm assuming you are contacting me because you need a ride. Hello, goodbye. Mm, not really. Then why are you calling me? I don't know. I, 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 I do not was, like uh... my time being wasted. Okay. DDoS Danny with the prime. Hi, man.
so I'm assuming you do not want to find your lockpick. Nah, this, I think I'm good, man. Very well. Have a good day. Hey, have a great day, okay? Uh, listen. Mm. Cock on your chest, mm. listen. I think yep. they laser remove these nowadays, so you can get rid of it if you want. Why would I get rid of it? It's like a... Okay, well, don't get rid of it if you don't want to. Bye. Why do people keep saying self-insert? Chemicide Gaming. Listen, yo. Listen, man. This face... I'm not a creeper. Okay, I don't... Listen, this might be creep week, and I might be playing Joe Goldberg later. But hey. It's not my real voice. Guys, it's just roleplay. Calm down. No, I'm not putting myself into the shoes of this character. No, no, no. <clears throat> one guide. <laughs> no, it's not one guide because several times the other day, like, hey, I'm funny. This guy's creepy. He has a dick on his chest. That classic burn. I need water. That's what Method RP. <laughs> Yes, guys. I got a tattoo on my chest of a penis to really immerse myself into this character. I signed up for Uber, and I started giving people rides. I totaled my car in the process because the dice lied. Hello. You good, man? You good? I am now. Homie, do you wanna back a tiny bit up? I am comfortable where I am. I am not. Can I help you? I only sense 17.8% discomfort. Okay, That is homie. enough to be mitigated. Alright, uh, how can I help you? More so, how can I help you? How would you it's like to be spiritually enlightened? It, it depends. Is that going to make me rich in any way? <laughs> if... The dice favors your fate. You know what? It is like a fortune telling of sorts. Okay, and what does it cost? Because nothing's free. It is free. The payment is another way. Depending on how your fate is predestined. You see, um, the dice gives you the pretense of free will. As you roll it, mm -hmm. you are deciding your fate. Do you want me to roll a dice for you? I have the dice. It is in my taxi. If you want you your fate, you can hop in. You know what? Why is this fable music kind of spooky? Fine. Oh, don't worry about that. <clears throat> oh, did you just pull out a gun? Oh no, I'm this gonna... is your taxi, right? Of course. Okay. Here you go. A 100-sided die. Uh, uh, okay. And, and you want me to roll this? I do. What do you think he's gonna roll? If he rolls a one, I'm gonna <laughs> laugh. Burn can't ever stick to a character. He always has to move on, man. Well. That was 101 sided die, yeah. sir. <laughs> Give me a second. There you go. Reverse drive to prison. Very well. Your fate has been decided. Okay, and what is my fate? Well, you see, this dice. Every number leads to a fate. Oh! Okay. And, uh, where's, where's 71 lead? 
you will find out very soon. I say very soon, but this fate is hard to enact. <laughs> this is going to be so hard! Are you are you okay to drive? What do you mean? This is perfectly normal. This is your fate. And to drive backwards down the road. Oh. Somewhat, yes. Just don't turn. Okay, I'm working on it. Oh, like... Be careful, man. That looks like a police car over there. It is predestined we will not be caught by cops. We will be fine. Uh, okay. And, uh... Where are we going exactly? Oh my god! This is not gonna take me 24 hours. We are heading to your destination, sir. Okay, but where is the destination? Would you like a hint? A hint would be nice. Stars and stripes will not protect you here. That sounds a lot like the ocean. Perhaps you'll want to sit down and drink a beer. Oh, ye yellow jack? Stab say? Because a bar of soap may just disappear. Prisoner? But in a place you do not expect it to reappear. This does not sound like a good fate. <laughs> you didn't guess it. Congratulations. You found it out. Your destination is the prison. And um, why are we going to the prison? Because that is what your free will decided for you when you rolled the dice. You see, I was homeless, broke, alone, desperate. I had gambled all of my money away. But I was given two second chances. A man okay. approached me by the name of Roland Nelson. Maybe you have heard of him. He lives his life by the die. He rolls a two-sided die. I have never heard of him. <laughs> I can't do this, dude. Uh. Whether he does something or doesn't, he handed me a 100-sided die. He said, to keep your life 100, choose your fate. Make the dice your own. This is exactly what I did. I have made the dice my own. It is not enact my fate, but the fate of others. Roland okay. changed his fate on whether he would accept something or deny something. I am merely the deliverer. Gab on. So, what am I supposed to do once I'm at the prison? That is where your journey begins. I guess you'll need to call a cab. <laughs> freaking turns to uh, uh, well that's not a beginning that's an end <laughs> no there'll be an end of your destination in the beginning of a new destination <laughs> it seems like a very dangerous destiny oh it is but we are almost there. Do you think we will survive? Probably oh, I not. think you are in luck. I have a phone call. This car is going to be disabled by the time we... Hello. Hello there. Uh, I need a cab. You do. Where are you? Uh, at the apartments. All right. I am currently at the prison. I will head over there as soon as possible. All right. Great. <clears throat> Bye. Yep. Bye. 
Ah, it's a homie. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. So you, I rolled the dice. Oh my God, Seventy-one decided my fate. Yeah. That is right. But what if I want to roll again? You want to roll again? What if I want to roll again? Well, you'd have to get another ride. Well, and that one you. will cost you. In order yeah, to change how much? one's fate. Sorry, I went down that hill forwards. I'm sorry, guys. I cheated. Five thousand dollars. Hmm. And all it all. All my fate with you is, after rolling dice, is you will take me to a location the dice decides. Exactly. Hmm. Let me see how much I've got in my account. Wait, will we actually get 5k? This could be huge. Bald and molding. Follow Pretty my much channel my life four savings, ago. but fuck it, yeah, let's do it. I will need the money, sir. Well, you're gonna take me to an ATM then, mate. Very well. Can you fix the oil at a Benny's? I actually have no idea. This thing has seen better days. Gosh, taxi driver's high in demand. You got a call, bruv. That I do, bruv. Hello. Yo, what's up? The sky. Don't. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I just stun lock him to some real. I'm sorry. Have you never heard? of the sky before? You seem distraught. I'm not hearing your voice. Are you Skylock? I think I just killed a man through a means of conversation. That's pretty impressive to be fair. What's up? <laughs> See, I never met this uh, Roman dude, Richard dude you were talking about. But the whole dice gimmick, I can jive with it. Roland Nelson, that was That's his name. All. I do not Plus know if he lives. But I would love to see him again. Just to show him what his teachings that has led me down this path. Oh! Do not worry. I expected that outcome. I anticipated it. That is why I feel no pain. How are you this bad? Dude, somebody just ran into my vehicle. What do you mean? <laughs> so, uh... You do know what a shirt is, right? Why must I wear a shirt? Are you ashamed of the cop? Hello. <laughs> um... Hello. Oh, right here. I'll get you, oh, hi, are you by any chance available to get me to the vault? Get you to the vault? Yes. Unfortunately, I'm about to have to give a ride at someone at the apartment. Oh. Are you at the apartment? Yes, I am the apartment. Then maybe I can pick you both up. Oh, I hope that I... this person will also need to take a ride at the vault. I'm sorry for bothering, but I'll be waiting. That sounds good. Have a wonderful day. Oh, I will. But I don't know if you will. God, how, how can I kill three there people? There you go, Matt. I'll just throw that on the dashboard for you. $5,000?! <laughs> we gotta fix this car. <clears throat> Easiest freaking 5k of my life, boys. Hello? <clears throat> Alright, so do I roll again or? One moment. We have two guests to pick up. 
Oh, we're making a sport out of this, okay. Hello. Hello, Travis. Um, could you possibly do sort of a Hello, taxiing Travis. favor, but you'll a be taxiing an item favor. rather than a person. I can still pay you uh, your usual rate. $5,000 for deliveries of items. Um, that's fucking ridiculous. Goodbye. So much for being a tycoon. Okay, so uh, who are you picking up? Were you the one that needed a ride? I guess not. That is absolutely ridiculous! So you are actually a taxi. I thought you were just some dude who stole this thing. No. Is it the taxi? Yes. Alright, bet. Uh, I'm heading to Winewood Boulevard. Oh, hello. Were you also I... the one that needed a ride? Oh, the Walt, you right? Yes, the Walt. Yep, yep, yep. That's me. Oh. The Walt. We get in the car, thank you. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello. All hey. right, everyone. Before we begin, ow. Excuse oh, me. God. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I oh, thought God. I was going up next to you, my bad. Oh my I'm gosh. going to need your license and registration. Are you also going to be... You what? flipped the back side um, of my vehicle and I'm going to have yeah. to repair it now. It is a business oh. expense and I need you to pay for oh, it. Oh no. Oh, I didn't even touch no. it in my eyes, yo. The city's all scuffy. Oh. Hey, I was just going uh, up next to you. Likely story, huh? It is... Oh shit! Oh, whoa, what the, what the, what the... Drive, drive, oh. drive! Oh, Jesus! Drive, oh, drive, no. I gotta go on, I gotta Don't go on. you... Oh, drive! I gotta What's go happening? today! Go after that car. Look. You have got to be kidding me. We're gonna be me. in an active 80 with a black and colored sedan. Uh, we're gonna be heading northbound. All there goes my bumper. Oh, what God. the fuck is going on? That is none of our business. But what is our business is that this taxi ride is a special one. One that decides your fate. It is a spiritual journey. Each of you will roll a 100 sided die. Here you go. Wait, what do I do? Do I have to enact each and every um, single one's So face? I just need to roll it? That is right. Um, okay. Roll a one, 100 sided die. That's so weird. I got a uh, note from my apartment. It says that my lucky number is 69, 5, <laughs> 7, and 33. Well, if you get 69, it's a big taxi. I didn't so. even call for this voodoo shit. I'm just trying to go to the Vineville Boulevard. Uh, <laughs> All right, right, how about this, uh, chat? Right you get to vote on which person yeah, we keep. Okay. You guys vote on which person we keep. I do not see a result. That's so weird. It's a dice or ride. Let me just, let me just redo that. Oh, there you go. I only see a 46. Who rolled the 46? I believe that was the young lady in the back. It's me. It's me. Oh, that's Mount Chiliad. Hmm. Uh, wait, why are we rolling the dice by any chance? All right, sir. You're next. 36. Mm. Okay. Let's drive off a cliff. We can do both of those. Who did the 36? One in the front. That's that was mine. Oh, that's and mine. fake taxi! Oh my gosh. That's me. We can do all oh these. God, my lucky number, I guess, from yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Would you like well. to have this note by any chance? I don't know who all or right. how I got Your this fates note. fates have been my... decided. Welcome. Wait. Oh. My name is Travis Buckle. And it is probably nice imperative you. that you buckle up. You see. All right. When you roll the dice, you are enacting your free will, something that I cannot control. However, what it lands on, that is what is predestined. You have this false pretense that everything you say or do is out of your own volition. What if I were to tell you that everything that you have chosen, everything that you have done, was already decided at the moment oh. of your conception? Also, this is no taxi. This is a fake taxi. Wait. Um. You two are looking very beautiful. 
All of you. There's a reason I have a cock on my chest. Um. Bad because judgment growing up? I would up? like to spread that cock to other chests. Mm. Okay. <laughs> my god. <laughs> I don't know if we can really go to ERP with this, boys. They are manual crank at windows, if you're curious. But all um, the locks in the cars are uh, functionable uh, from the driver's uh, okay. position. One cannot unlock their door. But uh, where's the cameras? Because you said it's a big taxi? Yes. Yeah. Oh, there There's a no camera cameras. on the dashboard. Oh, okay. Wait, so is it <laughs> show? But, 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 by the way, where are we It going? is a show. So it is time for you to show me that you are worth being on this show. Uh, oh. Are you I, funny? I mean, I can sing. Then maybe you should sing. Um. Uh, and the two oh, men oh, will okay. give an accompaniment. Why don't you all sing the ABCs? <laughs> I don't freaking know. Uh, the alphabet. The alphabet. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I can. A, I, uh, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, or was there a start? song that you would like to do? Um, I mean, I usually bringing up my my ukulele with me. I'm so sorry if I will be pushing you a little bit, but gentlemen on my right, when I will be playing the ukulele. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. Yep. I um, do enjoy a ukulele. Really? Are you enjoying Russian music by any chance? I'm sorry, did you say Russian music? Yes. I am impartial to Russians. I accept all genres, oh, all cultures. Oh, that's wonderful. That's, that's very wonderful. Okay. Adventure time, come grab your friends. It's time to go to distant lands. Jake the dog and Finley human, their love would never end. Feel strong, man. This is good. Sucks that Voop is scuffed for the youth, but... Yeah, I don't know what her Twitch is, but you guys just send her love. Forming on the spot. Oh, we're not even going to make it, are we? Oh, no. That was really great. That was actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you, are you signed by any chance? Phone. No, I'm not. You're not? Mm -mm. Wow. Wow. These songs are safe to, to listen like you will you will feel all safe, all good. Um, Yeah, I'm not signed, but why are we calling too much, Chile? Well, it seems we may not be strong enough to make it to the top. Oh, uh, I, I, I was, the coincidence enough, I was on the Mount Chile yesterday and one of my friends got there backwards and I'm afraid of heights. Oh, you are. What do we do? Why does this freaking taxi suck? <laughs> do not worry. I am good at off-roading. So, uh... The young lady here sang, what's the other guy gonna do? Uh... I can Wait, I can. what are your names? Sinet! We, we got Travis, the, the, the main driver, I guess, and... What reverse, <laughs> you, actually? Gentlemen, who you are? 
Uh, you can you can call me Thug. Nice to meet you. My name is Lulu. Lulu. Yep, yep, yep. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lulu. Nice to meet you. Why is there you. weed here? Oh my. I'm called Gabriel. Why do you have a normal name? <laughs> what did you say? My name's Gabriel, and I actually have a normal name. Oh, nice you to have. Meet you, though. Fuck. No, I'm, I'm, I'm... You're named after an angel. <laughs> I am. How is that normal? What do you mean? It's extremely normal. Wait. See, I haven't got a ukulele and I can't sing, but I could hit you with You lie! Hand. That's the best you're gonna get. You lie! Yeah. It seems the fate must be changed. Oh. Thank God. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think I would survive another trip to Mount Chilean. <laughs> Where do we go? Just send it? I don't want to send it. Uh... Oh my. It seems a re-roll is in order. Oh. Well, do you want one of us to roll for the entire group? Sure. We're going to roll it? Uh, use some of that Russian luck and roll oh. that dice. Okay. I'm I don't know so if the lumberyard so route would be happen. easier. Okay, come on dice. When you can do that. Oop, just need to wait for the numbers to appear in this wonderful dice. There we go. Uh, we already reverse drive to prison, so what should we do now? 62. Oh! Fuck! Cunt! Your fate has oh, been no. determined. <laughs> Off the <cliff>. oh, no. <laughs> Just hold on it! <laughs> And boom. <laughs> Get out of the driver's seat now. Let one of us drive, you crazy cock no. wearing motherfucker. <laughs> that was quite rude. I'm sorry, that is what you rolled. Pull the car over. Oh, um. Is everyone alright? Um. Surely one. It's not. I I don't don't think so. Um, sir. Oh, oh God. Hello. Wait, I do need to go to a gas station. Is oh everything God. all right? Oh God. I I I I I don't know. Um. Um. Oh God. I don't know if we can really go full on fake taxi, guys. I'll just get Pago. I'll get Pago um, Han so hard. I don't hard. think he's responding. Very well. Fuck, you good. I oh, know. Um. Um. I guess we should just take him to Vinewood because we we jumped off the cliff. We need to change some of these, I think. Do not worry. Check this him over for uh, cuts, uh, wounds, That's open it. wounds. Okay. And uh, make sure he doesn't fall out the side. I don't want to send it to the lake because then we don't have a car. <laughs> what do we do then? Okay. Do you want to slow down before you kill us? Uh, we will be fine. We're going to be fine. Yes. Um, okay, the Sidwell is pretty secure. He's Play not Mr. Going Mime. To fall, even though there's two. There's no more. Should have made up better things for the dice, lol W. Uh, he's, oh, he's, did you, he's did you guys are the ones that made up the. <laughs> what, what? Me? Why are you putting that on me? I can hear this, the stomach. This, this... Do not worry, we're headed back to the city. It will be fine. Oh, really? Are we going to the hospital? Yes. Oh, thank God. Why would you trust chat to be creative? Listen, Mount Chiliad would have been great, but we can't make it up there. I didn't know this taxi freaking sucks. 
So, uh, you want to explain why you uh, drove us off a cliff? Or hill, even. Because that is what you had rolled. That was your fate. Wait, what did I roll to to go halfway modulated and been thrown away from it? Apparently so. Yes. So why don't you yeah. roll the uh, roll the dice then, driver? Drive into the mines. You, we thing? have what that. What do you want? There's no way Abdul will give us an upgraded taxi. No shot. Gone. Drive this. What? Well, what do you want? Do you don't want to have your own fate? I already know my fate. That sounds like some cop-out bullshit you're trying to peddle to other people. It is simple. You won't face yourself. If you want to know my fate, then listen. My fate is... Iron! Are you scared? Oh, Are you hearing um, things? Uh, I just told I you what my fate was. Oh, Why that was a so quite scared? interesting language. I was speaking English. I think, I think I will need to restudy English for myself. I think I hit my head when we fell. Maybe you I did. Think I think I am too. Maybe you all need to go to the hospital. Maybe that is your new I, predestined I, location. I, I, I guess. <laughs> that is what us humans do. Rehabilitate. So five grand got me thrown off a cliff. Money well spent. Oh wait, how, how so much is, is it for the ride? what you do when you roll the dice. Do for I you? dreadfully say I want to roll again? I will say it is free. You want to roll again? Well, you know. As long price. as, you, as long as you can guarantee there's no cliffs. There will be no more cliffs now. The fate changes oh. once it's been enacted. All right. Do you want to get Mr. Thug inside, and we will wait if you wish to join us for an another roll of the dice. I, uh, I am going. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I guess. Yeah. Do, do I need to pay for that? I'll pay for it. I, I can. No, no worries. Let me just get out taxi right now. Um, yes, it is Fable. Oh uh, sir? Oh, let me just call the ambulance. Excuse me. Oh, I was we, giving we, a ride. Oh, sorry, help you. A little bit. I was giving a ride to one of my customers. Okay. And he passed out in my cab as we passed over here. So Is I he in your car over. right now? Yes. He... Okay. All right. Yeah, he's 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 fainted. Sorry, but I heard I, they, he's these still people just came up to me okay. and Natasha Adams and said there's a man. He just fainted. Nothing actually happened. Rob a place with taxi would be nice. I, I, I feel like I, that's. How do we? Okay. Right, Let me sir? just double check some things. Okay, so we're not reverse driving to the prison anymore. Because we've already done that. 69 fake taxi. That's gone. Mount Chiliad, no longer an option. So what do you... Drive into the PD, sure. Drive into PD. Drive in the race course infinitely and give astrology life lessons. Add VDM. Nice, dude. Drive off the pier. <sighs> okay, fine. 20 to 39 will be off the pier. Send off off the pier. 40 to 50. What's 40 to 50? Trivia, if they get wrong, they die. If they're right, they get money. Sniff toes. I kind of like the trivia idea. Uh, remember I talked about the note that I had in my apartment? It says like there is like four lucky numbers. Maybe we need to roll until that one of them we got. We already got 69. 
I think there is like three, seven. Hold on, let me just check. Wait, just maybe not the pier. What if we do the lighthouse? What if we just send off the lighthouse? Hey, um, you guys yeah, like the lighthouse or should we try the pier? Uh, maybe we could just try the pier. Because pier is close to people. So it's not too inconvenient. Go through the drive-thru several times. Yes. Yes. We need we need to go to the hospital. The, the doctor said that they need to talk with us. Very well. Get out of the car and walk away without speaking. Wait, wait, oh, yeah. That's kind of the donor wall. Okay. Fifty-one to fifty-nine is donor wall. So we should just get it. We should just drive somewhere, get out, and just stare and say nothing. From the start. Yes. Uh, it is simple. Okay. His fate was predestined. I found out he would be hurt. Okay. All right. So I made sure to drive here at the opportune moment in which he would pass. He made that sound? What sound? <laughs> the, the sound that you just made? I do not know what you are saying. Okay, I'm, I'm just concerned. Um, are you, are any of you to look at the... E. Yep. <clears throat> so he did that? Did what? The I haven't said okay, a thing. Okay, alright. Okay. Um, so, is sorry, any of is you guys loud? related to the person that was just I brought in? I don't, uh, I don't mean to interrupt, but is this somebody's taxi out here? Yes, yes. um, this gentleman over here, he you brought in a patient. out of the emergency lane and into a Yeah, yeah, come on, spot, come please. on, let's have a chat outside. Thank you guys, I appreciate sure. it. Yeah, no worries. Oh, I don't want it to be like way too dank. To that person, we'll uh, I'll try and find out his next of kin. Um, thank you for sending him over here. Um, um, Steven, what? Okay. Is he dead? Have a nice day, guys. Wait, yeah. Is that Wait, is he dead? dead? No, he's not dead. He's being taken right now. Why do you say next of kin? Like, the dude was dead. Oh wait. That was very Monka W. So you're not gonna wait for the young lady. <laughs> I need to park. I I think that is the least of our concerns right now. They said to get out of the emergency lane. Were you not paying attention? All right, what were we gonna you do? Are one crazy motherfucker. What was what were we gonna change sixty seventy nine to? Yep, yep, yep. Oh wait, I forgot what forty to fifty was. Right, thank you so much. Driving to PD. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Is he okay. going to be all right? I really hope so. I will be calling the doctor to find out about that. Is he going into the ICU? Yeah, yeah. Sir, you can't be back there. It's an uh, emergency room. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, I told your friend over there uh, that I will call her and let her know if your friend's going to be okay. So far, so good. He's just okay. in the surgery at the moment, okay? Okay. Fine, 69 lap dance all right what is 16 60 is 79 we need something else all right. we'll be all right. he should all right be fine i guess i hope that was his fate fate are we going to end up like that too depends on the strength of your will oh god will you follow the light I want to follow the light, to be honest. And perhaps a reroll of your die is in order. Oh, okay. H how much? 60, 79, fight them. Mm, I don't know about fighting. You can sit in the front this time. 
Are you sure? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you can sit in the front this time. It's all good. In the front. Yeah, I'll sit in the back. Yep. Okay. Hmm. That was an explosion. That it was. I don't want to do gas station. We already did gas station. So, how much for the free roll? I guess. It is five thousand dollars to change your Five thousand dollars. That is too much. Then I will have to just leave you where you are. Dude, 5k each, baby. Hey, man. Would you want to stop at an ATM, then? That we can, but I need to refill this car's gas first. It's just business, boys. And business is booming. <laughs> Whoops. Speak another language if possible. So just speak like the alien. <gasps> Ooh, I got an idea. 60 to 79. We could just only speak as the aliens. Or the Let's weird. an ATM over there. Give me a second. Speak as oh, alien like for bad. rest of the I, trip. Let me just t t take the money. Are they both going to give me 5k? <laughs> Dude, yo, hey, being a being a cab driver ain't too bad, boys. This guy's into it, man. He wants to know what else there is. Is this for that? Speak backwards. I could pretend to speak backwards. Yes, this is Fable One ambient music. Someone suggested listening to Fable One OST, so I said sure, and I'm like, wait, this kind of fits. Is it for both 5K or each one? Are you both wanting to change your fate? Yes. Then yes. Okay, it will be each. But let's go to the bank. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That would be better. Holy, what the... Come now. My child. Ooh, okay. Case. 60 uh, to 79 uh, will speak so only in the alien after, tongue uh, and we'll head to that alien place. location. Oh, that'd be sick. And then we just we just stare at the wall with the aliens having sex, the graffiti art, and just go <laughs> Just freak them out. Okay. This is the real bank robbery. Oh, 9,000. Whoops. Set up a loop? Nah. I'll make it 100% oh, really? real. What is your PayPal, sir? 1918. <laughs> oh, it's 5882300 and call today. <laughs> Why are you guys paw going? What did I do? Second richest burn character next to Silverhand. Actually false. Uh, Sauce one nine, got like 90k, uh, I think. I'm so sorry. What was that again? One nine one eight, nineteen eighteen. The year. Okay, let me just do that. A good year. Johnny Silverhand must have over 200k. I actually don't know. I think he has like 150k. Huh. One nine one. Something's not working. Uh oh. Is Discord down for people? Oh, never mind. Nineteen eighteen was not a good year. How do you know? You guys weren't there. Wait, we got a time traveler in chat. Uh, did you get it? I did. All right. I'm we so got sorry. a time traveler. I'm waiting, sir. It's called history. 
No, dude, I'm pretty sure he's a time traveler. <laughs> okay. Books are a lie. History is only told by the okay, by the so winners. Okay, so roll fast. Uh, let's let me. History is for Giga Chats because it's only told by the winners. POV. Real, true, and based. History is just walking W's. <laughs> Seventy-nine. Just Ooh. I wonder what that entails. Wait, did just... I? Seventy-nine. <gasps> okay, let me just. Yes, you got seventy-nine. We get to do the alien Did thing. Just... Did you both roll? Yeah, uh, he got seventy-nine. I got seventy-six. Okay, do we do the alien screech? I think we just say nothing and we head to the alien place and then we start speaking alien. I will turn that volume down once we get there. So where is that taking us? Yep, yep, yep. This is a very special one, one oh. that requires focus. We must be calm and quiet. We must not startle the others. The the others. Shh. Wait. They can hear you. Chat, you guys are the others. Hello. Hey, um, I need a ride from the Vespucci beach houses to the apartments. Vespucci beach. Hmm. Um, I'm a, like, da, da, da. you know how you get into Great Ocean Highway, like that gas station? I am on Great Ocean Highway. Okay, uh, if you just go south they from the guest. To be quiet. I am sorry, what? sir. But I am currently dealing with another client. You may have okay. to find another ride. I am sorry I did not make myself busy. I will do that now. Okay, alright, well, thank you, anyways. Of course. If you still need a ride in the next 10 minutes, give me a call. Sure. Goodbye. Ye you do know this isn't Great Ocean, right? Or is it? We are on an island. What is beneath the island? Uh, I mean, it depends. We've already sent a mass to the island now, so... Land? There is water beneath the island. Now hush. You have said too much. They are upset. Islands are not floating. Maybe the islands that you know of. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> guys, guys, this island's role-playing, all right? In role-play, Islands float. <laughs> they're like they're like a giant floaty. But roleplay is cringe though. And so is watching it, so you're here. Anyways. Now playing Who Asked, featuring nobody. <laughs> uh, you guys got jokes, huh? That's not how land masses work, Burn. Okay, Nerge. Actually, um, islands? Islands do not float. Actually, I, uh, I study geology, and I study uh, the way that islands are made. I'm actually a rock major, and I know that islands are created from volcanoes. Sediment collection and deposition of said sediments, sand and water. But I see you want to live in a fantasy where everything is not real. I just wanted to make you know that what you said is a lie, so you don't misguide your audience into believing that islands float. What if I were to tell you guys that frogs are also gay real <laughs> gay attack frogs go 
Or just all happy. Can we? We are approaching the summit. It, it, is this what you will... <laughs> Chicken butt, tofu, salmon, beers, E A. -E. <laughs> How much longer we do this for, guys? Please. I have seen more than enough horror movies to see where this is going. So you know what is coming next to the one that does not follow. The doubt. Yes. You are going to give me your keys. How did I you know? Oh, wait, what? What the? Come now. Step aside, associate. They have accepted ah. you. But you were not accepted. So you must you leave. I will give you what the you keys. Mean? You did not join the ceremony. You didn't choose your fate. It is like you did not bow before the king. Hmm. Okay. And, and you're gonna give me the when you disrespect key? the king. Uh, depends. We're going by French history or English. Which one do you know more? 
French. You? If you know French, then you should know exactly how it goes down. You see, you pulled out a knife, but that is not what the French do. They pull out a white flag, and they surrender. Ah, join us. Surrender. Ma'am, I'm going to need surrender. you to back up. Join us. Back, back the fuck up. <laughs> back up. Do Might not have warned or... the mothership. Okay, both of you are going to back the fuck up. Homie with the dick on his chest, you're going to give him the keys to your car? Very well. I'm warning you. Then come over here. There is no need for violence. Yeah. Let me crank down the window. Yeah. This will be your last challenge. Okay. I put the key in the ignition. Can you reach it with your hand? I am... Um, how are you going to do that? I'm not gonna fall for this, you're just gonna hit... Yeah! I was not born yesterday, I have literally mugged people before, come on man! Do you trust us? No! You ask me to trust you do not believe. someone who can play the... No! You don't believe in your... Feet. No! You were so singing in Russian with the ukulele and you were we fine. We must get going. Goodbye, unbeliever. Hey! Goodbye. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. What are you going to do? Stab me? Get, yeah, get out of the car! I'm warning you. No, you get out of the car. N no, you believe. get out of the car. No, you. I have a knife to your throat. So maybe I you get out of I the car. I will get out of the car. <laughs> Goodbye, no believer. Fuck. You are given one more chance to change your fate. Join us. Would you like to join? What does it entail? Because I'm, I'm down 10 grand. You've got a knife. All right, she mothership. Was... Let us show him. Continue. You must rest yourself in between the Americas. Right here. They call it the world's crack. The world's crack. You must lay your body here. Do that as he says. Come now. You must be mishearing. No. I'm starting a cult. Them. Guys, why do I always end up starting cults? No, no, no. You're misunderstanding <clears throat> your own language. You failed to translate. Listen to what he's saying. What do you mean? I need you, you to learn yeah. the world's crack. That doesn't mean world's crack between Americans. It Just is. Go here. North. Your south. Hmm. You want me to just drop? Stand here. Join us. <laughs> Lay on the bridge between the two worlds. Mothership on the other side. Right okay. there. Okay. Mothership, you will be on the other side. Parallel of me. Okay. Face me, though. Wait, oh my gosh, I think there's still an alien leg, egg, an alien egg in the city, I think. Mm -hmm. Now lay down. Am I about down. to be squished out? Lay down. Lay down. Oh, I am in Mexico. If I'm like those in Mexico. Sports. It's in the game. Yep. Yep, cock. Yep. 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 Yep, cock. Yep. 
Hey. Microsoft about hey. Activision Blizzard. Alright! Yep. Wait, what was that? Alright, alright! <laughs> now, okay. do you see? Rise. I have not smoked enough crack for this. Do not worry. What do you mean, don't worry? Because we have not finished your transition. Come. Join us. 68 billion dollars. Nuts. Stand right here. You must do a dance. Dance? A dance? Please them like they once did. Do you hear the music? There like is that? no music needed for them. Yeah. Heightened and enlightened creatures. They have no need for amusement, such as music. It is a waste of time. No need. It is more powerful to be able to dance without a beat. It is. I, can, I think I can feel it. Then let us see it. Show us. Good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I was thinking about sacrificing him. Do we still sacrifice him? Play a couple chords on the uke mothership. Yes. Should I accompany with their song? With their song. Yes. He's no sacrificing okay. fellow. It's for his final transition. Feels good, man. Anal probing. <laughs> EA Sports. Art. EA. Okay. You see, I have a demand for both of you. <laughs> or also, just you. Very well. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Yeah. Sit on the ground. I'm not asking a second time now. On the ground. What if you were to get on the you ground? You want to do this? We both have a weapon. Homie, I'm British. It's like kind of like our thing. Table knives, come on. Don't go against us. Join Please. us. Ma'am, stand back. This is not back. what the mothership would want. Join us, my child. Ma'am, stand back! Join. I'm not gonna join. I'm gonna warn you one more time join. to stand back. Step away, mothership. Please. Do not worry. Okay. How about this? We put our fate with a roll of dice. If you roll higher... I let you go. You roll lower. What the fuck? Are you guys the doing? fuck? Hello. What the fuck are you guys doing? It seems you have impeded on an enlightenment. Hey, we got so anyway, sit on the fucking ground. Wait. We have okay, a fine. new friend. Yes. He you can saw. wait. We come in peace, or I do, we do. He, not so much. Join us. They, they are serial killers. I need immediate help. <laughs> you do not see any fallen bodies, do you? Hey pal, hey pal, on my bike right now. 
You right want now. me on your bike? No, not you. you. No, he, he's total 10 grand off me as well. Who you? We he's British. I'm just saying he is British, so he is the one that British. pulled the knife. By the hippie car. Who is okay, getting I'll, on your bike? I, I, I've got a score to settle with this man, homie. The one with the UFO, the UFO car. <clears throat> he's got a penis tattooed on his chest. I think he's about to murder someone. Why no, would you assume we brought that? here by peace. a knife out. So did he. He had a knife too. I'm British, it's expected. To pull out a knife and threaten one's life? It uh, seems I mean, a real yeah, serial killer much. might be you, sir. And maybe your yellow vest is a warning to us all. Do not What's trust What's going you. on here, huh? So I come up here, uh, they're, they're fucking over there, and they have knives out. Hold on, what? before the shit goes down, I'm putting away my fucking mask. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so oh, you no. guys telling me you're just here to to help me fuck? What? Hey, I hear you over. Nothing me. sexual no is thing. needed. No. But, so what do you guys guys um I'm doing here then? Hey. Eh? Oh, that is simple. I am showing what? him the history of the world. The history we of the world. Here. That is right. I am spiritually enlightening this people. Spiritually enlightening people. Yes. For all, for yes. all like places you have um, chose this, this for um, second. Uh, yep. I mean, yep. this beautiful yep. place in Sandy Shores, soon to be known Sandy Shores Republic. I made half of these murals myself. Oh, you, oh, you did. He knows. He chose. That is karma. You did, you did those? I did. Most notably known for the I dances of pleasure painting up heaven, above. Heaven, ah, heaven, heaven, I am this one. I will penetrate him with a knife. He's a this So you just you just here for edu, edu, educational purpose? Yes. Yes. To make this person mm. believe. He is a doubter. He's a doubter. I will get a dead, dead, dead squirrel and put it on my dick and fuck him with it. You smell like a dead squirrel that's been fucked, sir. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Of course. Like, keep him, keep, keep him in check, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, is this Vader. You got a crack? No. I only have one crack, and it is not a drug. You wanna, you wanna play with it? Do you want to see the crack? Have you ever done a, have you ever had a soup kitchen before? I could show you a crack if you would like. Follow me. Yeah, and yeah. Show the crack. Yeah, crack, yeah. Come on, mothership. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that does sound like, that does sound like Vader. We're getting, we're getting some crack. Yes, you will see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get some crack. <laughs> There it is. There's the butt crack. Oh, now there's some paint fitter here. Hold on, give me a second. He's trying to speak our language. There it is. Ah! The crack. Ah, fuck it is, a crack! Yes, it is. That. I can't put it out my nose, you son of a bitch! You could put it in your nose. It's not gonna fit! Yes, it could. You son just of a bitch! Not believe. He fucking lied to me. He said there was crack. Yep. It seems this man has been blessed with the tongue, Mother Shit. <laughs> Do you want to know why people take drugs? No, not really. Why do drugs? Yeah, drugs. 
toy with the mind. You see, it unlocks the mind. It frees it. You got it. You got it. Drugs. Truth. I do not. I do not need drugs anymore. I am fully Ooh, I need them, so give me your drugs. Again, Faith. I have no Faith. use for them. Therefore, right, I do well, not give me have yours any. then. I do not. Give me your any. drugs, or I'll open. I'll make a bigger hole in your chest and fuck it. My chest has no already been fucked. Violence. That oh, is what shit. the cock on the chest is for. Yep. Ah oh, shit. Yep. Yep. You've already been. You've already been claimed. That is right. Fuck. You ain't got no crack. I'm we curious where the loss is going to take this roleplay, dude. This is so freaking weird. They don't believe. No, they do not. But maybe in time they will. They will see the truth. Yes. What should we do now? We must be patient. Yes. Yep. 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 <laughs> uh, guys, I just want to apologize in advance. Uh, any new frogs here that are following the stream? Uh, any old frogs? This is probably the weirdest roleplay I've ever done. Uh, but thank you for being here. I don't even know what this is, man. Go for it. Thank you for I'm the two. Stunning people here. Cut. <laughs> Guys, are you proud of me? This is an original character. Oh, okay. Jeez. Wait, they stabbed him? He killed the non believer. They did. Are they on our side? Do not worry, Jesus. This religion is not for you. Jesus, your time will come. But first, the tribulation must be struck. Goodbye. Uh, is everyone okay? Hello? This man was stabbed, not by us. We have pictures of the. This man was stabbed? Yes. The what the hell's going away. on? We have a stabbed man. Please be civil. They do not like screams. Who the hell screams. stabbed this man? You with your voice. If you do not keep it down. The fuck? Why this is. What do you mean, keep it down? This is not a situation <laughs> where I gotta keep. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Get away from me! Get away from me! Alright. One guy with a claws too? I... I do not know why he is so startled. I did not say a word. I don't know. Uh, well, there's a dead guy here, so yeah, it's pretty startling. Alright. Let me You're just, just so pick up my phone real quick. All right. Did you... What did you just do, sir? <laughs> hey, calm down, calm e down. Yep. All right, we're handling e this. We're e handling this. Yep. Yep. EA Sports. EA yep. Sports. Yep. 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 EA Sports. About? It's in the game. It is hey, in relax. The game. Relax, lady. E uh, we're handling the situation. EA. Yep. yep. EA Sport. Yes. Yep. Yep. Cock. Yep. 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 Cock. Yep. 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 Cock. Yep. 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 In the game. Sports. Dick. Um. Dick. I, th I feel like there's like a language barrier here. EA Dick. It's in the game. Yep. All right, Sticks, I need your help. I don't understand what they're trying to tell me. Mother Sticks. Sticks. The sacrifice yes. has been made, not by our own doing. Uh, this is what happens to right. non-believers. These guys are trying to tell me what they saw, and it's, it seems like a lot of nothing. 
what is a lot of nothing uh, is your okay, entire Silas, life. Okay, Silas, you come to the side. I'll tell you what exactly what I saw. All right, you, hey, you guys, you two hang tight. All right, we still need your testimony, okay? Perhaps they will too believe. Perhaps they will see. I, I'm just going to take the fall for her and just say she was hypnotized so she doesn't get, like, punished. But she's just been, like, going along with this, and it's been great. Yep. 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 E. 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 Hey. Save. That yep, is yep, what we yep. are here to do. Save this world. Yep, yep, yep. We need we are here to more people for the mothership, mothership. Yep. Yep. We Talk. need more people. Yep. <coughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> this poor guy's just laying on the ground dead and we're just screaming over his body. Okay, stabbed victim. Are you okay? What the fuck do you think? I oh, will get you, you miss. He is British. I don't know. I'm gonna switch your channel too okay. and get some EMS. Yeah, I should have done that sooner, I think. This guy might be, might be too late for this. PD guy. to EMS. Look at him, he has fungi growing out of him. We need a uh, 52 at the homeless camp on East Joshua Road with a man. This is no staff. homeless camp. I mean, he looks pretty homeless. This is a gathering of the enlightened. All right, someone arrest this, this guy. Someone arrest that guy for being weird. Wait, Mr. That, you Travis, can't arrest someone for wait, being weird. No, 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 Sticks. no, no. Actually, no, we can't. Weird. Mr. Buckle, I am is not that you? <laughs> All right, please. All right, please arrest him. <laughs> Mr. Buckle, is Why? that you? Oh, I think someone this guy has a dick on his Who is Mr. Buckle? Travis, is that you? I wasn't gonna bring up the dick on his chest, but yeah, there is a dick on your chest. Mr. Travis Buckle. Let's go, dick fit. Are you happy oh. to see me? Silas, I'm gonna no, I am, I'm not happy to see you. All right, yeah, this go is Mr. Buckle. Can you face away from me real quick? I am not Mr. Buckle. Okay, do you I have an identification? Brother. brother? Mm, yes. Okay, so you would still be a Buckle if you're, if you're Mr. Buckle's brother. Would you like you're... to meet Travis Buckle? I know where uh, he is. Where, okay, where, where is he? Yep. Follow yep, me. Yep. Oh, okay. Come on, mothership. And what exactly did you see? We must wait for mothership. Are you sure you're not Mr. Buckle? The hell? That was rude. No. Hey, Silas, can you... Silas, can you come with me for this? Hey. Come now, mothership. One second. One, Mr. Buckle, wait there. Yep, yep. It seems this is your lone venture, sir. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Join us. M. E. E. A. Yep. 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 Yep, yep, yeah. Yep. Oh, I love I, <clears throat> That's my favorite dinosaur. If you are seeking Travis Buckle, mm -hmm. there is one thing you must do. What, what is that? Here is a 100 sided die. <laughs> okay. Your life has be, been predestined to this point. I knew <laughs> that you would get into this car and you would be here alone with us. Mm hmm. However,. You rolling this die is enacting your free will to go uh -huh. against the predestined timeline you are currently in trajectory okay. towards, making it unpredictable. Oh. Do you dare to roll your fate? I, I guess. Then go ahead. <sighs> okay. Oh, oh, that's not... Is that, is that good? Is that... Let's drive into PD! Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep, yep. Do we do MRPD? Okay. Yep. 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 
que é? EA. EA. Sports. Sports. It's in the game. Yep. Game. Yep. Game. Dick. Game. Dick. Game. Yep. E. Yep. E. E. Yep. Yeah. Would you mind singing a song during our travels? To oh, ease yeah. any tension. Of course. Uh. Whoa, Black Betty. Bam, lamb. Black Not Betty the song the of the world. Mm. The song oh. beyond the world. Listen. What, what is that? Song. What is that? Do I ad lib this thing? enlightened yet a little bit i guess perfect a little bit enlightened hey am i allowed to make a phone call Shh. oh I'm... they will hear it they will be displeased you must not oh. use your phone that is a frequency oh. they do not like no 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 nope. Yep, no, no, yep, no. cock, yep, no. no. Yep, 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 EA, no, nope. EA Sports. Yep. What yep. is it, officer? EA Sports, it's in the what? In the game. No, in it the is in game. the no. yep. cock. Cock, yep. Uh -huh. Cock game, no. yep. 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 Nope. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I just want to apologize to everybody that's game? tuning into the stream and it's like, what? It just starts hearing this. It's like, what the hell is going on? Travis what, what Buckle? That sounds it, like a fun taxi driver. Sure, why not? The cox game is. Right, 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 right. It, you see, sir. Yeah. This dice is a special uh -huh. type of dice. Okay. I met a man. His name, Roland Nelson. Okay. Oh, I know him. Yeah. I was at the end of my luck. Starving. Mm -hmm. Pressed. Out of money. Broke. Out of luck. Uh-huh. Thank you. I needed a copy pasta. Out of fuel? No. No. Oh. But no. Roland Nelson approached me. Maybe you have heard of him. He lives his life by the die. He rolls a two-sided die. Whether he does something or doesn't. He lives his life by the die. He rolls a two-sided die. However, with me, he handed me a hundred-sided die. He said to keep your life one hundred. Choose your fate. Oh. Make the dice your own. That is exactly what I did. I had made the dice my own. That's so the dice has led you to this fate. Join the fate. I have to drive into PD. You have yep. to. Yep. That into is your fate, in, sir. Oh. Into well, it's not, follow it's not the, the worst. Fate. Can you even make it in, into this bollards? Oh. I. We did can, it. You, Oh. You're in. This was my this was my fate. Yep. Yes. Yep. Wait, but if you would like to yep. change it, that is Need expensive. So again. That that is exp oh, oh 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 I'm kind of broke right now. Do I have to? How expensive are we talking? It is five thousand dollars. Five thousand is the answer. Um, because your fate is life changing. Yep, yep. That is a cheap price to change your life. Uh, okay. Um, you know, I, I, as much as I really enjoyed this trip, I'm just, I'm really far away from home right now. I, you know, I, I Shall I return you to home? Oh, oh, would you, would you, uh, would you mind? Hmm. 
No, I do not mind. No, oh, okay, well, I will that would be home. That would be lovely. Was that just a, a yes or a no thing, or was that yep. multiple? No. Oh, nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. yep. Yep. Nope. Yep. The payment yep. must nope. be made. No. Nope. Yep. yep. Oh. Oh, do you need the five? Do you need the five thousand? If I do not have the five thousand, they are not pleased. They must need something else. Oh. I am returning you home sacrifice. before they attack you. Yep. Uh, uh, yep. Before who attacks me? They hear you. They hear you. Well, I, 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 I don't have. He hears you. The one you're seeking, Travis Paco. Uh huh. He is watching. He is hearing oh. everything you say. He is learning, adapting. But do not worry. I am taking you home before he gets to you. Oh, well, uh, thank you. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No one yeah. to sink us. <laughs> yep, yep. It's just so committed. It's insane. So, what are, what are the... What do those no noises mean? What noises? What, what you know, you did you not just... Oh, we speaking mm. normal language. Oh. I do not know why he is talking about noises. Is it the car? Well, it is rather um, old and slightly battered. Oh, yeah, maybe it was... Maybe, you know, maybe back here I'm just hearing that... Uh, can I use my radio? They're asking if I'm okay. And I'll just say yes. Do you mind? We have to go over to Fort Zancudo. Can I can I use my radio and ask if you I can answer that I'm okay? Fort. That place has so many metal walls. So many frequencies are discharged from that area. That is a perfect opportunity for you to slip in that communication. Maybe Travis will not hear it. <laughs> Well, they're, 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 they're panicking right now over, they're panicking over the radio right now about, Who can they not panicking? see, all of the officers are panicking. Well, don't you have a way they to no communicate need for when you are harmed or injured? Yeah, but that, that's when I'm harmed or injured. So then why are they scared? You are not well, harmed or injured. Well, because, yeah. I know, but you, yep, yeah. Yet? Yep, Did you say yep, or yep? Yep. 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 Are you yep. taking me? You're e just taking a me home, right? Yep. I am taking you. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use the radio. Not yet. I, we are almost there. The tunnel. No, we're almost, that is when you will you. use it. No. The tunnel. In the tunnel. Yes. In the tunnel. The yep. right time. When? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. When? When they can't see me? They can't see you, and they won't they, be able okay. to hear you. Okay. Okay, I'll... I'm breaking their barriers of communication now. Oh, they okay. won't These hear dividers, you. They're all pinging. But now we have destroyed them. You have three seconds. Go. I dispatch 431. I'm, I'm Ocean King. I'm well... I'm, I'm Ocean King. No worries about me. Just, uh, just driving. Oh, now ah! I'm getting <laughs> Oh, they I think the they... Tail end. That is not good. I am sorry, oh, no. sir. They I wanted to take you. you home, but now we have to do something. <laughs> you failed. Uh, you they're, didn't they're... save yourself. Well, the, now you... you will see your new fate. Phone. Oh, oh God. Phone. Do you want me to? Do you want me to hang up? Or do you want me to? Do you want me to... I'm, I, 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 you know the. They hear. 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 Oh God. Um. I, you know, I, you guys can just drop. Quiet. We must do something. This is your fault, so you have to fix it. The mothership is not pleased. I am not pleased. They, they hear they, you. They're gonna, they're gonna chase, they're gonna chase you. I, I can tell you that now. They're. That is fine. They can follow us. No, so we'll... And I'm, I'm safe, I'm safe, <laughs> right? You're not gonna... Cause it, not I going can just, to what? Can I just, can I just get out at any point in time? No. 
No. Um, we will say so. You have to Ooh. repent for what you have done. Uh, yep, oh. yep, yep. What yep. have I what what have yep. I done? I haven't I haven't done any I they haven't done a sin. You. you are going they to hurt help you. us. They hurt you. They did not like that. what you said. No, no, no. 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 Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. 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 There you go. Um, You're um, starting to catch on. Um, yep. Yep. I don't, Join I us. I just hope it is not too late. We can save you. I, you know, I'm I'm comfortable where I am. I'm comfortable with what I'm. You know, I'm fine with living the way I do. I don't. I don't need saving. That is what they all say. Oh, they're coming. They're coming up behind you. They're. That is fine. You. It's good. We need more they help. Can follow. Again, yep, yep. we are not here to harm you. Am I? Am I a hostage? You are not no. a hostage. You're, you're a, a hostage guest in your, your own thing. Uh, hostage. Why, why? Guest. Hostage. I yes. feel like a moderate yep. hostage. No. No. Yep. We do not have anything <laughs> to threaten your life, with, sir. Yep. We are merely here to help us. You see this uh, tower over here with the red light. Yeah. I'm going to need your help. I don't think I can help with that. No, you can, and you will. Well, I, I, you guys don't. You, what's stopping me from, you know, just not, you know? Because you said you don't want to be a hostage, and you well, feel I like I you might be. If you want the entire mothership to be after you, sir, I would highly suggest yeah. you just come and follow me. And help with this one thing. Oh God. Bobo, what's up, man? I kind of wish you guys stuck around, or I was able to stick. You guys stuck around longer. I wanted to give you guys some weird freaking roleplay. Hey, but... Bobby, I don't know what I don't. I don't know what's happening, Bobby. Oh God. To the steps of ascension. Bobby, I don't know what's happening. Welcome, know what's welcome, happening, Bobby. No radio. I'm not. I'm. Turn it Bob, up. Bobby's right behind us. Let us go. They're gonna. Thank you, man. Why is she saying for us to stop moving? Tell her we are fine. We come in peace. Well, no. yeah, yeah. But we her on here. radio is not good. Oh, Bob, Bobby, they're saying they come in peace. I think. Yep. 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 Follow. Yep. 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 Just no. follow. <laughs> oh. yep. We are almost there. Okay, Max, Max, stop moving. Max, Max, I... stop moving. Max, he is telling me. He is fine. Max, we are us. not harming him. No, we Ma want to show the light. Ma'am, please, do not use your radio. They do not like that. Put your fucking hands up, I... I... We come in peace. We are not causing any harm to your officer. Okay, I am yelling. Oh god. <laughs> but you guys Stop are moving. coming harm. Stop moving! Follow Stop us, fucking moving! Please. Stop fucking moving! We come in peace, ma'am. Step away! We want to show the light. Step away up the hill. We are going up the hill. I know you're yeah. going up the hill, my fucking Let's officer go. isn't. Very well. Guys, don't yep, Dan's yep. game comp we RP. Don't believe. Calm down, guys. It's not that deep. You almost believe he was stuck. I thought he would be the one. He may be the one. But I see they are scared. They are. Behave, guys. It is fine. It's all love, man. You guys, you guys know that I did kill somebody. I killed an EMS, and that's probably why they're... They don't want... They, they probably know something sketchy is up. So calm down. If you got nothing nice to say, don't say it. I can understand you can be frustrated with how a situation pans out. Yes, I can understand that you're like, No, I want them all to play along. Yeah, that'd be cool. But hey, man. Everyone's got their own different styles of roleplay. Just let it all let it all work. Who cares? It can also lead to 
other avenues of RP that were unexpected. And that's the beauty of it. Is that unforeseen circumstances can happen. And then you roll with it. And it can even create better RP. Hmm. Yep, yep. 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 No, yep. We have spectators. Yep. We do. Join us. I do not think they will. They oh. are still using their communication. They hear them. That's the power is good. out in the city. This is good. Yep, the mothership yep. is pleased. Yep. Yeah, we are so dying today. <laughs> Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. Sports. Eat. Eat. Sports. Eat. Yep. No. Sports is in the game. It's in the game. This is so freaking creepy, dude. Like. <laughs> we will keep hammering until an officer approaches. Yep. We yep. need their help. We need their help. They will hear our music. Maybe. Maybe. Don't let this yeah. distract you from the fact that this is all Penta's fault. <laughs> Penta's a f Penta. How do I say this nicely? <laughs> uh. Hi. Uh, look, how can I put this uh, nicely? Uh, uh, Penta, you're a fuck. that man's fault hmm they seems they are more. explaining the situation yep, the yep. situation might be crass it might be not going the way we need it to go but we need our faith that we do you can still yep, hear me yep. correct yep yep I have made quite a few sacrifices but that was their fate on the die I believe they are seeking Travis Buckle. That is me. This may I be see. the end. If they refuse to communicate, if they have found out my plot, then I want you to know, Mothership, what? that I do appreciate what you have given to furthering this kingdom. Yep, yep. I will continue the legacy. But we will see the fate. That is the thing, though, Mothership. If I am to fall, all those who have believed will forget. You no. will become back as you were. No. 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 Yep. <laughs> yes. I am sorry, but that is a blight of our species. We can let them be lucky, though. Six. The higher up you are, the more you forget. I see. The elders. Why do you think Alzheimer's and dementia is a thing? People with Alzheimer's and dementia, they used to be believers. But their leader they died. Oh no. Therefore they forget. Sometimes they forget too much. Because what they knew was too much. They could not come back to a state of normalcy. Their brain could not comprehend it. They had been enlightened too far. I see. You are not at that stage. Not yet. So not you will yet. be fine. I see. I don't want this. No, she's fine. She's not that far up the ladder, dude. Hey, what are you guys, what are you guys doing? Yep, yep. Yep. Can you hear yep. me? Hello. Can you hear us? Okay. Keep hammering. Okay. Mother yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 
I cannot hear you, sir. What you saying? I would recommend not using your radio frequencies up this close. You recommend what? Speak off, we cannot hear you. Am I not yelling? I am yelling, but you are too far. Please, I, I come in peace. Now. Yeah. So you recommend not using radio? Why not? Because they do not like it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go back a little bit. We need your help, though. Hurry. You're probably wondering why the electricity in the city is out currently. That is because they do oh. not like your communication, so they are trying we, to shut it down. We are trying we to reestablish it, but we need your help. Yep. 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 Please. You must stop using your radio when such close proximity to the mothership. See? Mothership? Yep, now that yep. you guys have ceased radio communication, the power has been restored. It is. Guys on crack or something. No, I have a cock on my chest. It is not a crack. Yeah, it's a cat. Okay, he's making jokes about the cock on his chest. No, he's on drugs, guys. There's no joke about cocks, sir. He's making cock jokes. It is normal male genitalia. You should be proud of it. It is a means of procreation to extend your species. It is a special symbol. Kaminsky. Say the word, I'll move in. Are you guys okay? All right. Let's get some hands in the air, guys. All right. Get some hands in the air. We're gonna tap off them. <laughs> Very well. Thank okay. you. Okay. Hands in the air, please, ma'am. Be gentle. Yep. 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 Me yep. second. Yep. 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 Right. Yep. 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 Gonna be detaining you. Yep. 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 Jesus yep. Christ. Yep. E A E E A Sports. Yep. Yep. It's in the game. Yep. Game. Yep. Dick. It's cock. In the game. Yep. yep. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, two in cuffs. What is it night time? They're making very guttural noises. Because the sun has or... set. And so will this world. Yep, yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you let them... Okay, uh, I'm gonna... I'm scared. I'm just gonna say it. Individual name is Travis Buckles. Got a knife on him. I've confiscated it. That'll do. You two. Handle him for now. Get him transported. I'm gonna try to take the fall so this girl gets nothing. Because she's brainwashed. I don't know. I don't want her to be like punished. I'm gonna take this one. Yeah. Okay. I made a mistake. Do not worry, mothership. It will be ah! fine. With you? I can do that too. <laughs> it seems one may be enlightened. Sounds like my ex when she deep throated. Deep throat what? All right, sir. Mind your head. Yo, guys. <laughs> the face is a little scuffed, but I honestly think it's better than the other one. What do you guys think? <laughs> EA, EA, EA Sports.
<laughs> His face is really scuffed, but... I don't know, it doesn't look bad. He got a Mario head. Where are we moving the individuals? But the arm looks great. He looks like Giga Chad. That's way better than what we had, I, honestly. That's way better than what we had. I'd take that. I'll take that. <clears throat> Copy that. The arm looks sick. Wait, let me do. Um... <clears throat> There's a medical facility right next to SDSL. Maybe, what if there's creepies? Oh, wait. I should have been playing this. This whole time, I should have been playing Alien Isolation music. Oh, my God. No! The eons of RP! <laughs> eons of immersion! No! Oh, it's a Zarek here? <laughs> what happened? Did her head pop? But she's a chat. Separated us both for now. That's true. We'll be reunited though. I know a lot about being a birth child on the server. <laughs> hey, Burn, you should speak a different language. Okay, chat. I'll start a cult. Great idea. You seem tense. Can you blame me? No. Because you are uncertain of your outcome, your fate. But are I know your fate. It has been predestined from your conception. Is it a good fate? Jim, I like for tier one. There are several avenues due to you enacting free will. It is a mere tangled cobweb of sorts. There are many avenues that are bad, and only a very few that are good. What you did today, what your officers did, that was bad. And why was it bad? You used your radio. Your frequencies, they were not pleased. Mm. Cold RP PP Hop, new character. <laughs> I did not prepare enough Shungite to counteract your set frequencies. You need Shanghai to counteract the frequency. That is right. It is a special type of rock. Protects against frequencies and unwanted frequencies that may be traveling in the air. You can buy a whole bunch of them and spread them throughout La Casa. That is what I have done. <laughs> Maybe you should as well. New character, same RP. No, same yeah, RP, Light, would be me on the ground in the hospital. So, no, you're wrong. You're actually wrong. Alright, sir. On your head. Hey, what's going on? Hello. Yeah. Pardon me. I lost my glasses. I'm upset. I knew no, he would lose his glasses. Hey, Jaden? Yeah. Oh, you being I'm weird. Oh, Every character is bad at driving now, Cac W. 
All right, uh, when are you guys gonna have new jokes? Okay. <laughs> when are you guys gonna stop making fun of my 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 driving? All right. For me, one lesser true person here. Go ahead. Burn is a good streamer. Thanks, dude. Big business. Thank you, man. When are you gonna learn to drive? Uh. Whenever your mother breaks my heart. I'm gonna be back in tagging your possessions here for DOC. Also be fingerprinting you at this time, okay? That is fine. Thumb and forefinger. Time traveling character? Oh yeah, that show Dark. I remember seeing it before. Yeah. I'm gonna be getting out of the coast at this time, okay? Very well. There with me. Dark Time Lord? I don't know. Why this guy would have to hit me up for that? I've... <laughs> I kind of need to pee. I think I have time to pee, guys. Burn has a Discord where you only speak as Travis. Ooh, okay, guys. Uh, Everyone, general chat on my Discord. Start speaking like Travis Buckle. Here we go. EA Sports. E. E. A. Uh, e. E. A. Yep. 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 Cock. Scream. <laughs> Scream. Three. It's in the cock. <laughs> yep. Cock. Yes. Yes. Raw. Yes. Cock. Yep. E. A. Yep. Burn driving. Okay. Mods, time that person out. All right, you guys are pretty good at roleplay, I'm not going to lie. Yep. 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 Cock. Yep. 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 Hey, now. You're a cock star. Yep. Get your cock on. Jerk off. Hey, now. Yep. E. E. A. Hey, now. You're a cock star. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna be sitting in possession. Spam bat chest. <laughs> I can love spam. I love spam. Let's go. Uh -oh. Yeah, something weird is happening. Oh, okay. Why don't you pick her up and bring her towards bars and then, you know, drop her? Roger. Well, Martel, that's a great suggestion. I did corrupt an innocent right civilian. Oh, okay. Joe RP at Tsunami? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I really gotta pee. Can I go pee? I think I can go pee real quick. Hey! Chat, can I go pee? Where was my hand? Chat, please. Please. Please, man, I really gotta go. I know I should have gone b between classes, but I just I really got to. I am working on this. Thank you for your helpful. I appreciate that. Oh, there's a urine. Uh, I mean, there's a. Sweet. All right, beer back. <laughs> I can RP it. <laughs> RP. <laughs> Get it? Commercial break while I go pee. We reunited. Alright, sir. What is it? Bath salts? He's just standing there, pissing. Yep, yep. 
Wait a minute, he doesn't have a shit on going. POV, good one, dude. What should we do? Let's stay in the city, huh? Let's stay in the city, huh? I am sorry. For what? Putting you in this position. You didn't put me anywhere. They did. That is true, mothership. Yep, yep. Okay, sir. Be honest with me. You take something. Bath salts, LSD, mushrooms, what was it? <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat that? Repeat what? You heard us. Are you okay, sir? Are you taking any bath salts? <sighs> no. No, I'm perfectly fine. You know. Hey, where is this You're mothership, guys? Where is Where's that? Where's that at? Are you sure you do not need a medical diagnosis? You are hearing sounds. Are you a doctor? Yes. Yeah? What kind of doctor? One for the mothership. Is that a tattoo on there or is that, uh, is that branded on there? You guys can get in the room now. He's in the What if I were to tell you it is both? Um, Percy, Percy, get, wait, get your and I would be confused. So, what do you think? That, that looks like uh, you know those, you know those cattle things where they burn yeah, them to mark them. Well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I was burned. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. Might be. A it's hard to tell. Hard to tell. Okay, sir. I'm gonna have to put you in cuffs at this time. We need to take you into another room. Can you please face away from? Me? I shall comply to those that are inferior. Wait, what happened? Inferior? Oh my god. <laughs> Fair enough, on it. Alright. Uh, they said burn, dude. Where are they taking you? Do not worry, mothership. It will all be fine. I believe. You should be good. Come with me, sir. Nice self insert. Get out of here! Just through that gray door on the right. You will be fine. I will. I will be fine. Okay. Keep on coming, Mr. Buckle. Don't make me hold on to you. Mothership with you. Always. You tackle the cell, you'll end this up by door side. On the right over here. Whose phone is there? Turn that sounds that good. Shit it is locked, sir. Now it is not. Hey, fuck you, cop! Shut hey. your lip! This fucking asshole! Who's this fucking moron! Yep. Yep, cock, yep. Yeah, cock! Yeah, cock! Yeah, fuck those cops, yeah! Yeah, fuck cops, yeah. And suck cock! Wow, we say e. fuck cops, suck cock, yeah. Yeah. E A E yeah. E A Sports. Yeah, E A yeah. Sports. Yeah. It's, it's in the game. Yep. Hey, hey, ponytail, yeah. fuck. Face to face to glass. There you go. <laughs> this is a podcasting. <laughs> what the hell are we doing in here? I believe you know. This has been predestined. This is your oh. fate. Yeah. <laughs> you say fate or phase? If I said phase, this yeah. would not be the reality you would be in right now, would it? Right. Exactly. Yeah, because I'm a woman. Women don't belong in video ga video game. Are you insinuating that this is All right, one at a time. One at a time, come with me. Ponytail, let's go first. Very, very well. E. What are you EA Sports. EA Sports. You're coming with me. I can't see anything. What is going on? I feel like they're trying to make Martel and, uh, 
Oh, uh, what is it? Grimes, whatever his name is. Uh, pretend that they're cultists. Oh, they did a criminal lineup. <laughs> or Silas Grimmer. That's what it is, right? I cannot see. Now I can. Alright, come here. I'll get your cups. Oh. Whoops. Please My bad. I'll get your cups. Dude, how did I tackle him? Just, just hit this guy with assault with a deadly. There we go. The brain, the brain is considered a deadly weapon Wait, to those it? that are dumb. Salt with a deadly, and that'll be it. Let's let's just go over there. We've got him on there. What deadly weapon was I using happened. to assault someone? When did I assault someone with a deadly weapon, officer? Hello. We know you did it. Did what? Stabbed a man. Stabbed no, who? We didn't. I cannot tell you that. That is a victim. I'm assuming you're talking about what happened. At the homeless camp? Yes, yes, yes. There is much more to that story, sir. Really? Yes. Hold on, hold on. You don't want your file They don't know the truth. They do not, Mothership. He was with us. Yes. If only he would say. Dang. I see the Darth Bobo strat. The man left to go to work. Hmm. Are you gonna are you gonna be able to come back off and I up? see how to go to work. Yes, I can be. Okay, um just uh, meet us back here. Just meet, just meet us back Darth here. Bobo goes to work? I so that I get framed? Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> These power oh, gaming oh, lost MC. <laughs> Lady T, thanks for the prime. I will be here. I will try to be here. I will be rooting for you. If you are not, we will miss you. Don't miss Mothership. Mothership is always with you. Of course, because EA Sports is in the game. EA Sports is in the game. It is in the cock. Yep. The cock. Yep. 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 Um, yeah. Two minutes till D-Day. Yep. Yep. Do yep. you mind if I uh, search real quick? I need to do it. Go for it. I've already seized his possessions. I'll uh, add them into the report. I need to go in there with him. I'm soft cuffing you. I'm soft cuffing you. Unless he picks something up, I've already seized his possession. Um, I need to check one other thing. What other thing? Is it my cock? It is already on my chest, sir. Okay. No, 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 you're good. How did you manage to do that anyway? Is it like a transplant? <laughs> One minute. One minute. One. One minute. One minute. These frequencies are annoying. They hear us. They, they hear. Yeah. They. They hear. Yes. They, yep. yep. Cock. Yep. yep. Game. An exclusive. They have arrived. Yep. Yep. Cock. Yep. 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 Cock. Yep. Yep. Cock. E. E. A. E. E. A. In the game. In the cock. Yep. Goodbye. Bye. Soon Bye. you shall die. Later. Yeah. <laughs> what is this freaking character, dude? <laughs> this character is so freaking weird, man. Like, I, I just. <laughs> What happens? Uh, server reset. It's one o'clock. He's giving chills, but not in the way that you would expect. This is Burns' top 10 creepiest roleplay characters. Coming at number one. 
Travis Buckle. Travis Buckle is a taxi driver. A taxi driver that you would least expect to kill someone. But that's exactly what he does. <laughs> Talking about the mothership. I, yeah, I, I only have the inflection. I don't think I could do anything else. <laughs> Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing that you would ever want in your Burger King burger is someone else's foot fungus. But that might be what you... <laughs> I, I, it's like way more like nasally. Like, that might, might... I can't do it. I can just do like... <laughs> Top 15 most cringe streamers coming at number one. We have Jugi. Jugi is a Twitch streamer that is cringe, but a VIP in Burns channel. Often going live, streaming his Q. 65 out of 65. No prio. <laughs> Is our next character just going to be a Chills ripoff? <laughs> Would you like to see the top 10 ways I can gut a human body? Coming at number 10. Knife mutilation. <laughs> Simply withdrawing a knife from your pocket and stabbing an individual. <laughs> Their organs will spill out. It's kind of gross. Anyways, everybody at at this 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 Eric, all right. Do it right now, and Drake and chat. That's a uh, mothership. All right, so we need to go to Sandy Shores, I guess. Number 15, guys, not the same as Daily Dose. Later. This is your Daily Dose of the Internet. And today, we're going to be talking... <laughs> your Daily... Your Daily... Your Daily... Later. Later. That is exactly what Travis Buckle said. <laughs> right before that person was dead. Travis Buckle was a known frequent taxi driver in the city of Los Santos. Yes, make sure to follow her. She's great. She took the roleplay an extra mile. Hell yeah. I just hope she doesn't get punished too much. I'm, I'm going to try to take the brunt of it. Worst drivers on NoPixel. Have you ever watched a streamer drive poorly with burn? It turns out that's exactly what you get. <laughs> Watching every single stream, you'll catch a common phenomenon... He continuously drives and crashes. He may also spend half of his stream on the ground, dead. Much like his stream. <laughs> but what if it's not dead? Oh, I went to the wrong one. Hello. <laughs> Hello. My bad. Guys, we'll do Chills RP next. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is Sandy, right? I'll say we.
No, this is Patrick. <laughs> I knew someone was going to say that. <laughs> is this Sandy Shores? Maybe I shall sit down. This is normal. Hello. Yep. Hello. Yep. I'm... Oh my god. What the fuck? Can you turn around to me so I can put you in cuffs? Sure. Go ahead. How on point is my Patrick voice? Probably not that on point, to be honest. Can I move you in here? Never really tried it. Take care of it. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm gonna put you in the cell and I'm gonna get a, a resting officer for you. It's just my critical voice is my Patrick voice, I guess. <laughs> Are you in yeah, the baby! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Are you inside about. the cell? Yep. I am okay. good. I'm gonna take off your handcuff here. Perfect. Now I just need the officer. Welcome. This is the top 15 arrests in 2022 on no pixel. Coming at number 15, we have Travis Buckle. Travis Buckle is a taxi driver that was employed by Abdul. Little did they know that Travis Buckle had an agenda of his own. He wasn't really a taxi driver, but more of a final destination taxi driver. <laughs> I can't get over that. <laughs> the cadence. I, I really want to do that now. <laughs> I don't even know what we do on that character. Number 14, X. Now I know what you're thinking. How is X not number one? Well, that's because he's actually numbers one through 14. <laughs> okay. Is everyone else back? Uh, only him. Oh, that's fine. I got the other guy's statement. I just need his. I need to understand what happened. Oh my gosh, we'll do it a paranormal investigator. Yes! We're gonna be called yeah. Devin Chills and we're gonna, we're gonna get a camera. And we're gonna try to do house robberies with people and go in and be like <laughs> okay here we are inside of a haunted house <laughs> they say a little girl was killed on christmas day she continues to haunt these hallways screaming where's santa where's santa <laughs> This is not a place that you want to go to at night. It's very scary. But number four will shock you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It'd be so great to have like people just overreacting with it. Watch till the end to find out. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that Kyle watches Chill's videos. That would be hilarious. Hello, and welcome to the top 15 worst cops in the city of Los Santos. Coming at number 15, <laughs> number one, Kyle Pred. Kyle Pred is the sheriff, the chief of police, but more so the chief of a queef. That's right. He sounds just like the air escaping out of one's vagina. <laughs> the top 10 scariest places on Twitter. Real, true, and based. Number one, Wrangler. Wrangler is a character that everyone thinks is an asshole. Turns out that's because the person that roleplays as him is an asshole. 
Here is a clip that we have obtained from a celebrity from FaZe. And this is what he had to say. What you are about to hear may shock you. Hi. Oh, how can I put this uh, nicely? Uh, uh, Penta, you're a fucker. You're a fucker. You That's right. I just got a DM. Hey, man. Just got told you were the taxi driver who picked me up. Didn't realize you were streaming. Thanks for the good RP, man. The top 10 roleplay streamers. <laughs> Coming at number one, Burn. Burn is a GTA roleplay streamer. Just last year, the Reddit slash r slash RP Clips GTA voted him as top roleplayer of the year. <laughs> I actually think I'm getting good at that voice. Holy crap. It's actually creepy. It's not, I don't think it's as nasally, but the cadence is like spot on. You know? I, I don't think I have his voice, but the, the cadence is there. Which is... A lot better chills than I used to be, for sure. Anyways, we've got to RP this out. <laughs> but that's exactly what you get. Dude, I, I want to make this character now. We're probably going to go in for the nines anyways, so. Um, hey, so did anyone read your, your rights in the beginning? No, I was not okay. given my rights. Okay, I'm going to question you, so, but I'm going to start by your rights. So you do have the right to remain silent. Anything say cannot will be used against you in common law. You have the right to attorney any present if available. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to your fiat charge by the state. You understand this right that I've written to you? Yep. Okay. Yep, cock. Yep. Uh, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Um, a couple of questions? A couple of cockle. questions. Couple. Couple. So, two days ago, what were you doing that, sir? Two days ago. Fifteen of January? Hmm. Are you asking me? I'm asking you. Are you, you asking them? Both of you. Hmm. Two separate entities are doing two separate things. Okay, let's start with you. What were you doing two days ago, 15th of January? Giving rides in my taxi. Okay, what about uh, them? They refuse to answer. Okay. Where did you see at EMS? Did you talk with any paramedics or EMTs 15th of January? I did not. What about uh, a tree uh, you, uh, you decided to put out while you're standing in front of an EMS <coughs> with a paramedic in the driver's seat? I do not recall said picture taken. But maybe they do. This photo here? What photo? The thing I just handed you here. I just you see, see your, your finger. Did you pull out the picture out of your pocket? Uh, MTW. Oh, let me look onto the screen. Hmm. I do enjoy Flappy Bird as well. So you never talk with any paramedics during uh, 15th of uh, January? That must have been my brother. Your brother? What is your brother's name? Thomas. <laughs> Did 
Thomas, maybe, does he have access to your Twitter account? We are brothers. We are on the same plan. We share the same phone. That is what family is for. Okay, I will be right back with you. Such a freaky character, dude. <laughs> Wait, what if I just like cower over here? Cower? They were wrong about their mothership. I am sorry. Is there a yell? <clears throat> if only you were here. I could really use your help. You got me into this. I did nothing. Why do you control me? In the cells <laughs> of Sandy Shores, Travis Buckle is seen cowering in a corner, screaming weird noises, noises that shouldn't be emitted from a human being. Here's a clip where you can hear it. It's truly frightening. I cut the tape before it got really graphic. He started to contort and roll on the ground vomiting blood i can't show that on youtube otherwise the video would get demonetized so instead i decided to replace it and censor it with my little ponies friendship can truly be magical in instances like these <laughs> He waited here for about three hours. Still, the cops were too afraid to truly question this man further and decided to tase each other in the face because what they were hearing was truly causing insanity. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. Imagine with Parsons opening up, we go there at night, and it could be like chills, and we could do chills RP, but it's like uh, Outlast. That's right. Today, we're going to Parsons to find the top 15 craziest patients. <laughs> I, I actually planned on doing Outlast RP back in October last year. That was part of my Halloween plans. But uh, Parsons was like closed at the time. And so I was like, eh. We have an interior for Parsons. We had like an interior and stuff they were going to use. So I was like, eh. Maybe next, next time. The voice will kill my ears. Perfect. Everyone's going to bat chest chills here. I can't wait. Should be fun. I wonder what they're thinking. I'm sorry we're just kind of standing here. This is kind of almost bush RP, guys. This is prison cam RP. <laughs> no music, just... Oh, this is like Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. Is that where you want to be? Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh. Sir, do you, do you need any food, any water? 
This vessel does not require water. Okay. What about food? No! Okay, okay, okay. We will have someone up here and we will... Uh, will Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. Today we're going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, <laughs> He's lost his mind! Hello every- Hello, hello! Hello- <laughs> Marky Moo! <laughs> Marky Moo! Self-insert Pago. You're a Pago. You hear me? Swagger souls. Swag. Swagger. Swag. Swagger. I can't do. There's a character. There. I feel like it's like almost like a Kermit. I don't. I can't do it. I can't do Swagger souls. There's like a character I did that almost sounded like him, but I can't do it anymore. Minus one. Why are you minus oneing me? Switching to cam two. Is that the bite of eighty seven? Yeah, the Kermit character is just Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Dude, actually, I'd be down to do uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. The lore. Could you imagine? I could walk around and be like. Gregory, <laughs> we have to get a pog champ, Gregory. We need to rob the vault, Gregory. Gregory! Please, Gregory, get inside. Dude, but actual Five Nights at Freddy's could be kind of creepy here. Oh my gosh, yeah, I could do Jimmy Youngman. Markiplier did play on the server, yeah, he was Stan the Waterman. Yeah, we'd need the special player models, obviously, but he was hilarious. Yeah, he played back in, like, 2.0. Mark is the reason why I got into NoPixel. Couldn't you have just lied and said that I was the reason? <gasps> Kidding. Hello. Gregory, we need to find the password to Roxy's OnlyFan. It's crucial to helping you escape the peasant pizza plant. Gregory. You've got to smell Vanessa's feet, Gregory. It smells like vanilla. Hey, yo! <laughs> I miss your character who arced into Bojack Horseman falling off. Yeah, that was... Dude. That character was wild. Burn is the reason why I stopped watching NoPixel. <laughs> yeah, I watch his stream muted now. <laughs> I turn off my monitor when I tune into him and I just type in chat so I'm not watching NoPixel. Bird got me an ERP. Hell yeah. Oh, good old baby. Vanessa, how am I supposed to live, laugh, love in these conditions? <laughs> Vanessa. We need to get Gregory to learn how to ERP. Let me search. Let me see if there is actually a model for it. GTA 5 mods Freddy Fazbear. I bet there is. Oh my gosh, there is. But I don't know if it's the right one. It's not the right one. Coming at number three. 
I'm looking for Freddy Fazbear. Yeah, I think there's only one add-on pet, and it's not the good one. It's freaking Toy Freddy, guys. It's this one. Gregory! <laughs> Get inside me, Gregory. Animatronics would be pretty cool, but this... I hate this one, though. Fazbear? Good enough. Five Nights at Freddy's! You could hide out at Burger Shot. This could enable some pretty fun RP at, at like Burger Shot or restaurants. Just like pop up there and just be Phase Bear, Freddy Phase Bear, F8 quits, disappears. Wait, that's actually funny. <laughs> So that could exp so that could be like lore accurate to why he like disappears. But it would be funny to have uh <coughs> to have Penta as Jimmy and he'll be like Gregory and we just walk around together. Gregory. There's not enough pog champs, Gregory. We have to shoot someone. <laughs> Kill a cop, Gregory. Jimmy. Uh, try being purple guy. What, lure people to get killed by the animatronic? I can't play both. I'm so dead. I'm toast. Hello, sir. They do not know. They do not know. They do not know. They do not know. <laughs> yep. Yep. E. E A E. Yep. 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 Cock. Yep. Travis, can you just concentrate on my voice? I'm right here. They aren't going to know anything. That is where you are wrong. They always know. How do they always know? Because. They are inside of all of us. How do they get inside of all of us? It is predestined. It is how we were created from nothing. They were the something that created everything. Creation okay, as so we know like... it. They are the spark of life. You are breathing. Therefore, they are receiving. Are they like gods to you? The reason why you live? That all of us live? They are more than that. But I guess to simplify it, layman's terms, one could consider it a god. A savior. Okay. Do you feel saved, Travis? I feel ashamed. That I wasn't able to help save more. I only saved 17.8% of the population. We How do you save only people? Save that. How do you save people? Not in here. Okay, where do you have to go to save people? That is the roughest and toughest question to answer. Because you are given free will, but through the means of predestination, it is merely a false pretense. You think every decision you've made is your own, but these decisions were forged into your being the day you were conceived. You will inquire further upon this. But I will not be able to answer. That is, until you roll the die and we go on for a ride. I don't think we're going to be able to go for a ride, Travis. 
I know. That is why I am upset. That is why they are disappointed. Well, maybe I can, uh, I can help try and save more people. How do I do that? In your current state, you cannot. You have How to do go I need a... to the ritual. You must be accepted by them, which currently you are not. How do I get accepted by them? A good start would be freeing me, for I have done nothing wrong. Well, it sounds like you're trying to indoctrinate people into a cult, so I'm, I'm going to need a little bit more than just... Indoctrinate into a cult. Yeah. I do not like that word. It is not a cult. Yep, cock. Okay. Indoctrination is not the goal. Is it cleansing then? No. Okay, so what's the goal? Saving. And helping unlock one's destiny. Break free so of their predestined path and enable their free will. By rolling the die, a die of fate. You see, I was at a casino. I have lost all of my money. I was broke, out of luck, homeless, depressed, starved. And a man approached me by the name of Roland Nelson. Maybe you have heard of him. He lives his life by the die. He rolls a two-sided die, whether he does something or doesn't. No! He handed me a 100-sided die. He said to keep your life 100. Choose your fate. Make the dice your own. That is exactly what I did. I have made the dice my own. They are pleased with this. They have blessed me with this enlightenment. And I only wish to impart this wisdom onto others, like most elders do. It is through this wisdom that we learn, adapt, and overcome as a species. Just look back into the tales of history. We read the mistakes so that we hope we do not repeat it. But tell me, officer, how often... Have you processed the same criminal for the same charges over and over? They say history repeats true. itself. But I am here to break that mold. So How we are, are you going no to break the mold of a circle? It. It's going to be very difficult. You're going to break people's everyday tendencies. They're going to change who they are to the very the fiber of their like being. Popping a balloon. Sure. That type of enlightenment would cause an explosion. A shattering of reality of sorts. They would disperse like the air trapped within a balloon. Trapped within their preconceived notions and directives. Exploding to the myriad of possibilities that they can chase. There are endless possibilities when you pop that balloon what do you use to pop the balloon a vessel a device my words are that needle that pops that balloon So you're saying just your words enlighten people to the point where they change pretty much who they are as a person. Yes. Have you never heard 
the power of speech, Martin Luther King Jr. Presidential elections are made off of one's speech. Their aspirations are put into words. Their goals are formatted with a pretext of wanting to gain support. But you said you use a device as well. Yes, that device is my mouth, which all words okay. stem from. Do you talk to... Do you talk to the enlightened ones, the, the ones that are in all of us? They are speaking to us now. What are they saying? What are you guys saying? Ahaz, thank you for the prime! They say you are curious. Yep, cock. Yep. Yep, cock. They're saying to take this L. You do not believe. Free me. Free Travis. We are not happy with her. Not happy with me. That is what they say. Okay, well, it's actually not up to me whether or not uh, you go free, Travis. So I'll go speak I to know. your arresting officer. Okay. I know my fate is predestined. But do you well, know you're yours? you're the one that breaks fate. My fate is probably to speak to the other officer and then I'm going to go out on normal patrol at which point I'm probably going to get shot at and then be told that cops are dumb fuck cops then I'm going to do some paperwork trying to change the world for the better but it's not going to really amount to anything because uh sounds like you two are trapped in that cycle who is the one that sounds insane now willingly going out knowing fully expecting to get shot Every single day, your vocation berated, made fun of. Like this is all just a playground of school children. They have gotten access to deadly lethal weapons. EA Sports, it's in the game. Yep. All right, I'm going to go talk to Bob. <laughs> this role plays like really serious, dude. I've never, I've never really done this. I don't, I don't really do serious RP that often. This is definitely kind of wild. <laughs> guys, I just want you to know, guys, listen. All right, it's not a self-insert. Here's my face. Okay, my camera's not working. They do not like it. They do not want to see you. Great. Okay, my camera doesn't work. Frequencies! Coming at number one. Burns camera. As you can see, he's role-playing a scary character to the point in which his camera stops working. He tries to turn it on, but it still refuses to show itself. His chat starts to get scared as he realizes a slight discomfort in the streamer's voice. We contacted the streamer, but he never responded. We hope everything is all right. What is this? Hello.
I just got a call from uh, needing to pay for something. I don't know. Mocha W. It was them. Dude, Alien Isolation is great music for this. <clears throat> Have you ever played a character with serious multiple personality disorder? No, Kerr, but what I have played is your mother late at night. You could hear the screams and wails coming from your mom. Got him. I have a great idea for a long-term character for you. That can be anything you want. The character has no set appearance and shape shifts during the using the change outfit mechanic. Uh. Absolute five head. I'm cringing hard. Happy pains. Ah. This streamer is so cringe. Not a mom joke again. Pepe W. I miss Evil Uno. You know. Don't we all? The art that was made was insane for Evil Uno. You know. It was cool. Yeah, I did do a split personality thing with the Toker and Dank Knight. Spring trap peds on five mods? Wait, really? Ooh, so we could do purple guy. Or is it purple guy? I don't freaking know the lore. It's, it's too wild for me. William Afton. That's what it is, right? He's the one that tries to put people in into suits, right? Is Budman still alive? I kind of stopped messing with Budman, but we'll probably still play. We'll probably play him on 420. Can I take a little bit more time? Do you need any food, any water? Uh, you, you vessel don't need anything. We are fine. Okay. I know you will take some time. So I will wait. Okay, I'm we sorry. I'm I'm shall wait. I'm doing my best there. I apologize for the wait. Do not worry. You needn't apologize to me, but apologize to them. For you are not saved yet. And I, I do not know what will happen to you. Okay, I'm I apologizing to them as well. We accept the apology. Yep. Thank you. I will be right back. Today we're going to be talking about the top 15 longest processing in jail. Coming at number one, we have Travis Buckle. <laughs> Travis Buckle was... <laughs> You've heard of this man. He was in the top 15 creepiest characters on NoPixel, but today we're going to be talking about his processing in the prison. God, I, yeah, we're going to make that Chills character. It's going to be disgusting. I wish they could see that I have no eyes. That'd be so much more creepier. The new frog's burn is always playing standing up. Thanks. I also stream in a closet. That's right. Behold! Yes. Yes. Look and see! What up, guys? But why though? Because this this closet is way too big for a human being. Might as well put everything in there. Proud of Burn for standing. Yeah, I stand up to something at least. Did Burn shrink? No. <laughs> Taller than you guys. Guarantee it. Go ahead. Post your post your heights in chat. 
I already know it'll immediately be followed by a Kappa. Four foot five, lol W. True. Six feet, yeah, right. Five foot eleven, mom. Hey! Five twelve. <laughs> three, three twenty seven, dude. Uh, okay, now how tall do you think I am? All right, how tall do you think I am, guys? That's the door. All right, I'm standing right next to the door right now. Like I'm, I'm like flush against the door. Someone said six foot. Two? Yeah, 62. Pretty accurate, man. Oh my gosh, what a... Now, uh, my actual height is like 5'9", five 5'10", five on a good day. But it's not... Listen, 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 guys, alright? Height doesn't matter. Okay? Because I'm a funny guy. And funny guys, girls like funny guys. Right? My personality is what carries me. That's why you guys enjoy me. Do the funny right now? Yes. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Yep. Yep, cock. <laughs> There's a cock on his chest. <laughs> There's a penis on his chest, dude. Oh, oh man, that's funny. My mom likes you. Wait, what? I'm about to have to do some young gravy RP. Your mom likes me? Hey, yo. Any cougars in chat? <laughs> Wait! I totally forgot. Guys, back in the day, I used to do I used to do some Mori watch parties. Oh, never mind. This is Cherry and Harry. Frick. She's back. It's not gonna take so much longer now. We know. Okay, perfect. Okay. My son is dating his stepdad's ex-wife? CJ and her husband Kevin, welcome them to the show. Now, CJ now this is content! That CJ's 20-year-old son Tyler is dating... A 36-year-old woman named Jennifer. Oh! What really makes this relationship taboo is that Jennifer... Chop Chop, thanks for the three months. He looks like a Giga Chad. He also looks like a, a RuneScape streamer. Foe, I think that's his name. He's got, I don't know, it's a very similar face. A 36-year-old is Kevin's ex-wife. Whoa. I guess that sunk in pretty fast with the it audience. It, it's been a year since C Guys, you're a part of the audience. If they're booing, you have to boo, all right? Good lord. Can you guys role play for once in your lives, please? You watch you watch role player of the year 2021. It's the least you could do for me. Jay has even had a relationship with her son. Okay, don't boo me. The got the video's paused. Who are you booing? You're booing me right now. Stop. Tyler, and she's determined to do anything it takes to tear this couple apart. Aww. So, 
You forgot, what, what, you, you what, forgot what, a what, part of the piece, though, what, 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 I'm what sorry, is? I got what, What's the piece I forgot? This is the second one of my sons that uh, sexually uh, banged uh, them. Uh, your son. Give me my name. You think she's got it out for you? I don't, I, I don't know her. I, I would. I you don't even know her? I don't know. She's if been she with two of your sons? She's behind me in Walmart, huh? and I would not recognize her. She, of course, Walmart. She's, she's she just got it out him. for anybody younger. She slept with several of my son's friends. What? No, I didn't. My, my son even told me when he was living with her that he was scared to bring any friends home because she might sleep with him. She's got a schnauzer. I know you're about to say, yeah, and you're the one to talk. Listen, man. Mine's not Wicked Witch of, Witch of the, the West or East, South, North, Direction, Navigational Element, okay? What are you? Hey, the dude's like straight up inhaling her. Look at that. Is that how you guys make out? You guys like dinosaur chomp each other? <laughs> like, good God. Kevin, what are you This vacuum sounds. Kevin, why were you with her in the first place? What's kind of funny is like, they had cameramen recording them. Like, Let's get some B-roll footage. Can you guys make out for us? Like, imagine the behind the scenes of this. Like, <laughs> why were you with her in the first place? I have no idea. I was drunk and young. You were drunk and young. <laughs> see, see, when I when I divorced her for messing around with one of my friends, she slept with all the rest of my friends. No. Then are they even your friends? She wasn't you lie on your I, <laughs> what are your friends if they're doing that? You lie through your mouth and that's it. Like, oh, dude, you got a divorce with your wife? Man, that sucks. I had sex with her, dude. You don't think that they really love each other. Free real estate. No. Each other, right? So last He's night, with her for the money. Yeah, He's well, with her for the money so he doesn't have to work. What about you, K-Fed? What about you? You didn't have tough when you met my mom, dog. Dude, I want React streamers to be like that. When they're reacting, I want them to be like up in the face like, Yo, are you kidding me? Jubilee reactions? Oh my god! What the hell is going on, man? Whoa! <laughs> oh my... We attempted to give Tyler and Jennifer lie detector tests about Ooh. why they were with each other. Now, Tyler... By the way, this meta was discussed with Penta, but I just want to make you everyone know, I used to watch Maury's show on YouTube, okay? But Penta did remind me to watch this, so I have to give credit to him. Of course he did! He, he was also on that. the Jerry Springer show. But Jennifer took the test... And we'll have the results of why she is with your son. Dude, this just reminds me of the time I went to a wedding, a friend's wedding, and they just went at it. They were inhaling each other, like, constantly throughout the wedding. D during their dance, during their dance, they literally just were making out. And I... My table was like right next to the dance floor. And I felt like I was going to get caught in the splash zone. And they were just shamooing over there. Their saliva exchange was just... Ah! ah! You know? And I, I could see their family. Like, her parents just like watching it and like trying to be supportive. But I was like... I mean, like, like listen. Happy for them. Yeah, that's a good moment. But come on. That's kind of weird to just be... You know, have a. Uh, it's just, I don't know. Like it's just a little weird. Um, yep. Quick eval. I'm not gonna much. do it on the dot. So if I feel, if I oh, hey. feel like that's how they want to celebrate it. Themselves, 
or to others. That's how they want to celebrate it, but I'm still going to talk about it. I think it's weird. I'll consider 5150, until then, I'm not going to do a full mental okay. eval. No, that's okay. fine. Okay. 5150? Okay. No! The RP! Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, thank you. Wait, Hello. Parsons RP. I'm Dr. Adams. I'm going to be your psychiatrist for today. What's your name, oh, sir? Oh, we know. Yeah, I saw you at the hospital. What's going on? This world is what wanna... is going on. Okay, do you mind telling me your name first? Travis Buckle. Go on. Um, you know, you uh, you want to tell me anything or talk yes. about what happened? Yeah, go ahead. It all started when. Yep. 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 Cock. E. EA Sports. In the game. You seem confused. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to wait until you start talking to me in words. I was. Did you not understand? No, you me? just. You just said something about your name, and then there was noises. That's pretty much what it. What noises? Uh, something that you make from your mouth. So words. Uh, it wasn't in a sentence, though. I asked you what happened, but you know, all I hear is noises. I was not making that I can't noises. really decipher. Okay, then what were you saying? So you were not paying attention. No, I heard you said "yup, cock," uh, and then a screeching noise. And that's pretty much it. I do not recall making a screeching noise. Well, I did. Hmm. Then perhaps you are lost. Maybe you am I? are the one that needs what help. What am I? Why am I lost? Why do I need help? You're hearing things. I'm hearing things? Yeah. I hear you making noises. Well, I am not hearing them. I'm okay, speaking. well, what did you hear? Words. What did you hear? What do you now, Yeah, okay. What did you say? But what do you want to tell me again what they you do said? Not understand you. You don't understand them. They say that you are the problem. But you can be fixed. An enlightening Oh, journey. I can be fixed? Yes. I don't think yep. anybody can fix me. Oh. Do not worry. Mm -hmm. In your predestined fate, currently, you cannot be fixed. Well, I don't believe but in those kind of stuff. But we're not here today will. because of me. We're here today for you. That is what you think. Because your mind okay. has not been opened to all possibilities. Travis, listen. We're not here for me today. We're here for you. We can fix you. Who is we? That you will have to find out. How do I find out? Not here. We must go to them. Where is there? Where how do I find them? We would have to go for a ride. We are them. We are we. We can fix her. That is what they say. Yep. Okay. Do you know about the people that you stabbed today, Travis? 
I did not stab anyone. The person that was stabbed okay. at the homeless camp, Who stabbed they them? said. A man on a bike. Who stabbed them? A man on a there bike. There were several people that approached on bikes. I was merely showcasing my artwork to that stranger. The people so you on the were bike there showed up and told us about. No, I was doing my artwork. That is where I okay. reside. So no, it was not In random. In the hobo camp? Yes. But okay. these people showed up as if they owned the place, all riding bikes. One wearing a red. They all pulled out guns. Caused a lot of disorder. How many people to be exact? I would say about maybe six. About all six people. On bikes. They showed up on bikes. Yes. Do you remember what they were wearing? Now uh, one was wearing a white bandana. The other red. Mm -hmm. There were several others all wearing leather jackets on the motorbike. Okay. They were clearly confused, distraught, but they wanted to be in control. So they took control of the situation and they made it more hostile than it needed to be. That man had a knife on him. I'm sure the cops checked. That man pulled out his knife. He's British. He said that is what we do. The people on the bikes did not like that. So they gave him a taste of his own medicine. That was his predetermined fate. One that we do not have control over. I tried to help him, but it was too late. By the time the cops arrived, we were there. We stayed because we were not of guilt. Those who are guilty flee and cower over the consequences. I do not fear those consequences because I did not do those. Okay, can you can you tell me more about they? What do they call themselves? What is exactly They never told what me do their they name. do? They were all on bike. Okay. If that's who you are referring to. No, I'm not referring to the it. bikers. The one who was... What do you guys want to be referred as? To? What do you guys want to be referred as? The others? Come? Your mom. Come. Go where? Travis? They wish to be called. Come, boys. Okay. All right. So basically what you're saying is you witnessed all the people on yep. the bike shot this person that had a knife. I do not know if they shot. I do not think they did. It was all okay, very then what fast, happened exactly? But I knew no, they killed him. My knife had no they blood killed... on it. You could check my okay, knife. Okay, they they killed No no no. I'm 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 not a cop. I'm just asking you what ex what exactly happened. So they killed the British guy that was there with then you. And drove away. And then drove away. They okay. did not say a so word what to you're... us. I just need to know that you didn't technically well, you know, you were not involved in stabbing or shooting the other person. That is the story I have presented to you that is factual. Okay. Okay. I had no say in his execution. I was okay. merely a witness to it. But so why are you behind the bars the others then? Believe. Because I stayed. You stayed with the person that was down? Yes. Just like how you saved the other person that was in your car before? What person? The one that you sent to the hospital earlier? 
Oh yes, when you were there in the hospital. Mm -hmm. You passed Just like how you tried car. to save him? Yes, so I tried to save him. I took him to the hospital because I care for these lives. Okay. Can you give me two minutes? I need to talk to the police officers, okay? Maybe you can convince them. They do not believe that's, us. They that's think actually I am not crazy. my job. But my job here is to help you and to understand, okay, what really yeah. happened to you. <laughs> what are they saying now? What do you mean? Because you're trying to say something and I just don't understand. I said, what do you mean? Do you not speak English? Yeah, I know. I heard you. But I didn't hear any words coming out. It's just noises. I told oh. you that before. Well, I don't so know I'm trying to get you, you to translate. Up, I do not okay. hear these All right, noises. give me two minutes, okay? Give me two minutes. All right. Four per spin. Four per spin. Come. Four per spin. Come, boys. Four per spin. Come, boys. Four per spin. Four per spin. Come, boys. Four per spin. Come, boys. <laughs> Anyways. Watch this, everyone. CJ, you've been jealous of me since day one. I'm in love with your son, and you will never break us up. I'm 20 years old, and I'm a grown-ass man. I don't care if Jen's Kevin Jack Hey, wait, 20? No shot. There's no way this guy's 20. Guys, I'm 25. Do I look 25? You look 45. All right, well, if I shaved, I guarantee I wouldn't. That's all I'm saying. All right. Ass man. I don't care if Jim's Kevin Jack's wife. That I the Mori camera angles and like Jerry Springer like they're never flattering. And I feel like they use like some weird filter. Ah. Mom, you put men before in the me flashbang. Who the hell are you to tell me who I can love? The sex is incredible. I know for a fact you're not having as much fun as we are. <laughs> it's almost. You know what this reminds me? This reminds me of like an abstinence video or something, and it's like someone acting like sex is really cool, and then then. I want to tell you guys about abstinence. And you see, people say that sex is, is good, but it's better when it's right, the right person. Anyways, I'm a virgin, so what do I know? We want to have sex all day and play video games all Listen, I'm just jealous, because all I do is play video games all night, but I'm not having sex all day. I'm doing half of his life, and he's 20, dude. Business. I'm not gonna quit dating Jennifer because I'm 20 Travis, and she's 36. Right you, okay? get me, what are these kisses, though? What are these kisses, man? Mom, you make me sick. I'm not gonna quit dating Jennifer because I'm 20 and she's 36. Who gives a damn? I get pogs, though. That's true. But on the Penta episode, we might. Love and relationships around video okay. games. Here they are. Tyler there are two of us. God, it's way too dank in that studio. Wait a second. What about you? There you go. Yeah, there you go. Back to role playing. Come on. Hi. Think about it. Oh, well, we just RP skipped. Mm -hmm. She's 36. Mm -hmm. She has a son about your age. Okay. Now, before we dated, before we dated, she made me personally go to her son and ask him if that would be okay. And at the time, yeah, he said lie. he did not care. No, at the time, he, he said he house. did not care. Could you imagine your dad being the same age as you? Like, what would you guys talk about? 
That'd be so awkward. Wait, somebody, uh, I think Axe said there's a new emote. Stream emote idea? Wait, when? Where? Is it in emote suggestions? Hashtag ad? <laughs> what? What is this? Is that a butthole? I don't... I don't I... <laughs> what does this mean? If this is actually a butthole, can, will I get banned? Ackle, hey, yo, dude, you all right? Yeah, all right. Right. Tyler. 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 Self insert. Oh, your brother. Who? She was That's a five head. Once. 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 That's a five head, actually. <laughs> Dig it. Hey. So what? Hey, keep it in the family. Keep okay. it. In Hell yeah, brother. Keep it in the family. What do you see in a 20-year-old who likes to play video games? He's fun. What? He's fun. He plays He's fun. I'm fun, right, guys? I play video games. I'm fun. Right? 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 Thank you. It's That's about, why I might have it's another girl fun. pregnant. You have a 20-year-old and you have a 36-year-old. I can tell you just from the experience of doing relationships on this show like that. Wait, you have a 20-year-old and a 36-year-old? But she's 50. Does that mean... Wait. That means she would have a kid of 14. Did I hear that right? I have a 36-year-old. With girls, that's why I might have another about girl pregnant. Fun. You have a 20 year old and you have a 36 year old. I can tell you just from the experience of doing relationships on this show. That's not how kids work. Like that, older, younger. 15. This will kind of die of its own inertia. You know what I mean? 16? Am I dumb? She's 50. Guys, I'm just bad at math. Okay, let's next. Let's just go back to role playing the audience, please. However, we wanted to point out why Jennifer is involved with Tyler. Okay, so we gave her a lie detector test. <laughs> Jennifer, you were asked, "Are you only with Tyler to try to get closer to your ex-husband Kevin?" You said no, and the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah, I don't know why you get with the son to get closer to the to him. I feel like that would be the biggest turnoff in the world. Like imagine you broke up with your significant other and your significant other dates your child or sibling so that they can stay close. That's like Joe Gold Goldberg, kind of weird. Hey everyone, thanks for the amazing content you make. Also, hi from Belgium. Hey. Thanks, thanks for the two months. This is quite, this is quite good content for sure. You were also asked, are you in love with Tyler? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Okay. That's scary. That means that, that, no. that lie detector. No. Wait, she is 36 years old. Oh, I am dumb. Her test That's is wrong. I'm dumb. I saw a 50 year, it makes sense now. Yeah. Okay. She has a 20 year old. She's 36 years old. Right. But I saw a 50 year old thing. I guess that was for right. an, a different right. thing. Hold okay. On. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll give you no. I got my lie detector test right here. You ready? I got my lie detector test right here. Yeah. I don't need to go out and improve. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to prove okay. to my mom. I don't need to prove to him. Is he going to propose on Maury? I love you. Are you marrying me? I love you. That's my lie detector test. Dude, I'm so gonna propose to my wife on the Maury show. Dude, that's so freaking hot.
How could you say no? That's like proposing at a football stadium or a mall. Those are like the best places to propose to someone. Right? Like, check this one out. Here we go. Why does that look like Aubrey pa uh, Audrey Plaza? Hi. Um, hello. Uh, sorry to stop your shopping and, and your evening. Hello. Uh, I just have a very special message for a very special girl. This is where we met three months ago. Oh my God, there are people looking. <laughs> this is where we first saw each other and this is where I fell in love with you. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to meet the love of my life at an Applebee's. One of these days, guys, and I'm going to, I'm going to propose that said Applebee's. It's going to happen, and it's going to be you guys because I take you guys to Applebee's. Parasocium. <laughs> and, and you're my absolute John, and you had me that day at hello when you said hello to me. I mean, after I said hello, anyway, you're my John, you're <laughs> my sweetie pie, you're my cutie pie, you're my absolute John, and. It just comes out of nowhere. What? What the? Hey man, just got. Hey man, just. Hey, I get paid by the hour. Okay. Wait, it even has a noise. Does it say steam train? Anyway, keep going. Um, uh, you, Janu, you're my sweetie pie, you're my cutie pie, you're my shono, you're my everything, and, and, and I know you find... She's stiff as a wall right there. It's cheesy, but, but I want everyone to know you make me really happy. And I have a little poem for you. Oh my gosh, her eyes? Oh, even at 240p? Her face is like internally screaming. No, stop it. I am uncomfortable. This is not good. See, this is some like uh, JCP. Is that what it's called? The criminal psychology where it's like, you can tell that this woman is clearly uncomfortable, but the man does not pay attention. He's too distraught with his love. So he decides right here and there to propose. The next couple of seconds are truly haunting. When you smile, the whole world stops and stares for a while, and my heart ceases to beat, and there's nothing else that I seek except you. And I just have one question for you. No, 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 I need to, I need to, I need to. You too. Oh, not here, not here, please. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Truly make me the happiest person on earth. <gasps> yeah! Truly make me the happiest person on earth. <laughs> Wait, is this scripted? Wait, is this an ad? Okay, I I thought this was gonna be a every kiss begins with K. Pop. I thought I'd almost just got you baited. Okay. Are you okay? Need a break from all the ads. Anyways. Oh, that was the end of that one. Wow, we just finished two ep two videos at the same time. Oh, wait. Ten years ago. Oh, I thought this guy was actually this tall. And then everyone's like, burn POV, burn POV, Omega lol, burn POV. Shut up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna oh. do one more uh, viewing, so I'm gonna put you in handcuff and we're gonna go in uh, with some other people. Okay. Okay, but you want? See how easy I switch back into this, dude. I'm so this uh, dot in here. Very well. And go to the wall and stand beside those people. Okay. Now oh, you got a dick on your chest. 
And you're about to get a dick in your mouth if you keep speaking. <clears throat> What'd you say to me? What the fuck did you say to me? I believe you heard what I said. Yes, it was a threat. Because my dick is bigger than your throat. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk over here. I, I, I'm just gonna walk. Yep, yep, yep. Calm. I will shoot yep. you. Oh god. They would god not like that. Son of a bitch. And I already know that you are predestined to be a loser and do nothing with your life. You make Reggie, open you and empty this? promises, just like yeah, you did to your this. girlfriend, which is why she broke up with you. What are you talking about, my girlfriend? What? You will never find love, not until you've un awoken. How do you know about my girlfriend? We know everything about you. Reggie, he knows Grace. Oh my God. Jesus. Okay, uh, we're all good to go, guys. So if you can just follow. Me. Yep. All right, Travis. <coughs> oh my god. Same cell you were in before, Travis. <laughs> All right, and come to the bars, and I'll get you out of cuffs. Very well. Beautiful. All right, just give us a little bit, and then uh, we'll come down and chat with you, okay? I will give you all the time you need, but they will not. They grow weary. But do not worry, I will keep them at bay as long as I can. Borpus been come, boys. Borpus been come, boys. Borpus been come, boys. Anyways, where were we? Where were we? Where were you? Why did that guy sound like Bilbo Baggins? 111th birthday! Oh, sorry. Play that back? What did you just say? Purr like a little kitten? No, dude, these are like prom posals. You know what I'm saying? Uh, why you gotta bring the boys into play? This is this is that. I think this is always a problem. Why? In their right mind, surely these these are his friends. If you were his friend, I I I would say this is a terrible idea. I would not want to play music here in a public setting at a food court. Oh, is he singing a song? Sweet Caroline? Oh, God, dude, they're just like looking at their faces. It's so hard. Because they all look so physically discomfort. Like, they look so uncomfortable, but. It's like how 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 are they able to convince? I 
I also find it weird that people pull up their cameras and start recording a random proposal. Yo, Todd, man, I was at the food court yesterday eating a, a Sora bowl, dude, and this guy just started proposing, man. Yo, check this video out. <laughs> I don't even know who they are. <laughs> but maybe it's just in the case or instance that, like, it goes wrong, then they have it, and they're like, oh my gosh, dude, you won't believe what happened. I got this on film. Is that what it is? Like, what is this? This looks like a mom that's that's there to record their son at soccer practice. Like, oh, I'm so happy, so proud of my son. She instantly looked at her phone and deleted that video. Look at that. I guess sweet Caroline wasn't so sweet after all. Oh my god. That is brutal. It's alright, man. It's alright. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's a rough one. McDonald's proposal? flower petals in the McDonald's kitchen. They've got orders going in. Somebody just ordered a McChicken. They're looking at the they're looking at the 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 prompter that has like 15 orders, but they had to stall all these orders back up the line so this proposal could happen. She said yes, I think, or just smothered him and killed him. I, 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 we don't know. The video the feed cut off at that moment. We still do not know if that man is alive, but one can only think. Maybe she killed him. <laughs> Popping the question can be a nerve wracking experience. What the hell is this? Saving for the ring for quite some time and even had a plane fly by to help pop the question. Unfortunately, not even Is this like a watch mojo. A romantic moment could save this groom to be from this epic embarrassment. Oh my god. <laughs> like, what are these freaking sound effects? Turn out of a Looney Tunes. Oh my gosh. Marriage proposal prank on girlfriend. Gone wrong 10 months ago. <laughs> oh. No, I think we're getting to freaking we're getting to we're getting to prank channels now. Then I would just uh do this. Will you marry me? <laughs> Is that from excitement or <laughs> How you guys doing? Can we bring it in a little tighter? Like right here, like right over here. This guy's pranking. The music. Yeah, this is a prank. I'm not watching it. Nah, that's a prank. Yeah, look at this. Oh, is she proposing to him? Go! <laughs> Dude, you should have just walked away. That would have been so giga chad. Just. Poor girl. I'm sorry, what does Creative Captions got to say about this one? Okay, doesn't even want to try. Music and applause. I'm gonna propose to my girlfriend on national TV. Yes! Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Yes! 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 Y
I've loved you for so long. Ladies and gentlemen, real quick, 30 seconds of your time. I met this lovely girl three years ago. Okay, this is a prank. Disturbing the public TV. Pepe W. Whatever you did work for just doing that. Oh no, I think I've seen this one. Uh, doing that, you know, that's that's under pressure, isn't it? Well, whatever you did work because you're still married. How many yeah. years? Forty years. Forty years. So yeah. I think people. Are she looks like. She looks kind of like my fourth grade school teacher. That was like one of the best. I'd be asking you well, how to do it. Well, I tell you, if I'd have did it that way, I wouldn't have got. She'd have probably need me while I'm down there. But uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm just waiting once for the for the gal to say no. Okay. And, yeah. You know, uh, you know that would be. Uh... But she has to say yes there. She may say no as soon as they walk off the court. Oh, I think she's saying I can't do it right now. Said I. I really do like you a lot, but uh, let's just be friends. Wow, look at this. Wow. At the buzzer. Did he ask for a timeout? Well. Yo, sister's working that dress though. How do you like that? Stage Catch for publicity. Me, what kind of publicity are you getting there? Yeah. Captain's gonna stand right there. Um, She's a good sort. She is. Yeah. The footy show? Is this an Australian show? Oh. Talk about punching above your own weight. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been together about um, uh, three three years now. Yeah. And um, yeah, I wanna sort of go the next step. So Which is? Um, asking her to be my wife. I'll hold that for you, mate. <laughs> Catherine, will you make me the happiest man on earth and be my wife? <laughs> just, just say yes. Say yes. <laughs> that hasn't gone that Wait, did they just play a buzzer? <laughs> oh my god, they did! That hasn't gone that well. Oh. Probably fake. Aww. Holy schnauzers. I'm be honest. Wait, did she say two weeks? Oh. It's pretty giga chad for a girl proposal, but two weeks. I hope she was talking about like it's been a wild two weeks of like may maybe it's just been like a wild two weeks but not like their relationship has only been two weeks so I need a photo of you I need a photo of you if you want to walk with me so we can get a photo and then yep. we're going to get you prepared. Yep. Whatever you uh, see fit. Out here. If you want to stand to this wall there. I thought I got profiled like five times already. This one. Oh. Actual height, Omega wall. I'm going to have, I'm going to use the camera. Actual self insert me. reel. Same height as streamer. Uh, shut up. I say it so you don't have to. Oh. I just need you to turn your head. Perfect. Uh -huh. I 
Perfect. And if you want to follow me again. Have any of your characters ever been to Sinter uh, Parsons? No. I'm quickly going to take a little swap of uh, your uh, spiff. It's going to be a DNA test. Very well. Go for it. If you want to open up your mouth. If you want to open your mouth. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, let's frick, get I feel here. bad. Toby asked me if I'd be interested in some RP, but I didn't see the Discord, so I didn't see the message. And that could be the top and 10 rejected roleplay. Yeah, I'm gonna get this locked here. Gonna take off your car. I could have roleplayed with Toby, but instead okay, so I was what reacting. you are looking at now. Um, we're gonna charge you with two times assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, and one disobeying a peace officer. It's uh, gonna be a fine of 3,675. How did I disobey a peace officer? And when did when I you... assault with a deadly weapon? Uh, that's gonna be uh, the attacks that we have evidence of belief that you have stabbed uh, one at the homeless camp and one EMS. So, you did not hear the story. At the homeless uh, camp, it was a bunch of bikers that rolled up. They stabbed a man. I was showing him my art. There is no blood on my knife. Okay. No fresh blood. Uh, he had a knife on him. He drew it out. He said that is what British people do. Okay. Okay. So I'm giving, so you have 30 days to appeal the judges. Uh, and the second thing is uh, due to recommendation from the psych department, we will do put you on a 24 hours hold uh, pending medical eval at the uh, Bulling Brooks. Very well. Uh, do you have any questions about this? No, because okay. I already know the answers. And they do not like those answers. Wait, so we don't I'm even get to go to Parsons? I'm sorry that you do not like it, uh, but it's for your own, own best. But I do. I am gonna ask you, how do you plead to those charges? Not guilty. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build you here, and I'm gonna send you up for uh, the 24 hours hall where a psych. Psychologist will uh, get in touch with you. Very well. Take the money. I will not need it. Hey, uh, just, just gonna put it on my bill. Is it? Is it? Is it? Sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna send you up. And time! Time! How do we do? How do we do, guys? Two hours? Nice. Did they even question you about the stabbing? I have no idea, dude. It went on for a while. Uh... The psychiatrist definitely did. I talked to her about it. I think they told they said assault with a deadly and I and then we talked about it. Wait, 1440 months? Wait, what? Wait, isn't that 24 hours? I am on a 24 hour hold. Yeah, they said they were going to put me on a 24 hour hold, so no! This character's my main! Guys, what am I gonna do? I can't even roleplay! Oh! What am I gonna do? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's always 24 hold. Right? For, uh... Especially for, like, psych stuff. I honestly think that's sick. Does that mean I have to get on, like, the next day? I have to... Do I have to be on around tomorrow? It's time for chills, though, I think. We're gonna do chills. I kind of feel like doing some chills today. But do I even have character slots for it? I might have to get rid of Kermit. 
Where is McConnell? I don't know. I don't know where McConnell is. And I don't know where he would, uh, if he would even want to partake in this. I don't know what he'd do. He could be the crackhead yelling in a corner. Oh no, it seems we found ourselves a ginger that has claimed one too many souls. They say that gingers harvest the souls of their victims. They were born without a soul, and the indication is that the orange hair means that they're burning in hell. Oh, no, I didn't say bat chest. No, no, no. No bat chest, brother. Every freckle is a soul that they have harvested. I'm blind and deaf. Well, you do mod for Penta, so. You think you might do Freddy Fazbear RP anytime soon? I guess it depends on if I'm able to, you know? Kermit Crimes. Rest in peace, Kermit. Hello and welcome. My name is Zach Chills. Born the for 30. Wait, that's a day in the year, right? Freaking stupid, dude. I'm so freaking stupid. Caligrain, thanks for two months. I feel like I should choose Zach. On Halloween in 1995. What did he look like? It's kind of spooky. Darkano, thank you for the four months. Look like a scuff. Uh, top 15. Top 15 role play. Zach chills. <laughs> like a psycho? I don't know about that. Kind of emo. I don't want to use his actual look. We just use a basic, just a random ped model. Hello and welcome. My name is Chills, and today we're going to be going into a haunted house. One that's dangerous and very spooky and definitely haunted. This is Juki. Honestly, that one's not bad. Hey, let's use this one. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I don't know if I like the mustache. <laughs> it keeps getting better, but sometimes they say it gets worse. That's exactly what 26-year-old Elizabeth said in her bedroom late at night. <laughs> what about this? <laughs> Let's use this one. Hello, everyone. My name is Zach Chills, and today... <laughs> Why does he look like that one kid that gets beat up all... He has such a punchable face. He's got no variations to him either. Really? Nothing. Can't even change his clothes. Oh, you're gonna decal. F's in chat for the F that the man took when he was killed by a ghost.
This is so good. <laughs> I'm so ready for this. Okay, so we need to get a camera. I just want to record people. I just be like, here we have a random person that thinks he's really cool. Top 10 cops that nobody wants to interact with. Coming at number one, Wrangler. Wrangler is a cop on Los Santos PD. He always does raids and nobody likes that when they lose their items that are stashed. One man, one man once said that what he was doing was unlawful. Yeah. So it's he not, made sure to phase up. He's a fucker. L nerd plus ratio. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is good. This is gonna be so much fun, dude. <laughs> so much fun with this character. <laughs> but I feel like the more I do it, I think the the, the voice is gonna get better. Like, I got the cadence down. I feel like it's gonna become more believable the more I'm practicing on it. Again, I can't nail every voice, but. This one, this one's actually not bad. It's passable to me, and, and that's that's fine. That's what I'm all for. You might not be a cop you like, but it's what you get. It's very simple. We're going to get a moped and go and get ourselves a camera. But first, make sure to download Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a game that you can get on your phone. <laughs> I can't, I don't know how to do more nasal, more nasal. I, I don't know, I just, might be, that might be too hard for me right now. I'm just gonna stick with what I got. Pinch your nose, yeah, pinching your nose makes it, I think, too hard, this. I don't think the pinching the nose sounds good. It sounds too much, I think. Is it daily dose? People get daily dose, and I feel like daily dose sounds a lot different than chills. Let's get ourselves this moped, though. All right. Here. We have ourselves a moped. This moped can go approximately a top speed of 60 miles an hour. And that is exactly what you get when you rent a moped from a renter. Careful, you might go too fast and crash into a pole. <laughs> the weather is approximately 30 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to give yourself some chills. What actually is coming can is more chill inducing than what I just said. <laughs> what just what did I just do there? <laughs> Hello. Give me one second. Okay. <laughs> That's my camera. Uh, news camera. Get some lights. Screw it. Here we go. Hello, my name is Chills, and today we have the top 10 most cringiest okay, cops oh, coming oh at God, number sir. 10. Okay, okay, We've sir. got Flop Dugong. No, His me? first name is Flop, much like how he flops with every single direction that is given to him by PD. He covers his face in shame as he drives away knowing that he can't process me. There he goes to fight crime, but we all know the only crime he's solving is none because he's so incompetent. More pauses mid-sentence. Okay, you told me that five times, all right? I'll, I'll, I'll do what I want and I will work on that.
One second, Toby's messaging me about stuff. Here we are at the Ooh Cafe. As you can see, there's a bunch of employees working together. But what if I were to tell you that's not exactly the case? 26 year old Benjamin Blathers, an employee at the Uwu Cafe, currently staring at the plushies. Benjamin, at 26 years of age, developed a debilitating furry addiction to plushies. So much so that he ended up having sexual relations with the purple cat. They say there are traces of his own semen inside of this cat. Maybe it will become human. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Shall we go inside, guys? Also, Dizarik, thank you so much for the raid. Hope you enjoyed today. Thanks for joining in on the... Uh, that was Mothership, right? Raid from the Mothership. Aw, champ. Feels good, man. Seems we're going to have to get a closer look at the plushie. Here we are, staring at the purple plushie that was endeavored in some sexual relations with a current employee at Ooh Cafe. As we take a closer inspection, a truly harrowing sight can be beheld. Stains that are very sticky are Your all over are. this cad. <laughs> Excuse me? You okay? Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be covering the top 10 most cringiest Ooh Cafe employees. Uh. Coming at number one, we have this pink haired menace. Oh. This man has been working at the Ooh Cafe for approximately 13 years. In fact, what? before Ulu Cafe's no. conception, he was in a virtual realm where he pretended he was working at the Ulu Cafe. Some say uh. he's so detached from reality, he thinks he's actually a cat boy. No, I don't think I'm a cat boy. The cat ears are just... I, I oh shit, cute. this guy is actually As on you can see actually... from this clip, this man is clearly in denial. The cat uh. ears say otherwise, but what do you think? Leave a comment down below <laughs> They're not there this anymore. man is a freak and a menace well, that back on, to get fired. Going at number 10, we've got this lovely woman here. She's actually not even really cringe, but what is cringe is the fact that she's associated with the number one spotliner. Oh my goodness. Now, we're going to be talking about the top things to order at the Ooh Cafe. Coming at number 10, the perfect parfait. Perfect parfait is more than more than perfect it's, it's, perfect. it's actually imperfect per the way they cook it is absolutely flawed they end up putting the parfait in the oven it's parfait that's not that's not what we more do. like it's par we fucked we, we literally don't put it in the oven coming at number nine oxygen uh -huh. cake uh oxygen cake isn't even real they just say that what? the oxygen we're breathing in is in the shape of a cake but in reality it it's just an real. empty plate that you can't even consume oxygen is real coming hey, in man. number hey 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 hello hey. <laughs> stop it 
Hey everyone, today we're Stop. going to. <laughs> you okay, sir? I can't. Okay. Do you want some food? Just pause the video. Wait, is it a video? Play. <gasps> today we're going <gasps> to be talking Stop. about. Scamper. Scamper. Play in, play in two times speed. Play today in two we're going to be speed. talking about the top 10 most aggravated people Scamper. in Los Santos. Scamp. Thanks everybody for watching and make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below what you'd like to see Delete. next. Play. Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 most freakiest encounters in the Ulu Cafe. What? what? Play at number 10. speed. Play speed. You need to put it back to one time. But oh, I kind of like one. it this way. What if Play I told time, you that if you take a closer look, this cat in this corner is actually dead? As you can see, it's not even breathing. Its lifeless body is placed here as if it was stuffed. That goes to say, what if the people that work here are the ones behind this? One can only think, who would do such a thing? Now, coming at number nine for one of the most strangest encounters in the Ooh Cafe, April. 22nd, 2021, when the Uwu Cafe was in development, these bowls here were actually ceramic. <laughs> I got his freaking face. I'm sorry. I'm breaking from just staring at this man's face. <laughs> these bowls were made out of ceramic. But what if I were to tell you the colors were actually from a white clay that was stained with the blood of their victims? Truly a harrowing experience to be consuming food off of the flesh of one's own body. Now, I think it's time we go somewhere else. Goodbye, have a good day. See ya. My name is Zach Chills, and today we're going to be talking about one of the saddest goodbyes in Los Santos, coming at number 10, when Chills leaves the Ulu Bye. Cafe. As Chills Bye. starts leaving, the attendants at Bye. Ulu Cafe start waving goodbye. Bye. goodbye. They're so nice Bye. and considerate of his feelings, almost to the point Bye. where the man considers staying longer. No, but he decides I... to keep going you're good, you're good. because he's got more yeah, videos yeah. to do. <laughs> guys, this is my Krim character, by the way. This is going to be my main. This is going to be my main for Krims. You guys think this is going to be a good Krim character? Hello. Hey, what's going on? And welcome. Is it open in here? It is. But what if I were to tell you that it just may not be what you think it is? Wait, what do you mean? Hello, my name is Chills, and today we're going to be talking about illusions and the top 10 most visual illusions in Los Santos. Coming at number 10, the Ooh Cafe. As you look upon the Ooh Cafe, you can see that there are people inside working what's truly terrifying is that this establishment has been closed for 20 years the people that you see died in a house fire oh my god they are Taunted? ghosts haunting the ooh cafe any people that lets their guard down because of femboy cat maids 
may just experience a truly harrowing encounter with a deity. You may be opening yourself to demons. Oh my god. Okay. Well, they where do I go? They suggest that you give the man with the microphone, if you see one, $500, and then get in your car and drive away. Five hundred dollars. Coming at number fourteen. Reporter Anonymous. Reporter Anonymous is a random guy that would show up in random locations, usually haunted places. He would talk to random strangers, warning them about potentially harrowing experiences. But what if I were to tell you? The truly most harrowing encounter would be with him himself. The longer you talk to him, the more he feeds off your spiritual energy. Oh my god! Truly a chilling experience. <laughs> no, get away from me. He'll then start stalking his prey from a distance. Please, God! He may let his guard down and slow, but it seems he's broken free of the curse. But don't worry, some curses always linger. They say using sage and burning it throughout your house is a good countermeasure from any sort of demon encounter. But what if I were to tell you that's not exactly what you get? When it comes to chills, he's just going to make sure that you're feeling chills. And what better way than to be stalked in the middle of the night chased by a man in a moped. Unfortunately, he's going way faster than we'd like. Ow. And just like that, he got away. But what if I were to tell you he actually didn't? Hello, today we're going to be talking about the top 15 vehicular manslaughter collisions. Coming at number 15, the Chills video encounter. Chills was driving and a man that looks like a soy boy ran into him because he wasn't paying attention. You what you see next, the road. what you see next is truly horrifying as he takes off his mask and starts screaming profanities at the man with the camera. You're on the wrong side of the road. You're a fucking moron. You are dumb. Now Grow I'm going to pause this clip for a moment. I kick your shit I'm in. going to pause this clip for a moment and zoom into his face. As you can see, the epidermal layer is not even real. This man is known to harvest the skin of his victims. They say this guy has busted so many banks that he doesn't care about money anymore. But maybe, just maybe, he cares about others. I don't give a fuck about you. Walk away before I fucking shoot you. And then, as you can see, He's clearly agitated and he starts being aggressive by mimicking the cadence of the person talking to him. Even though it was completely and entirely his fault, he points at the it ground. It was completely and entirely your fault. You're Indicating that he wants to show, throw the person on the ground and beat him up. Looking at this man's physique, the best thing he could beat up is a fruity pebble. Notice how the cameraman is still standing and the camera did not shake once when he punched him. I don't even have a steady cam for this. This man is the definition of a soy boy. But did you see that behind him? There is a man that may or may what? not be a ghost in the middle of the road stalking him. He slowly approaches. But do you think this soy boy will be able to handle a ghost? This extraordinarily weak man is not afraid of ghosts because he doesn't believe in them. Get out of my way, I'm homeless! Are you a ghost? Here, we pause the clip for a moment and zoom into the face of the individual. 
He looks as if he was possessed by a Native American back in Western civilization in the 13 colonies. This man's name was Tubatu Duwali. He was a part of the Trail of Tears. Marty Banks, his family, has a lineage that dates back to Native American culture. So maybe this is a family reunion. What you, you see next, though, psychopath. Get is truly horrifying bitch. as this man punches a ghost, something that was considered impossible at the time. But maybe, just maybe, the fact that Marty oh. Banks looks like Danny Phantom, oh. he's the one that's actually going ghost. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Is that a ghost? It's it a ghost. It could be a ghost. But what if I were to tell you... This is actually just a crackhead. Oh, you got crack? Let me try some crack. Huh? What's the? What's the? Huh? He's frozen in his speech as if he's trying to produce any sort of vocal language that can breach into the non-spiritual realm. Because he's a ghost, the most things that most ghosts do is move objects that scare people. Instead, he lies on the ground and gets beaten up. It seems Danny <laughs> Phantom <laughs> truly is a menace to the ghost-busting society. Get, get this shit on the airwaves. Watch this. Watch this. Bingo! Bingo! Ghostbuster. I'm the Ghostbuster. <laughs> Watch Truly this. a harrowing encounter. Robin a ghost! First of its kind! <laughs> yeah! Here we have Marty Banks, baby! The top <laughs> 10 <laughs> Ghostbuster criminal stealing robbing encounters. Coming at number yeah. 10. Marty Banks robbing a ghost in the middle of the road outside of Alta Street Apartments. Caught in 4K off of a street camera. <laughs> you see, <laughs> he robbed a hatchet from this Native American. Bingo. He stabs hey, hey, the GG. ghost. <laughs> His primal instincts are kicking in. He's slowly being lost to society. <laughs> this man cannot be trusted with anything. If you see him, make sure to run away. <laughs> or otherwise, he may just send you into the gulag. <laughs> Thanks for your time. That was awesome. Of course. Make sure to leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next. And subscribe. What's your, and what's like your YouTube's? the video. My you YouTube got YouTube's? is Chills. Chills? Speaking of Chills, number nine, strangest encounters on the street. We've got this man wearing a fedora. He just got done moderating r slash rp clips gta he just locked a bunch <laughs> of drama threads he just got his boner bruh and he's walking around fronting it this man has spent the Are past 15 GTA? years moderating oh several God. subreddits Are you sure? Marty knows about the drama within r slash RP Clips GTA. I always get downvoted. He always gets downvoted, so he's going to strike this man. Never mind. I just want to say, I just want to say, fuck RP Clips GTA, fuck him. Yeah! As you can see, Marty is clearly distraught over random strangers on the internet talking bad about him. This man is such a soy boy. He's afraid of random comments on the internet that nobody cares about. I am the ghost of Christmas. Coming in number 10 for the most dankest ghosts in Los Santos. We've got this same man. This man was haunting Marty Banks, but it turns out he's actually just a crackhead. Coming at 42 years of age, this man drives around in a car, screaming really loudly to the point in which it causes mass hysteria to the individual. 
He says that he's a part of the ghost of Christmas past. But what if I were to tell you the noises he's making is because he's the ghost of Christmas coming. Because he's coming. Hopefully not to a theater or a house near you. Ugh. And now we're back at the top 10 most VDM encounters. Coming at number one, we've got another police and chills. Chills was in the middle of the road when a random officer decided to plow into his sternum. His chest was concaved and several serious? ribs were shattered. No. This man no. Do you need is slowly EMS? bleeding out. We've this got man EMS. Is Sir, slowly I'll, I'll dying, but it's okay. You'll he call does EMS? anything oh my for God. top I'll tens. I'll call EMS. But what you see next uh, is truly harrowing as this woman decides to drive off and not contact medical. You're not responding to me. I'm trying to talk to you. She starts getting aggressive and yelling back at the person that got ran over. I'm back. See, Clearly, she is guilty, but she starts yelling at the man. The man starts getting scared. Afraid of the authority that is being authorized hey, over him. Come on. Ooh, oh, wait, death you? is imminent. Yeah. Why are you wearing me? Are you gonna go any further? I thought you were gonna keep going. As you can see, this cop doesn't yeah, know how to respond to an individual surgery. that's been hit by her own car. She is no, awestruck. You, like this this man kid. clearly got hit by a vehicle oh, and has rib cages that has been shattered. Anything. He has announced it several times. So perhaps with that context, you could infer that this man is in deep pain. Because when that is exactly what you get. Hey Bryce, I think this guy should... should well, what's your name, should, sir? Um, it's do it Zach Carolina. Chills. Speaking He's of chills... Strange. We've got the top 10 most cringe couples in Los Santos. Oh, no, he's one of those top fuck? 10 number 10, dude. We have Leo yeah, yeah, and Bryce. Do you need EMS? That's why I'm stopping. Do you yeah. need EMS? You good? Top 10 video I'll take, okay. I'll take EMS, but what's more harrowing is not getting hit by a police vehicle, but having to witness the cringe conspire before us as I zoom in. Wrong. It could have been anyone that And we listen to Leo and Bryce number are we? Number are we? Yeah, what number are we? In the top 10 Chris couple. Coming in number one, Bryce oh, and Cleo. We did it. We fucking did it. Oh, Bryce yeah. and Cleo are known to be the most cringiest dating fucking... couple oh, in the city yeah. of Los Santos. All Just right, listen to this clip bet. here as they try to negotiate an ERP encounter. Let's listen. Hey, how you doing, sir? As you can see, they're very shy and oh, don't want to talk about it. But uh, as the clip goes on... You start to hear them really get serious. Cleo is clearly uncomfortable, but Bryce keeps pushing like he does with his white claws. Thanks for the facial earlier, Bryce. Yeah, like facial she's got a she's got yeah. facial surgery earlier, and so I helped her out with that. Yeah. How do you even know our names, dude? We're the number one cringiest couple in Los Santos, Bryce. Are you guys like the Kim and Kanye of Los Santos? What's going on? No, no, no. Yeah, it's Pete no. Davidson. Oh my god, you no. hit the nail on the head with that one. The no, no, it's Pete Davidson no, and Kim K yeah. now. Hey, let's go. No, 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 uh, Kim K. Kim 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 As you can see, no, these people no. are clearly jealous of this cringy couple and they interrupt uh, their ERP encounter. Uh, the point where they are so uncomfortable they have to drive way? away. Yeah, right. I don't need any more clips like that. Uh, the three finger thing. Claire, uh, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing oh, no. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not farming anything. Okay, all right. Oh, man. They stand there, isolated and frozen, as they continue to contemplate their relationship choices. Did Bryce pick the wrong woman? Did Cleo pick the wrong Whoa. woman? Because Bryce has as, just as much estrogen as Cleo. First of all, according to medical documents, Bryce has had erectile dysfunction for the past 10 years. Not That's only not that, true. he that started lactating out of his right nipple just two months ago. That's right. That's How do you not know true. that? Do you think That's he knows not true. Already? You think he knows spots already? And being a oh, is this writer? shirtless dude on our car? He was talking shit about my physique. Is this now what, 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 Coming at number 10 for the most disturbing... Coming at number 10 for the most disturbing physiques. Number one. 
Marty okay, Banks. Marty Banks, watch the SpongeBob episode where SpongeBob had the inflatable buff arms. Classic. He then got inspired to put that on his entire body. As you can see, his chest and abdominal muscles are completely staged and fake. His biceps and triceps are completely figmented. They don't even really make sense. Uh. Oh, okay. And now he's going to walk away sad, lonely, and a loser. Whoa, Marty, stop. Uh. They say his My name is hatchet. Marty, but on the internet, <laughs> and several comments from the last video suggest that his real name is actually Lardy. Lardy Stanks. Ah! Oh, man. Take it back. <laughs> I hate the news. Fuck YouTube I don't channel. Know what I meant to take. take it back. I'm sorry. Hey, whoa, whoa, put the hatchet down. Put the hatchet down. If you'd put like, if I'm you'd like, cop. maybe, Marty, maybe you could leave a comment down. down below what you'd You're like to say to the haters. Yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> like a statement. It'll be on the channel. You're not gonna edit me out. No, we'll take okay, everything you say and definitely not edit it in a way that it makes you look either stupid. Or make myself crash. Coming at number 10 for the most awkward F8 quits. <laughs> 5M errors. Extra natives 5.dll was a error code given to chills. They say this man was RPing a little too hard and it was too much for the server to handle. <laughs> Are you guys liking this? Is this too much for you guys? Was it the bite of 87? Neona me, thank you for the five gift of Ruskies. Make sure to follow the stream if you're enjoying it, by the way. Thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. Was it the bite of 87? Freddy Fazbear from Fazbear Entertainment is a critically acclaimed video game horror. <laughs> sleepy, sleepy thanks for the tier one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so tomorrow we might be uh, messing with Gunner, with Toby. Florgar with the Prime Gaming. Coming at today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 subscribers on twitch.tv forward slash burn. Coming at number 10, Florgar. Florgar has been using his Prime Gaming for six months. Six months is about two trimesters. Three more, and you could have a baby. Coming in number one, chills. Reappearing in the middle of Los Santos, they say. There was so many people near him, it caused the whole city to get chills to the point in which everybody dissipated from reality. Uh, Fu Minchu, thank you for the three months. Max D with the 200 biddies. Yo, hype train? Guys, if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and gift some subs. It's the least you can do to support your streamer. In fact, if you get a level 5 hype train, there will be a marble situation where two people in chat will be gifted a sub. So go ahead, subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next. This scam train is a known phenomenon at twitch.tv forward slash burn. These scam trains collect money from people that watch him. What if I were to tell you that if it doesn't hit level five, the man ends his stream in mall? You listen to me, sweater vest. Coming in number doing? ten for the most cringiest cop encounters, Kaminsky. 
Kaminsky is an old weathered veteran that decided to spend the rest of his days as a cop. But what if I were to tell you that this man can't even shoot properly? In this clip, Kaminsky gets out of his car to tase an individual in a moped. I will but when you. he does, he ends up just cuffing himself. Here's the clip. What comes next is truly horrible. I'm gonna tase you. Alright. I don't know how I would ever cuff myself, sir. How how would I do that? Notice how would the man I fuck that up starts so contemplating bad? fucking stuff up so much. As I pause this clip, you can see the cuffs are slowly getting loosened on his belt. He goes inside his car and he drives away in shame, knowing that he's completely incompetent and can't ever do his job well. He stares at the camera. Yeah, okay, uh, look. Look, get off the middle of the road. Never first off. As you can see, the cop is clearly agitated, asking the okay. individual to pull his oh moped over. But as he continues speaking, what comes <laughs> next? What the? F is truly harrowing. Charles, 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 Charles a man with put, an axe runs into put him with a bike. Put it down. He's not afraid of a gun. He keeps running around in circles. He gets on his bike, but does he drive away or does he come back? That is something for you to decide. What do you think that man was up to? Why was he running in the middle of the road on a bike? Clearly no sane man would do that. Jesus Christ. Then the cop uses his authority to get on the man's moped. He radios in, which unfortunately the audio couldn't keep up with. I can only assume that they go to chase the man, but do they even make it out alive? I guess only time will tell. Thanks for all the subs, guys. We're at a level 3 hype train. Complete it. Right now. Right now, guys. Right now. Right now! Do it! I dare you. No balls, he won't. No balls, he won't. Oilers? Right now! Standalone fruit with the Prime Gaming. Sleepy with a gift of sub. Should go to the mines. Oh, we should go to the mines. That's a great idea. We'll do that next. Level five hype train. I go to the mines, dude. Content unlock. Everything's gate kept. Big sad head with the prime gaming. Thank you. Oh, there's nobody at the front desk. I wanted to give RP to people in the front desk. Lark Twitch with a tier one. Yeah, let's we'll try to bring some people. I'll put in the yellow pages. Uh, looking. And offering chilling encounters. <laughs> Future sex with 100 biddies. Learning scholar with the two months. What is that copy pasta? Coming at the top 10 most cringiest copy pastas. A copy pasta sent in chat by none other than Pull attacked. He says, you don't understand. Burn literally changed my life. The $2,000 I spent attending his boot camp was an investment in a vision of myself as a better role player. I'll never forget his parting words to me. Your five minutes is up. Please send the next guy in. Nice. Anonymous, thanks for getting us up. 
30 seconds. Don't think I won't. I'm shameless. I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so much. We may have not have gotten a level 5 hype train today, but I still love you guys. Anonymous gifting a sub. No, they're too late. Rip. Well, thank you for the subs. <laughs> At least anonymous gifters right after. You guys are just doing this to make to make me mad. Do you see that dog over there, or is that just today? Me? We're going to be talking about the top ten Morgan Freeman lookalikes coming at number ten. This man, this man here Hi. went inside a pillbox medical. And he started talking to the cameraman. It almost felt like God was speaking to us. In this clip, he starts talking about seeing a dog. But backwards of do, dog do is God. Do you see the dog or is that just me? Can you confirm or deny the dog? As you can see in the clip, the camera slowly pans over and zooms into the dog. But the dog keeps running into a corner. Is it because he is scared of God, or because I'm, the I really real God shoot is the dog? I really dog. want to shoot the dog, but there's cops, and this is an illegal gun. Damn! Oh, put that away. Sheesh. Ow, Jenny! As you could see in this clip, God pulled out a illegal firearm and was contemplating the shooting the dog. He's aggressive. Yeah. Well, don't worry, guys. Wait. I'll be sending this okay. clip over to Peta after the video. Anyways, why are you recording? So get the oh, fuck out of here now. Let's go. Coming get in number the 10 the for the most get incompetent out officer. Get out of here. Oh, wait, who's number one? It's I have a gun to my head, it's so I'm going to have rabid. to comply to the officers. You mean right. you can see, out of here. You are not I slowly rabid. walk away outside us. of the hospital. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna crush then. He says I can't f film, but he didn't say I couldn't record audio in this audio it? clip. It's truly harrowing what you get to hear. They wonder what the cops are doing. Right. If you don't get out of here, I'm going to arrest you for failure to obey a peace officer. As you can hear from the audio That's clip, corruption. the man said that, yeah, that no filming was allowed, but he didn't say no. anything As of right now, no, you're audio. not to be filming. So get out of here. This man is clearly confused in the audio Sir? clip because the audio Sir? is only being captured. There's no film being yeah, captured, so there's no yeah. law that is being broken. Sir, no. Sir you, are, you are trying to record a conversation, which is obviously uh -huh. private. Can you get out of here? And there we Look go. Look at this corruption. After three get out times, of here. he finally gets it. He understands that here. what is being recorded is audio. So the man, as a taser is happening, he decides to walk away. A get private conversation here. in a public area makes sense. Or does it? <laughs> That's for you to decide in the comments down below. What do you think happened in there? What do you think they were talking about? One can only assume that these cops are corrupt and what they're talking about must be very, very serious or disgusting. So we decided to get an internal investigator into the case. The Morgan Crystal. Freeman look alike. This ambulance, please get off the ambulance. Get off the ambulance, sir. Find another one. Excuse Damn. me, sir. You need to Guys, get, off, get the off the ambulance. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Excuse me, ma'am. Could oh, I ask yes. to give you get a ride along to see what you're going to find? I'm looking for chilling no. encounters. No, absolutely Please. Not. I need to find a dead body. No. Get out of my ambulance. Please. Get out of my ambulance. Okay. Can I pull that in here, Jess? It seems what? nobody yes. cares. I'm all on no, my own. Look at that. The cop is flipping the camera off. And here we are back at Pillbox Medical. Cop. You suck. In this clip, we can see this clearly agitated cop. 
It seems that a lot of officers with red hair are very aggravated towards just about any encounter. As we discussed before, Why do you guys the hate top the 10 most angry gingers in the city of Los Santos, Bench Guy. It seems that his anger has spewed on to the other redheads. Is that a local? <laughs> or is it coming at the number 10, the most confusing local or human being, Zach Chills? As you can see, this man looks like as if he may be a local, but in closer inspection, as he continues to speak, the EMS are completely enthralled with his position. Sir, are you auditioning I'm... for a position at LSBN? Yeah. No, I'm a YouTuber that captures the most chilling and truly horrifying experiences. Okay, just checking. I was wondering if maybe, just maybe, if you get a call about someone being injured, I could go and report it. No. I think that'd be in a fighting. violation of HIPAA? Yes. All right, so I'm just going to stalk you guys from a distance. So, do no, you make any snuff so stuff? Because I know someone who might be interested in that. Sure. So are you threatening to stalk a government employee? I don't know. I guess that's something that you'll have to find out in the next video. <laughs> yeah, you government employees. I feel like this character has a lot of potential. Burger shot. Coming at number 10 for the most inconvenient encounters. We've Please. got the burger shot ride. I don't ride. have a ride. The burger shot ride is a very inconvenient request to be making to a man on a moped that works for media. The burger shot is a place where people get food. But what if I were to tell you that this place is actually a bit deeper and darker than you initially conceived. Mm. In this clip, this man, so? this shady individual approaches a cameraman asking for a ride to Burger Shot. But what's truly scary is what he says next in this clip, where he threatens the man's life. If you don't give me a ride to Burger Shot, I will kill you. As you can see in the clip, the man pulls out a weapon, an illegal firearm, and points it at the man. He has no other option than to get on the moped and give him a ride. That's what I thought. <laughs> Wait, is this a one-seater? Oh no, we good, we good. He, he gets on the vehicle and they start driving, heading towards the burger shot. <laughs> Dude, this character's great. Sheesh. Sheesh is what he says as he starts whipping his gun back and forth. The driver, clearly in distress, focuses on the road to take him to his destination. Yeah, you better keep driving, sir. At least this guy that is pointing a gun and is clearly out of his mind at least has the decency to be respectful and call the driver, sir. His manners what? are really appreciated in the heat of the moment because that lets the driver ease some tension. <laughs> What's your name, sir? The man asks for the driver's name. He has no other option other than to reply. My name is Zach Chills. Zach Chills? Well, thanks for the ride, Zach. Have a nice day. Of course. As you can see in the clip, the man is a terrible shot. This guy could have just refused the ride and just drove off and probably would have just lived. <laughs> Fuck you. I will shoot you in the head right now. He makes a criminal threat, but will he even go through with it? Let's you think see I won't? in this clip if he goes you think through I with won't? it or not. You think I won't? <laughs> We zoom into his face and see that this man clearly cannot Take aim because he's blind. Take he starts that. shooting at pigeons in the nearby neighborhood. The cameraman pans around and sees several dead birds. We now can Fuck make you. the assumption that this guy just hates birds. 
No, I'm trying to shoot you the in the head. The birds are his prey. Okay. Closer. As he gets closer, he ends up discharging a bullet straight into his own foot. Ow, fuck. <laughs> and then the cops directly Ow. behind him start to see what's going on. Ow. And they drive My away foot. as if nothing happened. This is a normal day in Los Santos. If you ever have a man Ow. shooting at you, don't expect the cops to come and help. Ow, my foot. Help me, sir. This man shot me in the foot. As you can see in this clip, a mechanic slowly approaches the man that shot himself in the foot. The mechanic is clearly stepping in a bunch of piss from a car that was recently parked there. His shoes are all soiled with urine. But he's a janitor, so he's used to being rolling in piss. True. An officer finally responds to shots foot. fired call at, my foot. at the burger shot. We don't know who this guy is, but closer inspection Ow. makes us imply that he is an officer of the law. <laughs> okay, all right. Looks like you got shot. Seems about... Yeah. Kind of it. All right. All right. All right, sir. I'm gonna provide you some medical attention here. What, what? What seems to be? Where did you get shot? The foot? I got shot in the foot. The man's foot is bleeding. The officer doesn't have much time. He opens a trauma kit and starts applying the bandages to the open wound. Oh, Luckily, you. the bullet had an exit and entry, so it was a straight hole. The officer starts to sweat a bit as he asks the question that everyone has been wondering. How did he shoot his foot? Is it, is he I'm wondering... Me? I don't know who this fucking no. guy is. EMS to... Sorry, PD EMS. Slick, is this guy with you? Um... He gave me a ride. Oh, but Molly, thank you for so, the third one. Coming in number yeah, 10 for brand. the most uncomfortable Burger oh, shot workers. Yeah, did you shoot was... him? Ursula Leigenberg. No. Ursula works at the burger shot, but also used to work me. or does work at LSBN. She's quite a creepy individual. Who is he Just look at her face. It's deadpan as if she stared at Medusa and Medusa turned to stone. What happens next in this clip is truly horrifying as she comes close to the cameraman and says this. I swear to God. I'm just going to let him finish that phrase in his mind. It's way better that way. As you can see, she's playing clear mind games with the cameraman. She swears to a deity's presence, one that can hear your thoughts. So what did she think the cameraman was going to fill in that thought with? This cameraman's so cringe. I swear cringe. to God, I'm going to kill this man. I swear to God, he is so cringe. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if you think that the cameraman was at fault. Is he fault. live streaming? I don't know. I feel like he's live streaming. Anyways, back to this video. This cop is still working on this man Probably. that has a foot injury. Are you bleeding? He asked if the man is bleeding, as you can clearly I see a shot. bunch of blood all yeah, over the shot. concrete yeah, ground. Just, uh, you know, there's no blood on the ground that I can see. There's foot blood. It, he's... His foot's bleeding. Uh, supposedly. No, what do you mean supposedly? I, man, my foot got shot. This officer is known as a common frequenter in the QAnon community. He doesn't believe that blood exists in human bodies. Closer oh inspection God, really? in this clip, you can clearly see that there is blood on the ground, but he is denying it because he thinks that blood does not exist. <laughs> yep. Is that what Q it might be somebody think? else's blood, but I don't know if it's his blood. It's yeah, my blood. So what the hell? Coming at the yeah, top 10 know. most creepiest things. What is things. wrong with the cops? Fuck. Ew, no. what the fuck? fuck? We've got a second. We've officer. got a chupacabra. A chupacabra is one of the most the mythical, that? mythological that creatures that frequent Los Santos. The cameraman starts to follow with heavy breaths. What is this creature? What does it want? Hey, Rachel, hey, nice to the raid. Yeah. Get out of food. 
It can you speak want a bleeder English. Mm, three. Uh, three? Three yes. bleeder? All right. It That'll seems... be six hundred dollars. Please swipe. Uh, yep. Yeah. It seems confused over a transactional conspiracy. Charging six hundred dollars for a meal seems quite large. This creature begins to summon a demon. I believe you can do it. I believe you have the ability to swipe a car. She continues, or more so, it continues to say these weird words. There you words. go. God damn, you're a legend. Yabba-da-boo. Yep, okay, here you go. It's Here's almost three like watching meals. a Sims 3 gameplay, but Hell it's yeah. far more creepier. What happens next is truly horrifying as yeah, some yeah. person takes the food and starts twerking oh, on the ground. Oh, twerking. She yeah. then grabs her meal and shoves it I up her ass. That ass. <laughs> she runs out the door to her friends but one must no! wonder are her friends just as weird as her they looked human maybe they have that mythological creature kept under their lock and key who knows now we approach the man with the foot blood yeah, so you know, wow he's there. i don't think he shot the ground at all still going yeah well he was really following the weird lady creature oh yeah, was i not shouting i wasn't He's using a flashlight because cops use flashlights to see if there's blood. So, like, there's actually no blood, but the guy's RPing that there's blood on the ground. So, I think the cop's kind of confused because I think there needs to be, like, evidence. The burger shot incident. When you hear burger shot, you're probably thinking of lovely establishment with bleeder meals and a bunch of burgers that are full of blood. But what if I were to tell you that the actual thing is that people get shot at the burger shot? That's where it got its name. <laughs> Burger shot foot lettuce. Burger shot foot lettuce is one of the most disgusting things you could have on your burger shot burger. But that might be just what you get. Now we're heading over to Maldini's to see the origins of the molding encounters. We're going to be capturing the top 10 most molding individuals in Los Santos. Number one, Vinny Pastone. Vinny Pastone works at. <laughs> uh... Top 10 biggest mods coming in. Number two, Romeo Ramen. Romeo Ramen, when he starts to mold, it's a clear indication dear, due to the salivation buildup in his mouth. The more incoherent his voice is, and the more saliva buildup means that he's a lot more angrier than usual. Alright, let's go in here. I got you. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Pardon me. Oh. Hey, everyone. Hey Today, we're going Come to on. be talking about the top 10 most endearing encounters. Coming in number 10. Oh. We got the bearded menace outside of Maldini's. In this clip, oh, this man exits Maldini's and is super nice about it. He approaches the cameraman and is super very yeah, kind. Yeah, um, I was just like, you know, I was walking out of the door and I'm like, oh, geez, sorry, I bumped into you. Oofta, sorry, cripes. Oh, as you can tell by his cadence, one can only assume that he's Canadian. No, nope. and I'm, Canadians I'm are usually nice, but in the no, clip he says he's Minnesotan, which is basically America's Canadians. Yep, that's true. But what's truly horrifying Don't. is the man in the back with the plaid jacket. He walks in and out of the building, pacing about as if he's got somewhere to go, but it seems like he just doesn't know where. Just like. How uh, he probably didn't know what exactly he wanted on his head when he went to the barber. Closer inspection hey, can show and that about me like Dave, a book. that this man really, 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 really regrets his haircut choice. Hey, no, your hair looks great. He starts crying in the corner, Jeez. but recollects himself and approaches the cameraman with aggression. Uh, I don't do aggression, though. No, he's not aggressive. Or that's what we thought. Mm. But it seems the man mm. is very apologetic and actually kind of nice. 
he begins in this clip talking about how his mother loves him very much. Yeah, we I call her every night. He does. He tells his, his folks they says hi. Yeah, yeah, I tell his folks he says hi. But what's truly chilling is the fact that this man was later caught with entrails of human body remains in his Ooh. backpack. Really? Well, you can check. Me, it's just garlic. Check. They say this man was sentenced to prison for 50 years. Um, nope, I just see uh, plants. This footage seeds. was recorded back in 1950, so this man is free to roam the world again. Whose entrails will he harvest next and stuff into a nope. backpack? It could be you. Nope. Hey, boy. Jeez. All right. Here we are talking about the most dead restaurants in Los Santos. Coming at number one, Maldini's. Maldini's is an Italian restaurant exclusive to the city of Los Santos. But what's truly horrifying is they have this lovely atmosphere and actually decent food. I've been there before, it's pretty good. But in closer inspection, it looks like they might be harboring ghosts because nobody hey, is sir. here. Are you dining in or uh, dining out? The cameraman pans around and is startled by the individual that's still working at this establishment. He thought the place He's may be working. closed because they've had no work. The cameraman feels bad and he says he'll take a meal. Uh, you take a special or combo? The cameraman looks at the menu and sees the overpriced meals. He freaks out, screams, and runs. Could this it's place be a harboring of ghosts? Nobody knows for sure. The cameraman said that he would never return to this place ever again because it gave him one too many chills. <laughs> uh, Anka, thank you for the three boats. I want to do house robberies. I think house robberies would be so funny. But I have no idea how to do them. I need to unlock them. Yeah, I think, Jugi, you kind of sound like chills. Maybe we'll go to the south side. Or wait. Let's give RP to the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, farmer's market. Let's go to the farmer's market. Tuner shop? Oh, yeah. We'll go to the tuner shop, actually. I can do the Myers TP, but I have to change characters. That could actually be funny. Wait, we could totally do that. Just TP around as chills into random houses. Here we are in a random establishment. We'll do that at night. A YouTuber by the name Urban Explorer 370 makes a bunch of YouTube videos of him squatting in people's houses. However, in this house in particular, <laughs> at night in game, because I think that's when like I want to do the cave. We should do the cave though. Um, is this a tuner shop? Right?
What if you killed people so that you could make content on it and end up getting caught in the act? I don't know. We already had a character today that killed people. Maybe we'll chill a bit. We already have a guy on a 24-hour hold. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did say chill. Pushes people to do crime? Eh, maybe. Yeah, we could definitely force somebody, probably. I'm sure there'd be some people that would play along and would, would go for it. Yeah, people have been doing everything I say. I'm so OP. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the scariest locations in Los Santos. This is a video and in this video we talk about the top 10 most scariest individuals to interact with starting off at number 10 car guys car guys are so obsessed with cars they replace it with any sort of human interaction they prefer the autonomous nature and fast speedy vehicular prowess they do not care about human beings they only care about the need for speed. In this clip, the cameraman gets closer and tries to interact with one of the individuals. I'm sorry, who are you? In this clip, the man asks who the cameraman is. The cameraman is stunned and doesn't say a word. Uh, so one, you're filming on private property without any proper licensing. Two, you won't be able to use my face in anything that you produce because I haven't been given any waiver of release. And three, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the premises. Pausing this clip, this man made a threat talking about using his face on camera, but as you take a closer look, his entire face is covered. Oh, you're still filming on private property. I'm going to give you five more seconds to leave before I call the cops and trespass you. He says five seconds. The cameraman is still in shock. He slowly withdraws from the conversation. But he ends up walking forward on accident. Two. One. Calling the cop. It seems in the city, everyone is very hostile towards being filmed on camera. But what if I were to tell you his life is always captured on security feeds that the government can access with ease, even on private property? Do you property. understand you're on private property? As the clip goes on, another employee approaches the man, saying the same phrase. Is this an oblivion encounter that one will never quite know? I, no, I can, can you please come down to the tuna shop? We have a trespasser on the grounds who refuses to leave and is harassing they the call employees. call the cops, yeah. saying the man is harassing him, but all he's been doing is right. just filming the Do you feel harassed? Visuals. Do you feel like your life is in danger? Do I feel like my life is in danger? Not the you. The cameraman asks. Oh my god, he's reaching toward... They say the cameraman was reaching for something, but he was using both hands to use the camera. The guy grabs the cameraman and carries him outside of the premises. How dare you attack one of our staff members? It is an actual weapon. Yeah, can you guys freaking calm down? Jesus Christ. But then the cameraman hey, realizes he out. left his bike inside, so he runs real quick to retrieve Motherfucker, it. Put the camera away. Uh, Yo! Put your fucking camera away, bitch. 
He gets Put on his away. bike. Another guy threatening to put his camera away. A guy draws a gun. Hello. Put the fucking camera away. He puts the camera away. Get the there fuck out. Go. I already warned you three no, times. I already called the cops. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but you whipped out a gun, so I went, made sure to comply and not just run away. Good. Leave. Okay. And this is the top 10 saddest moments in Los Santos. Coming in number one. Chills getting kicked out. Chills was just trying to record for a video when a bunch of aggressors started being agitated towards his presence. It seems that this place might be an underground operation that they don't want the cops or anyone on the news or media finding out. So that's probably why they contacted the police. <coughs> Guys, who cares? It's private property. This happens in real life, too. We can still have fun. Not everybody has to, like, bend the knee and, and like, completely cut their own roleplay. There's, there's, there's obviously reasons they don't want things to be recorded there. That tuner shop is used for, like, underground racing. <laughs> Why do they want that to get recorded? Come on now. Like, it's not that deep. It's okay if the roleplay doesn't pan out how we would want it to go. That's what roleplay is, man. You roll with it. I thought it was funny. You can't control it. <laughs> but they didn't tell me to delete the footage. So now I'm going to go to the police and show them what I was recording. <laughs> they just told me to put a camera away, but they were too much of a boomer to delete the footage. <laughs> I probably actually could, though. Uh... Wow, that's a big vehicle. Coming in number one, the super truck. The super truck is a vehicle in Los Santos that only so many people have. This group or individuals were driving down an alleyway. The cameraman wanted to see what was up. He decides to follow them, but what happens next in this clip is truly horrifying. They get out of their cars. Hey, they approach the man Yo, you with the gun. Hey, put the camera down, bro. If he's filming. Put the camera down. The cameraman hey, puts the camera down. But you can still hear the audio as they all say together. What happens next you die, bro. in this clip is truly horrifying. As all four of the members pull out their guns and point it at the man's head. He has no other choice but to turn off the feet at this moment. What could have happened to that cameraman? Nobody knows, but one can only hope that he's still alive. Maybe he made friends with these people and decided to join in their antics. Mm. <laughs> nah, mm. not, not this antic. Yeah, who are you, mate? What, what, what are you following us for? With your camera and shit. Oh, my name is Zach, Zach Chills, and I'm looking for the most chilling experiences in Los Santos, and I saw your big truck. Oh, he's pretty bad. It is. Enough to give one chills. Hmm. Yeah, come over here, man. Come over here. Sorry, you, come mate. On. No, you no, no, no. I follow him. The guy is hesitant to follow his friend with the knife. Is it because he's, he's your British? friend, man? It's fine. And the British guy is used to getting into knife fights because guns are illegal. Yep, that's true. The British man ends up complying and following the man in the monkey mask. Zach, get your ass over here, man. 
After being aggressive several times, one can only assume that the next warning is not going to be a warning, but perhaps an actual stab. Don't suck. Go over there. Come on, man. Get the fuck over, over there, there before man. he fucking stabs you, You don't right? want to get chefed up, all right? Wait. Yeah, go over there, man. And at the moment, he realized that the monkey man was actually talking to the guy with the microphone and not the British guy. <laughs> I didn't even realize you're talking. He slowly approaches the monkey and he says, Yo. <laughs> what the fuck is your deal, huh? The monkey man Can asks what his deal is. The man with the microphone pauses and then he says, As I've said before, I'm just looking for chilling experiences. In fact, if you guys want, I could show you guys a truly harrowing experience that could bond you all together. Wait, what? I like bondage. What? Yeah, me too. I like to shake people up. That's what I like to do, man. I like well, bondage. if you guys think you are strong enough, I could show you one of the top 10 most scariest places in Los Santos, guaranteed to make you get chills. Yes! <laughs> Wait, I'm in. Show me the place. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, you guys are going to have to follow me. Alright, we'll follow you. Sorry, we have to do something. Where's the mines? After we finish our shit. Where are the mines at, boys? You wanna go with them? Go with them if you want, man. I need, we need to do shit, man. Right, I don't even know where the mines after, are, after, actually. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Give us your number. number. Yeah, get his number. Get his number, man. Give me your number. What? Your phone, phone number, number mate. Oh, one second. Oh, this guy sounds so fucking high. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's probably on them gummies, you know. He pulls yeah, out his phone and tries to find his number. Hey, fuck this guy, guys. He's a fucking pothead, man. We'll meet again. He finds it, but it's too late. He totally forgot his number was on the yellow pages. <laughs> Seems this guy is all alone. And usually when you're alone is when the ghost encounters can happen. Here we go. Another fast vehicle that looks pretty cool. We're going to see who's driving it. Hello. Hello. My name is Chills, and today we're going to be discussing the top 10 most cringiest vehicles. Coming in number 10, the Landstalker XL. When you take a closer look, it looks like a third grader's Call of Duty skin on a on his gun. Something that like would be it. used possibly on an iPhone background. The man in cat ears steps out of his vehicle, something that you would definitely expect to come out of a car like this. He probably is a professional gamer for FPS games. He cries and drives away. He approaches, being antagonizing, telling the cameraman that he's gonna fuck his mom. Straight out of a Call of Duty lobby, he drives away. One can only assume that this man may end up running into random individuals in the city nobody is safe <laughs> my name is chills and today we're going to be talking about the most chilling traffic stop coming at number 10 the Alta Street Crisis. This traffic stop was performed by two female officers January 18th, 2022. One of the officers was busy playing Flappy Bird on her MDW. The cop was distracted by the cameraman and the car that was currently being searched had several hyenas inside. It was an illegal transport of animals. The officer Burger King the camera. foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King is someone's foot fungus. But, but that's as it exactly turns out, that might be what you get. Exactly. A 4chaner uploaded a photo anonymously <laughs> to the site showcasing his feet in a plastic bin of lettuce with the statement, 
This is the lettuce you eat at Burger King. Admittedly, he had shoes on, but that's even worse. The post went live at 11.38 p.m. on July 16th, and a mere 20 minutes later, the, the Burger, Burger King, King in question, question was alerted, was alerted to the rogue, to the rogue employee. employee. At, At least, least, I hope, I he's, hope rogue. he's rogue. How did it, How happen? Did it happen? Well, well the, BK the BK employee, employee had, removed had to remove the exit, the exit data, data from, from the uploaded photo. photo which suggested the culprit was somewhere in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Ohio. This, this was at 11.47. Three minutes, three minutes later, at 11.50, the Burger King, King branch address was posted, was posted with wishes of wishes happy, of happy unemployment. unemployment. Five, Five minutes, minutes later, the, the news station was contacted, was contacted by another 4 channer. And three, and three minutes, minutes later, later, at 11.58, 11 a, a link was posted. BK, is it tell us tell about us, us online, online forum? forum. The, the foot, foot photo, photherwise, photo known otherwise known as Exhibit A, a was, attached. was attached. Cleveland, Cleveland Scene Magazine, magazine contacted, contacted the BK, the BK in, question in question the next day. The next day. When question, the Ber the breakfast shift manager said, Oh, I know who that is. I know who it is. He's getting fired. He's getting fired. Mystery solved by 4chan. By 4chan. Now we can, now all, we go can back all go back to eating our, eating our fast, fast food, food in peace. peace. That is exactly what this woman said in the middle of a traffic stop. What do you guys think she meant by that? Was there burger shot burger foot lettuce inside of the car? Or maybe, just maybe, that's what she eats every day. The cameraman put away his camera and got a microphone to get a more exclusive audio clip. He gets closer to the officer and asks a daring question. Officer, when is the last time you've licked someone's foot? Never. That's what the officer said. But in this clip, you can clearly see the officer licking her own feet. Truly a horrifying experience. If you do not like seeing feet, I'd, I'd assume that you should avert your eyes. Luckily, this clip was censored. Goodbye. Goodbye. Or is it goodbye? Who knows? <laughs> Hello, and today we're going to be talking about one of the most daring ventures. A young man pulled out his camera and pointed it at three individuals in a car. They Yo, what are you up The man with a very loud and commanding voice asked if he wanted to do oxy. The cameraman <laughs> decided to agree. He gets in the car. Cameraman, better get the fuck out of the car before the cameraman no longer lives. They threaten the cameraman's life after offering him oxy. They all pull out guns and point it at his head. He has no other choice other than to get out of the car in this moment. Fear for his life, he runs away. Burger King foot <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Everyone's just gonna say Burger King foot lettuce to me. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 loiterers in the Alta Street Apartments. Coming at number 10, we got this man here. This man hey, spent the past 15 minutes in the parking lot trying to figure out how to park his four-wheeler. Only to go back and pull it back out to drive away. This man was embarrassed to be driving a four-wheeler around right next to a super cockhead car. But what's truly horrifying is the license plate on the car as you can see the license plate says ghost does that mean this car is being operated by a ghost the cameraman gets closer and is truly scared when he sees that there is no driver but the car is clearly running 
Does that mean that this car is actually operated by a ghost? What do you think? Leave a comment down below in the video what you guys think might be happening with this car. Truly scary. <laughs> yeah. It's a ghost car. It is. No, do you? Um, <clears throat> I've got a headache, but in this clip, <clears throat> a man approaches him in a mask, and he says, "Nothing." He approaches the car. Is this even human? Yeah. Do you know who I am? The cameraman is shocked. He has no idea who this thing is or what this thing I'm a is. hero. I'm a hero. It says it's a hero, but it hasn't done a anything hero. that would prove itself to be a hero. I can you can check Twitter in a bit. I will show it. I, I'm a hero. Why not Watch show Twitter. it on Twitter, but instead let me record your heroic adventure. Um I can't because it already happened. I saved someone, someone's life from. Is it an on Twitter? I don't see it. Uh, you must wait for a couple farting of on my roommate's door because no. of uh, air pollution and other things. It must be hard role playing this character. Yeah, it's see, hard being me. me. Look at Twitter now. I'm waiting. <clears throat> Look at Twitter now. Did you see it on Twitter? Yeah. With this red circle, you can clearly see the man wearing this mask earlier from the parking lot rescued an individual from a crashed plane. But what if that crashed plane was a plane that crashed back in 1967? The woman exactly. known as Carol. Carol, Carol was pronounced dead back in 1967. So Spirit how is she theories. still alive? It's all a conspiracy. Everything is fake. She's alive. The hero on the scene attests that the woman is still alive, but maybe this man is just crazy and the woman he saved was merely an apparition. No, she's alive. Anyway, I got to bounce. I got people to save. He's gotta go save people. So he runs away. Probably the slowest form of travel in the city. He could have gotten in a car or his four-wheeler, but instead decides to just run away. He's so cool and mysterious. What do you guys think he was going to do next? No, you don't. He looped around See? the entire apartment and showed up right where we least expected. I showed you the super speed over a hero. I'm like the Flash, but faster. An absolute giga chad. <laughs> We never went to the farmer's market. We should... Max. Whole new kind of bubble. Now, we're going to talk about the top 10 cops that suck at driving. Coming at number 10, we got this officer of the law. This officer is driving on opposite lanes of traffic. But with his, tr with his lights on, it indicates that he's above the law. As we continued this chase, you can see the man going at an accelerated pace above the average speed limit of 35 in the city. The cameraman has to go upwards of 80 miles an hour on a moped to catch up. As he does, these two officers seem to be in some sort of pursuit, but what are they pursuing? As the clip continues, they see that there is no car that they are chasing. I wonder what they are chasing. Is it a ghost? Get the yeah, fuck out of here. They're chasing a ghost, the woman yep. says. Get out of here. Totally. They point a laser at the man, so he here. backs away. Only to continue the chase just a little bit further Don't behind them. Uh, we'll arrest you. They threaten to arrest the individual, but he's willing to figure out what they're chasing. Could it be a ghost? Are they afraid of the truth coming out? The cameraman, bold and daring, decides to 
follow this officer. Perhaps the cops are possessed and are trying to deter this individual from uncovering the truth. He continues to follow this cop car slowly and steadily. It's a green light. The cop goes forward and so does the moped. Another cop car pulls around. It's truly scary to think that they may have been chasing a ghost. <laughs> I'm so... This character has to be so annoying. <laughs> Getting chills watching these officers stay during a green light. So you have nothing better to do with your life? The cop asks if he has anything better to do with his life, but that question should be given to the cop. I'm just merely driving around in the city. Or that's at least what I want them to think. But in reality, I'm trying to uncover a ghost adventure that's truly going to give someone chills. The officer decides to speed off, going at approximately 100 miles an hour with his lights on. It's going to be hard to catch up. We're probably going to lose him. The officer spins out because he sucks at driving. The officer approaches the street. Alright. What's your problem? The moped runs out You're, of gas. You are very... So you the are most very obviously... Time. Yeah, yeah. So you are very obviously following us. What this do you want? biker was not following anyone, but just going around the city looking for things to do. Unfortunately, his All car right. ended up stopping. It stalled right when the cop car's car stalled okay, as sir, well. Can you just... Can you show me your ID, sir? The cop asks for the ID. The man willingly complies and shows his card. Zach chills. Zach chills. Brilliant. Thanks, sir. That's all I needed. All right, you can uh, you can go now. You can uh, go down there right now. All right. I go down there, but he didn't say how far to go down. So I merely take a left and then immediately turn around. The man drives off. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, we're probably still too slow to follow him. What's truly chilling is the fact that the cop told him to stop following him, but he still follows him. Is the cop the one that's spooky or the guy in the moped? <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Chills, and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 most down bad people in Los Santos. Coming in number 10, bike guy. This guy has been riding a bicycle for the past three weeks after he lost all of his money in the casino. This man continues to ride his bike while hunched yeah. over. He's got back problems from using a children's bike that he got for $12 at a local Target. He keeps going forward, pushing, but pushing to where? He has no directive. He makes no money. I'm going, I have a job. Get a job, fucking bum. <laughs> He says the cameraman is a bum, but cameras are probably more expensive than whatever he does. I have... Do you understand how much capital I have? I could buy your entire fucking life. This guy flaunts like he has money, but clearly doesn't have any. The guy Take continues your piece of on shit his bike. Badge you're walking, on. walking on a bike doesn't make any sense. This guy is clearly uneducated, so clearly he probably can't afford I said any money. On. How can you rock on a bike? He's clearly not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I am, oh my God, this guy. On the top 10 biggest- What are you biggest, doing, dude? On the top what 10- What are you doing? On the top 10 biggest dumbasses. <laughs> Coming at number one, you got this man on the phone outside the courthouse. Is that right? Is that right? You gonna illegally park here, huh? It seems that you were illegally parked as well. Uh, technically no, because, uh, bicycles don't count as, uh, motor vehicles, where a fat does. 
well, that's what you think. Also, that's not my bike, so I don't care. This man is so down bad, he ends up stealing a random passenger's bike. He can't even afford a bicycle. He's that broke. <laughs> the man pulls out his camera and gets a close-up face of what a truly down bad individual looks like. Hey, Garen, what can I do for you? With closer inspection, you can see that this man uh, is in extreme you. financial debt. He ended up changing his major about 15 times in college. We talked to the dean, and he said that this guy was too busy partying to focus on education. He said watching the backyard agains had more fi financial sounding advice than any of his intro to marketing classes. The man walks away to call his mom to ask for a loan for the 13th time. Since he doesn't have a job, he's having to resort to his mother, who works at a financial chain at Cerberus. Clearly, the conversation isn't going well as it's continued on for about two minutes now. He's slowly approaching the courthouse, but he seems clearly agitated that he's not getting his money from his mother. This guy is about to do something truly horrifying as he hangs up the phone in the next 30 seconds. His mother, clearly disappointed, continues to tell him that he's a disappointment to the entire family and when will he amount to anything? The guy tries to prove himself to his mother, saying that he's at the courthouse where all the financially sound people would be, where all the lawyers would go. He's even dressed like one too, rocking a fake Rolex that he picked up at a nearby Salvation right. Army, he approaches after hanging his phone up on his mother. And what happens next is truly, truly guaranteed to give you chills. He hops on the man's Faggio. But what are his intentions? Now he's the one that's illegally parked the vehicle. You mean my Faggio? The man claims that that is his Faggio, so the cameraman contacts the police for a stolen vehicle. He has to report the vehicle stolen before it's stolen. There we go. It's no longer mine. It's no it's longer yours. his. Because he's too broke to afford one. And notice on the courthouse, it says no bicycles, yet the guy said that he doesn't well, have to no. worry about parking illegally, <laughs> yet the that courthouse going literally inside. says no bicycles. You can see the sign on the outside, not the inside. So clearly the sign is for the outside. No smoking, littering, or using a bicycle. So this wait, man wait, wait. When, you see, when you see deviant. a sign that says no entry, does that mean no entry from the inside? Or does that mean no entry coming from the outside into the inside? This guy you just clearly not anywhere, entered easy. anything in his life because he just asked one of the dumbest questions. Maybe if he paid attention as in his intro to business, he would have known the real answer. Is. But maybe he can call his mother and find out more. What do you guys think? Right, uh, is this Aziz, guy truly um, a lost cause? Or do you think he can uh, redeem himself? <laughs> guys, you're supposed to leave a comment down below. I'm surprised he didn't just KO us, to be honest. This voice is really annoying, lol. What if I were to tell you that's actually the point? <laughs> Dorito! Thank you for the Prime Gaming. I want to take somebody to the mines. Who could I call? Maybe we'll, we'll go to Dean's World. Or, uh... Claire Seducer. <laughs> no, not really. Hello? Hello, and today we're going to be talking about the most cringiest conversations. Number one, Claire Seducer. 
Every single conversation she has, she starts with an opener, a casual, saying hello. There's no real conversation to continue with that. It's like saying I'm good after someone says what's up, truly trying to carry a conversation. But what if I told you that's yeah, actually talking? not the case? Claire's seducer is actually a known deviant in a sexual category. She goes to fur fests and tries to seduce every single alpha. We have a clip here that's truly horrifying. As you can see her putting on a fur suit and walking into a fur strip club. However, she thinks she can prove herself by experiencing some of the most biggest chills in Los Santos. So she calls Zach Chills and says this. Oh, bro, fuck you. <laughs> That's exactly what anyone would want to do with a successful man like me. <laughs> bro. Hey, this is Chills. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 disrespectful hangups in Los Santos. Coming in number 10, Claire Seducer. Claire is clearly agitated in a phone conversation. Yeah, because I she fucked up my... I was talking to Polito while we were talking on the yourself. phone. Clearly, she has a very hard time making friends, but the guy is clearly forgiving. He calls her again and asks if she would like to apologize. Would you like to apologize? The man asks. The no. girl pauses and then says no. The guy clearly just Guess what my PayPal is right now. Number asks one. her what her PayPal is. It's number one. Just saying. Just well, you know, it's number one. And yeah, also, I'm number one. a side note into this video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 most egotistical people in Los Santos. Coming at number one, Claire Seducer. She is clearly an egoist that has nothing to amount, no successes. She fails every hack she does. She can't even rob a bank by herself. She relies on others to do just about anything. That's cold. Her I do PayPal Flika's. is That's number cold. one. But I think we can assume that it's number one because she's the number one loser. That's cold, man. That's cold. You're fucked now, up if you want to feel something cold, something to give you chills, if you're free, I could take you down a harrowing experience. Sure, man. Where are you? In Polito. Where are you? And again, number one, ah! one of the most cringiest interactions, Claire Seducer. Did she just die? <laughs> well, rip. And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I don't know the freaking lyrics. Ow. Here we are talking about the top 10 most terrible drivers. Coming at number one, Burn. Burn was role playing a character with a camera. He was driving on a moped and crashed into a parked vehicle. This guy really sucks at driving, but maybe, as he said before in several clips, that it's just because it's roleplay and he's actually a good driver. I guess we'll just have to see about that. <laughs> It's not copium, he says. But what if I were to tell you it is? Hey, this is Chills. Oh, and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 most satisfying oh, meals to God. order at Burger Shot. This man. Mm. I but could first, recommend the number we're going 15. to be talking about the most rude interaction in the Burger Shot. Coming at number 10, we got this man. This man wearing a white jacket, decided hey, to impede himself we'll while a man was better. trying to figure out what he was going to order. Then, a blonde Billie Eilish decides to self-insert herself who, in this who, conversation who well, wearing the yeah, same exact that, that, that outfit that as this guy. Yeah. 
I the cameraman that. doesn't really care, but he decides to say neither. Being impartial is important here because he doesn't want to escalate any sort of division between these two individuals. Especially yeah. if this is undercover hell? Billie what's, Eilish. What's going on? Look, the cameraman. I wore it better. Itself, I'm, I'm here the to say, sucks, I wore it better. It's a horrible jacket. I mean, you can't. Uh, the man right. comes out of nowhere and points out that the jacket sucks. Meanwhile, this guy's wearing hey, flannel that's dated I back from the, the 50s. I made the jacket look good. Fuck you. You made me lose my revolver. This oh, man wait, lost his revolver because he shot himself in that's the foot. French. This guy is completely incompetent. So incompetent, he'll end up buying a meal to the cameraman. I'm so incompetent, I can't afford a meal right yeah, now. Yeah, he can't afford a meal. As you can hear in this clip, this man is too down bad to even afford a meal. Will this God. guy even survive another day in Los you... Santos? We're Why going does to everyone be making say that? a lovely GoFundMe go in the link below in the read. description. What's Make sure to on? click on it I... so you can support I'm Morgan so Freeman. Yeah, this really is shit on Slick Day. I'm meal, not incompetent. Right? I take double all the time. Show you I will take a what? murder meal. Um, yeah, well, murder meal, honey. It's honey. And you can get one for me too, being as you film me. No. Hmm. You're already being yes. charged in a murder meal. No. Yo, go ahead and swipe yes. your 15 digit card on the re Shelly, can you think of a Very w? well. I'm going to Thank pay you. for my meal. And my meal, too. No. That's too bad in those, buddy. Christ, what the fuck happened to your face, dude? Yeah, I'm just like going to stand blood. here and, like, you know, wait for well, someone to see, swipe. And if they don't swipe, then I'm, I'm not crying gonna do blood anything, you know? because I oh, was shit. meant with a demonic presence. Would you guys like to encounter it with me again? Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's at the top 10 most demonic. scariest locations in Los Santos. Oh, hell yeah. Now, I'm going the to need my food ooh. first before we go on this adventure. There you go on Sounds the tray. Perfect. You never was, charged. I feel like his... I should dress for I did. I charged him. Oh, you you sound like yeah. someone familiar. I, I don't know what I you're talking you about. Before. Maybe I you just watch my I... videos. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. I think I might have lettuce. met you before. The Burger, yeah. the Burger King lettuce. Maybe. But what if I were Maybe. to tell you that the I person you Burger met has lettuce. been dead for the past 20 years? Really? Yeah, just like your sex life. <laughs> Damn. No, I think you like your sex life. Damn. 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 Yo, 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 don't, don't walk off like that, bro. Don't walk off like that. You ain't gonna do me like that, All right, bro. I'm ready for spooky and Well, yeah, I can like walk oh off, God, but that's not the same thing I can say about your mother after I was done fucking her. <laughs> Well, guess what? Your sister didn't walk off. She stayed in my bed. Well, of course she not. Was in my house She's wheelchair week. bound, you sick fuck. Well, I mean, oh, damn. someone's okay, damn. that fish. That's fucked up. That is. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, at least um, she got some. Exactly. She, yeah. she got a whole load. A whole load. Well, he says a whole load. No, how much no is a whole intended. load to a man with a two inch pecker? Um, you gotta ask yourself that size. question. I've got it's a third leg. Of the ocean. Ocean. Mine's tucked in right now into my socks. Oh, right. I only have 97 cash on me. I was All right. Are you guys ready to go on a go chilling go adventure? Uh, I'm waiting on Shelly. Okay, yep, cool. Yep. Okay, I'm we're ready to go on a chilling adventure. All right, we're, we're going, going, going to see if any other combo. people want to come combo. before we All go. I just Sounds good. Let's get everyone going. Is this an open invitation? Sounds like. Oh, yeah. Thank you. If you steal my food, I'll murder you, sir. Damn. Uh, one most... I have to go into the creepy vibe, like... Uh, horrifying location right in you, Los baby. Santos. Sure to give you chills. And motherfucker, you want a murder meal here? All me in yellow uh, pages. <sighs> I don't think... I don't think anyone's gonna care. But who, well, we'll see, I, I guess. Swipe. Okay... I made an announcement on the Twitter. This I'm gonna go Register to the apartments here, and find out if anybody like, else would like to come. You're not getting it. Come. All right, where are we meeting up? Yo, can I get apartments? apartments, yeah. Oh, you, you, All okay. right. All right. Well, we'll see you there. I want revenge. All right. What is this music? I feel like I'm astrally project projecting right now. <laughs> Oh, 
They say we need a bus. But I say who asked? I'm going to be a cop so I can ask people to put their hands up in the top 10 most wanted criminals that get arrested. Yeah, what the hell is this music? Here we go. Is there anyone around? Hello. Hey. Would you like to find and encounter one of the most chilling and horrifying locations in Los Santos? You want to get me, buddy? Yes. I okay. will. Yeah, I'm homeless. I need money. How about this? Do you have a knife on you? Yeah, I got my poop knife. Perfect. Can you pull it out real quick? Yeah, poop knife. All right, put it away. I'm going to need you to come with me real quick. I need you, give me buddy. I will after you do this for me. Okay. Hello. Hi there. What are these horrifying locations you're talking about? Well, you see, we're going to be meeting at the apartments first, but I have to drop this guy off real quick. Okay, so meet at the apartments, yeah? That's right. Okay, Probably I will others. see you there. Just if you see anybody also wanting to find a horrifying location... Just tell them that I had to go on a little quick journey and they can call me in the yellow pages. Okay, I'll do that. I'll see you there, though. Alright, sounds good. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Alright, where the hell is this cave? Or Are the you mine? Gonna have sex with me? No. I'm going to pay you. you. I'm going to pay you money. Okay. Oh god, there's a lot of cops. We should have sex with them. No. <laughs> have sex with Hey yo. Where's this mine? I need to find this mine. Do what your name? Before I tell your name, my name, I have to talk about the top 10 most smelliest people in Los Santos. Coming at number okay. one, homeless man on bike. This Ooh, homeless gee. man, documented on the back of this moped, smells like moldy rotten cheese. It's so disgusting. The driver oh almost pulled over and threw up on the side of the road. But he swallowed it. Excuse me. Much like that man tried to swallow his own tooth, but he couldn't keep it in. I wouldn't swallowed cum before. Excuse me. Yeah, I wouldn't swallowed cum before. What? <laughs> okay. We were sex. But who asked? I don't know. I thought we were sharing stories. You said you were smelly. Is it around this area? I think it's around this area. Excuse me, do you happen to know where the mines are? No, I I have a mine yet. No, not mined. I'm talking about the mines. No, I'm not a miner. No, I'm not talking about the miners. Although there are miners that may have worked at this mine. Shouldn't you know where it is? I mean, you said it was scary pain. Hello? Hello. Is this Mr. Chills? Yes. This is the Burger Shot employees. Where did you um happen to run off to? Okay, I had to drop off this individual real quick. 
my uh -huh. father needed a pickup, so I'm picking him up and taking him to his house. He gets lost quite often. Uh, do you want us to meet you somewhere then? Sure. Do you have a preference? Uh, in person. Uh, would yeah, be in nice. person. <laughs> yeah, that's my preference. Uh, would you like to meet at Rooster's Rest? No. Okay. Would you like... Or maybe... Maybe? Yeah. What Is do that you think? a yes think? to a maybe? Yeah, you do. I'm being more assertive. I'm being yelled at. We are meeting at the Rooster's Rest parking lot. Okay. Okay. I'll. We'll see you there. All right. I'll see you soon. All right, he said he'll see us soon. He said he was dropping. You do good, buddy. I do, but I'll give it to you once you do what you're supposed to do for me. All right, you are me to have sex with you. No, I don't. What the hell? Mine is east. Isn't east this way? Is that it? West. All right, I'm going this way. I could probably just look it up, yeah. So where are we going? We're going to the mines. Wait, is it there? Oh my gosh. Oh no, it appears our vehicle has been incapacitated. Oh no. I'm not about eating people, I'll do it. Okay, that's exactly what I need you to do. Am I dumb? I think I'm actually. Do you want me to eat somebody? I was there. Oh my. All right. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Maybe I should grab you. You're not a very good driver. <laughs> Freaking done with this dude. Okay, where we going? It's over here, isn't it? No, it's over here. It's like right here. It's broken. Why do you break it? Wait, where are you going? Just follow me. Oh. Hey, did you follow the others at the rooster's rest? You said you were coming to the apartments. Yeah, 
But then the others called me and said they go to the help. rooster's rest. Help. Okay, so meet at the rooster's rest. Yeah, meet at the rooster's with the burger shot employees. And then once you're there, okay. I will tell you guys where to go next. Because my car broke down. What, do you need a ride? I think it'll be fine. Okay, I will meet you at rooster's end. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Do you have any food? I don't. Hey. Hey, this is Ursula from Burger Shot. What the fuck? Where are you? Yeah, there's a guy coming from the apartments that's going on the adventure with you guys. My car. I may or may not have just crashed it. Okay, you crashed your car. But don't worry. I'm at the location. If you guys want the ping, let me know. Okay. Yeah, what's the ping? Um... It may be what you least expect. What? My number. It's in the 500s. Okay. That's a lot of 500s. Which one? Below 550, but above 440. Okay, that's not helpful. Just tell me your number. Okay. In the top 500 state ID. Actually, no. Okay, I'll tell you my number. It's 480. Ping me. Okay. Hey, food? All right, 480. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. we'll be food, there. Please. All right. You might have to wait for that one guy. Okay, is he meeting us at Roosters? Yes. I'll call okay, him. Okay, what's quick. his name? Do you know? Okay, I don't cool. Know. All right. What is this? Get a probe? Hey, Hello. Yeah. Are you at the roosters? Almost. Uh, I'm right in the corner from it. Perfect. Okay, I will see you shortly. Thanks. I think you'll be following the burger shot employees. I'm a burger shot employee. Perfect. Okay, sir. What I'm going to need you to do is go hide in the mine shaft. Okay. I'm going to be recording a very spooky video, guaranteed to give them chills. Okay. I'll show you exactly where you need to go. Get out of my $50 now. I've got 40 will that do? Yeah, that'll do. What's your ID? 690. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Good number. Wait, did they extend these mines? Okay, you're going to continue down here. Wait, no, I don't think this is the right one. Or is it? I don't know, I thought you knew this place. It's been a while. No, we don't want to go this way. It's a dead end. Well, actually, yeah, we will. You're going to be at the end here. And once they see you, you'll charge at them and start stabbing. But hi. Okay. Just pass okay. out. And once you Can hear I... my voice, I'll be like, there is a man that lives in these mines. They say. Can I have their shoes? Yeah, if you kill them. Okay. Just stay here. Bye. Maybe sit inside of this wall here. <laughs> or uh, over here. There's actually a hole you can dig into. Yeah, that's good. Paranormal Power Gaming. <laughs> Coming at number 10. Homeless man sitting through a wall. <laughs> this man was hired by me to make a scary encounter in the mines. Alright guys, if you're going to be... Everyone get your popcorn, get ready. This should be funny. Oh, 
Oh no. I finally have cell reception. Hi. Hey, I'm at risk. There's no DC here. Oh, I see they left you. What's your PayPal so I can ping you? 700. Okay. I mean, we waited. No one showed we up. We did. Yeah, we no waited forever. Apparently, you said burger shot employee. Okay. I uh, will go we to the bank. for 50 million years. All right, you better hurry hey, up. Ow, Otherwise, you might just. Oh, are you at the? Uh, are you at the mains? Oh my God. Yes. yes. Move out of the way. Okay. See you there. What the hell? Okay, this guy is coming, but first, right. it's very important that all of you get ready. I'm ready. If you're scared. Maybe get a buddy system in place. Because I, I guarantee you that this is number one in the most harrowing encounters in Los Santos. Oh, shit. First Surely to give you chills. I got burger okay. chills. What if a ghost kidnaps us? Don't care. Didn't ask. I've got a secret weapon. Is it your mustache? Yes. Didn't ask. I didn't ask you to make me lose my revolver if it still happened. This guy is still crying about his revolver that he used to shoot his own foot. Maybe it was, was best that they took you. it from you. Fuck you. Get a zoom in as we talk about the top 10 most pathetic losers coming at number one. This guy. Why does everyone say Imagine that? Every single a second of the day. To shoot a man, yeah, but he ends up missing every single bullet. And on the last bullet, he ends up discharging it into his foot. It was an accident. It was so oh, unbelievable. Loser. When the cops arrived, the Talk cops you, couldn't Shelley. even believe their eyes and thought that there was no blood on the ground from him shooting his own foot because it sounded like such an unbelievable story. That poor cop didn't realize that this man is actually just an idiot. God damn it. Every single day it's, oh, this man's incompetent. Oh, how are you still alive? I never say oh. that. Hell. Yeah, you, well... Thank you, Ursula. Yeah. Shelly always bullies me. Well, it's Shelly. Easton always bullies Talking me. Talking about the top I 10 did. bullies in Los Santos. I bought you a meal. Number and then 10, you Shelly. You forgot who I was. Shelly the... works at the yeah. burger Shelly, shop. You're a, you're a bully, yeah. apparently. Well, I mean, it's slick. Look at him. First of all, he's the ugliest man to ever exist. I mean, if you could zoom in on his face, you could see how crusty and disgusting he is. That's true. What the fuck? I see all the pores. <laughs> I've never seen someone that... You can't even record. All right, one there's the last that... guy. Last guy. Oh, are you fucking kidding me, Normandy? Dude, looks like he's from the X Files. Yeah, it's my ex. Actually, oh. ironically. All right, let's be careful. Be the buddy Why did that not work? Yeah, I'm with Shelly. <laughs> I'm Take going. On, this is me. gonna be yeah, truly a scary me. experience. Yeah. Are you ready? Nice we're ready. It's All right. Scared. Let's get moving. Look at my face. I'm so scared. Yeah, These mines scared. were built back in the 1700s. They were searching for some gold, but what they found was truly scary and sure to give you chills. As they got further down into this mountain, they found the remains of a family that used to live in an early settlement back in the 1400s. This family was a cult, and the father would eat every single person that would come and visit them. Wow. This man has a hunger for flesh, and he hasn't seen the day of light in the past several hundred years. They say wow. this man roams these mines seeking for a human to devour. Sweet, I haven't been eaten today yet. What, the last name? known sighting of this individual was at January 18, 2022. Oh a my group God, that's of further today. shot employees were heading down the mines. Oh my God. The cameraman was pushing on forward, but he ushered everybody else to go ahead of him. Of course. He was okay. scared, but he wanted to make sure he would document it all. Oh God. 
can't wait to die. This should be fun. Everyone continued forward, not knowing that where they were going was a dead end. Oh, but God. where it would be at the dead end. Oh, I wonder if it'll be a dead end. At Watch this clip end. and find out. As these burger shot employees continue down these treacherous tracks. Their hearts They're start racing. Up. The cameraman starts I'm shaking as they continue employee. down this road yeah, of peril. Like shelling me into the burger shot employee. Like I'm a general manager. This they get the to the end, end. but is this like really the much. end? Yeah. No, it's just a mere turning point for the mine. They continue pressing forward, one with the flashlight to really hey, take away from the Thomas. scary Appreciate experience. It. If they didn't oh, have this flashlight, Moses. they probably wouldn't be able to see anything. They get to the oh end of the god. mine. Oh my god. Oh they my found god. him. Is that a homeless man? Thomas, save us! It seems oh god, that Jack Fletcher, the guy from the 1800s, starts chasing everyone down. This ghost, maybe he's not much of a ghost, but a crackhead that looks just like him. He got shot by a man. A guy not afraid of any ghosts. This guy truly is the most terrifying person to run into. This guy with eyeliner shot a ghost. Eyeliner? Oh my god! His name. Wait, where's Richard? He proudly displays. Oh god. Richard! It killed him! It killed the ghost! Yeah, fuck you, ghost. You suck. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Slick. sorry, I wanted to punch him. Slick, why are you so yeah. stupid, Slick? I'm not yeah. stupid. That's this poor ghost is down bad as he was only able to stab one yeah. person. Take that, you bitch. Yeah. But did everyone live? Yeah, I, give me my yeah. um, money. We don't know where Richard is. They don't know where yeah. Richard is. He probably I mean, Richard yeah. is the real ghost. Yeah. Slick, goddammit, stop punching yeah. the homeless man. What? Slick, he, he, he tried to stab me. Punching the ghost. Give me my crack Isn't this like... I mean, don't keep yourselves like down. I mean, that's how you keep getting down is if you hear, hurt each other. Lift each other bed. up but instead then, of bringing each other down. What's truly horrifying is after this man was put down on the ground, they started hearing a voice in the distance calling out to them. Help me. What? what? It what was sounded that? like yeah, a that that six-year-old girl. Oh my God. The man in the trench coat was surely to follow that voice. Oh my, oh my god. god. What? And then the cameraman died. <laughs> if only what I had will my they revolver. find at the end of this mine? What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Oh wait, we're already there. At the end of the mine, the they end up finding Shelly. We found Shelly! Oh Shelly, my god, are you okay? Shelly, are you okay? It's a dead end. Shelly so, didn't Shelly. realize that she was possessed by the ghost of Jack Fletcher. Here? Wait, what? Oh my god, Shelly's possessed? Shelly, don't, don't, Holding don't, a knife don't, don't, in don't, don't, hand, Shelly, no. Jack Fletcher Shelly, has taken no. over Shelly. <laughs> Shelly. Ah! Oh. She stabs <laughs> Slick, <laughs> and Slick is on You're the ground. Jack Fletcher has possessed the woman's body and starts chasing them down. The cameraman pans over Ow. to the decrepit corpse of the old man that already looked like he was dead. Fuck you. Those were the last words this man spoke. Will anyone ever remember him? Leave a comment down below if you'd like to know what this man is doing with his life. Oh, wait, oh no, the ghost nothing, is grabbing he's me. Dead. Oh no, the ghost. Apparently, the ghost was a part of FaZe Clan and the guy disappeared. What do you guys think happened? Leave a comment down below what you think may have happened to the old man. Was he too ugly to exist in this world? Or maybe is FaZe looking for an old recruit at geriatric facility for diversity hire? <laughs> Honestly, I think this is a good... <laughs> this freaking... This freaking RP, dude. It's so stupid. Uh... As the cameraman heads out of the mines, he sees 
the decrepit corpse of the homeless man that was claimed to be Jack Fletcher. Turns out, this mine isn't harrowing or horrifying at all. It was just a homeless man that made it his house and didn't like people. Give me money. Or is it a homeless guy? As the camera zooms in closer, a transparent layer on his body starts to present itself. I'll cut your dick off. He's almost invisible. Is this man a ghost? If he disappeared, it would truly be not surprising. Or maybe he's just too high on crack. Give me, give me a crack. Give me bread. All right, I think I'm gonna F8 out of this. I'll see if they're at the end. He was broke at the moment? No, I mean, like, I just want to F8 because... Oh, they were waiting for me. The cameraman finally made it out, but they are curious. Is the man possessed by Jack Fletcher? It seems that Shelly, currently possessed by Jack Fletcher, is being performed by an exorcism by her friends. It seems Jack Fletcher has spread on to possess all the other Burger Shot employees and are trying to kill the cameraman. What happens next is truly horrifying as the woman with the blade in hand charges forward at the cameraman and stabs him. I can't. I have to do this! Yeah. Die! Yeah. Yeah. As the cameraman falls to the ground, the camera continues to roll as you see the woman make banshee wails as she flails about like a monkey. <laughs> and the rest of them get away like the gremlins they are. Do you think that she was possessed? Or maybe the cameraman just opened himself to a cultish experience? Is everyone at the burger shot a part of a cult? Who knows? Leave a comment down below what you think they might be. Shelly, do you still feel like stabbing people? You okay down there? The cameraman is dead. Oh, oh. That's my queen. I'm gonna go try to get that homeless guy. Hang on, I'm gonna kick this guy in the head. I feel better. I need to continue his uh, video though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on record. Oh shit. Oh, that's me. Might wanna let me go. I mean Thomas, it's been a while. I know, you know? it's been a while. According yeah. to yeah. the top comments, they said There we go, we can keep uh, we can keep it recording. Chilling. The man drags the cameraman's body. Yeah. They continue down the mines. Shelly, don't come back into the mines. But why? Where are they taking him? Do you think that maybe, just maybe, they're the ones that are possessed by Jack Fletcher and they're trying to take this cameraman back to harvest his flesh? <laughs> well, I'm real glad I don't have a knife right now. The man Maybe. carrying the body says that he's glad he doesn't have a knife. Is that because he wants to harvest his flesh? Or is That's it more because so he needs I don't a weapon to, to defend himself? Uh, I just don't want to get possessed by a knife wielding ghost. They continue down the corridors of this beauty is mine. They're confronted with a decision. Do they go left or do they go right? We oh, go wait, right. should we go left or oh, go left? Yeah, right. Go right. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. That's where the body is. 
You decide to go right because that's where the body was. Yeah, let's go get let's go get the people. Are they going to grab the other body so they have two bodies to harvest for Jack Fletcher? Yes, we must harvest the bodies now. Actually, three bodies. Oh, thank God, somebody's grabbing body. Body count. You fucking pissed on me. Oh god, of course he did. Let me go find Slick. Okay. That man disappeared. Wait, did they grab Slick? Wait, why is that guy dead? Wait, I thought that was Slick. I'm so confused. What was the fun here, Mr. Joes? He's already been stabbed. You coming? I mean, what yeah. do you mean, More plan? Power to you, man. This was Wait, one of the one most shirt? scariest locations in Los Santos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's dangerous for you, you know? You've got a camera. How are you supposed to defend yourself when you get attacked? No, I was hoping that here. you guys would help me. He's not down oh. here. I checked. Who you got there? Is that Slick? Maybe Steve. Oh, um, that almost guy. Maybe, maybe Slick. Oh, went. yeah. Wait, oh. this place has lights? What the fuck? Holy shit. Oh, that yeah, helped. it does. I thought you knew that. No, I didn't. I mean, I was starting to think they cut them off. But now it's less scary. Hey, it's not really a scary. scary video anymore. Wait, wow. It's Man. not very chilling, is it? I believe, yeah, I believe right. Slick went to sleep. Do you not remember him saying that he was going to leave halfway through the adventure? No, I didn't remember that. Well, okay, good to know. It's truly horrifying. Jack Fletcher took his body and dissipated it through the realm of our existence. Oh my god. Oh my That's god. so crazy. Some so say scary. this man may return another day, but will I mean, it the be the guy that the you remember? Hey, you guys want to eat this cameraman? Eat I'm him? not really hungry right now. Oh, okay. It seems that maybe oh, one of them camera, might still be possessed by Jack Fletcher as they continue oh, to drag this decrepit corpse of a cameraman through the mines. Why are they doing yeah, this? Do they not care about this human being? I get it, yeah. Do they get these bodies of Hellbox? The only thing that matters. How was this video his... recovered? Can anyone of you want to grab the tape of this uh, camera and you can actually upload it? I could sell it to Weasel News. Yeah, I mean, no, it sell it to hub. LSBN. Oh, fuck no. Fuck LSBN. Yeah, honestly. Wait, really? What happened? Yeah. Suggest that this is so fake. How you will believe this trash, Lamal? Another one Lamau. says, I miss the old Zach Chills. No. Oh. Another comment. The disappearance of the dislike button is chilling. Yeah. Another comment. Fake. Another one You're saying absolute chilling edit. Thanks for the likes. Are there I any shady links? Is, I love I, shady links. Those are my favorite comments. I click another those. Another comment so with a bunch of emojis saying you, you won't last 30 seconds hobo wars? watching this. Yeah, the hobo click the wars link below to find out more. Oh boy. They've got the first comment. Two hundred fifty dollars, and they don't scam. Another new comment. Hey everyone, giveaway on my channel. Make sure to like uh, and subscribe. We just... Was it you that left that comment? Whatever's ahead of us. But it's just Shelly. Oh, okay. Another comment saying yeah, first. Like there you go. You love she's pizza or anime self, tits. The Burger Queen. Oh, both at those. Forty-eight so seconds. So you can see how fake it really is. She's I'll have to rewatch it. Thank you. Not I scary. Oh my, god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I allowed to come past it? Yeah. Got a pentagram. Okay. Do you need a okay. sacrifice? I have this homeless man. Oh no no no! Give me please, back. please come into uh, freedom. Give me okay. back. Oh no! It seems that the oh, burger shop like... woman is completely possessed by her own entity. She is powered over Jack So Do you want this guy in your car? Thing. Uh, why don't you take him? Like, okay. I, I don't think I can handle the cringe anymore. Like, this is just cringe content for his live stream, I swear to God. A new comment says, whoever that woman is, is really annoying. She should leave. Wow. <laughs> wow. You're right, I am. It's called being a bitch. Suck it. Another comment. comment. Section. Ursula is so hot. I, I, I agree with that one. True. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody need a ride? Um, at 2.34, you can see it is clearly edited. This is so fucking fake. Yeah. Uh, do you want the homeless guy? Let's, let, since you're going to pillbox anyway. Yeah, get me the homeless guy, too. Yeah. 
He'll, he'll if you uh, give him five hundred dollars, he'll probably kill this guy a second time. So have fun. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll actually Agent. do it for. I think he's planning to do it for free. So you uh, give me five hundred dollars and I don't stab Thomas you in the hobo the wars. The pill box. Another comment. Does anyone yeah. know that woman's Instagram? Where'd Blood go? Do you have an Instagram? Yeah. Do you have an Instagram? Instagram? Oh, do I have an Instagram? Um, yeah. Do you? And I mean, not for me. I have Instagrams for cats. Uh, three, three, three kittles. Plug your socials now. I mean, that sounds nice, yeah. no, but you know. Another comment. That's hot. That's kind of hot. Another comment. Why is this on my homepage? Algorithm WTF. Oh, what's that smell? Yeah, algorithm. Why is this in my recommended? At 452, you can see he's. Okay, okay I'm gonna get these two at the pill box so I can get us in my car. I think his voice okay. is real. Right. Thomas, take care. Falling off. I watched for five years. All the videos are the same. Chills. L. If you take a moment to appreciate how effort he puts into the content for us. Ugh. What on air? Oh, ambulance! Ambulance! Yeah. Please take these off me. I, I can't handle this anymore. Normandy. I paid me. No, I don't nine one one. Here we are with the top ten most yeah, convenient. Two of these are EMS stab victims. Responses Were they in the mine? Coming in oh, number ten. This guy was a short the mine, bunch the of mine escort. The, I didn't the go, mine escort I was crisis. There. This video shows that these two ladies were heading down to save some lives at the mine. <laughs> but this guys, individual with a trench coat was trying to take them to the pillbox. Because I was there. The EMS cat ladies ended up responding oh. promptly and found them before yeah, he even got cringe. the pillbox. They were able to assess what the wounds in time. <laughs> They're raiding. He has a camera. What is he? He's just. He's a, this is this David Attenborough? We confused by seeing a camera. Why the fuck is... Hey, it's me, Steve. Yeah, we didn't do this. Okay, I love your work, Mr. Attenborough. Now... 10-9 for EMS, please. The lieutenant and the trainee get back into the car, but what they did not see was the Wendigo in the background. A Wendigo is much like a Sasquatch, a tall humanoid-like figure that's true. Uh, negative, we can meet them around at Sandy Shores. Chills. With the doors open, these Fred, individuals could be ripped away from this ambulance We're gonna let PD suffer at this any too. moment. As the just camera abandoning pans, the mines. you can see what? the window go Are these guys the not vehicle. the mines, Cole? I don't know. I think they are. Hey, look, the mines! Hey, look, okay, I'm just going to run in there real quick and look. Okay. There are nobody left in there. Or is you there? You guys were the ones in the mines. As the ambulance goes to a pause... A creature slowly approaches the vehicle. The ambulance attendee doesn't realize it, but the doors are all wide open. The people they're in the back open, could off. be ripped off. They're missing. Because these doors are missing. This They've already been thing. ripped off. They were Did ripped you... off by a horrid creature on Chiliad, who we've been running from for the past 30 minutes. So you're lucky we found you. This horrid if creature on the right top now, of Mount Chiliad apparently has continued to stalk them because this tall, towering, beast-like figure is seen in the distance on the top of the mound. It yeah. sprints at incredible yep, speed, that's heading him. straight we definitely towards need to the keep ambulance. Is this a podcast? Straight out of Jurassic Park. Yeah, I told him about the monster notice. that ripped off all the doors it's that we're running from right now. The camera oh, Okay, the podcaster, I don't mind, but this guy is just the worst. The camera pans over, and you can see the creature sprinting at the ambulance. With the doors the no longer a part of the ambulance, the creature rips the cameraman out of the vehicle. The cameraman is taken away, but what's to say what happens to the rest of them? The man wakes up in the hospital, but okay. what happened? Okay, Deputy Sutton, you are all set. Oh, hello, hello, sir. Dr. Derek Shaw, PPMD here. What happened? The camera. This is on duty. The camera did this to you? On, and you can see the man was put back into a hospital, but what happened when the creature dragged him out of the ambulance? Leave a comment creature down below what you might think happened. A creature dragged you out of an ambulance?
if I were to come up with anything, I think it was probably just a friend dressed up as a creature running around trying to prank someone. I think it may not even be real, but what if it is? Oh, that looks... What sort oh. of creature? That looks so uncomfortable. It's a Emma, some sort of creature attacked well, this man. In height, it destroyed several of the doors in the ambulance that the man was in. Just... As you can see by this footage, the creature clearly rips the man out of the vehicle. Was this the creature that just did left? He, did he have shaggy brown hair? Maybe. It's hard to <gasps> tell just, with this just, footage. Just let it free. But perhaps you can ask the the EMS that are currently driving to the pillbox to drop off another body. Maybe they saw a bit more. It just set a monster free. I mean, we really, I mean, did, it, did we really set it free or did it just kind of freak out and run out of here? That's it what it did. It kind of freaked out and ran out of here and almost yeah, hit somebody. Yeah, pu it pushed everybody out of the way. It's th throwing haymakers. A truly horrifying experience. What? We've got a comment saying that this is one of your best videos. Oh, wow. Maybe it's because the mayor's in it. Maybe. But what if She's I were to tell now. you? That's pretty hot. That the real reason that everybody's enjoying this is because you are about to perform one of the hardest surgeries known to man. Coming at number one, microbody and plastasia. Uh, hey. Microbody impostasia is a microsurgery that's incredibly invasive. They have to replace every single mitochondria in the human body. I feel like I've been shot. <laughs> this man grabs a dude from the bed and has to take him to the ICU and start oh operating God. on the dude to replace every single mitochondria. Um, I'm good. I'll just rest here for a little bit. As you can see in this clip, this doctor is clearly distraught over having to perform the surgery for the first time ever. It's never been performed before. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. But he does know oh. that the mitochondria- Hello. Sorry, Mayor, I was, I was just grabbing onto you because I'm terrified that I have to perform the surgery. Let's it's highly experimental, Mayor. This doesn't become the top five surgeries gone wrong. The doctor grabs the individual that has fallen off the bed, convulsing. Uh, camera pans over to the doctor as he picks him up. Uh, he starts oh dragging the corpse as it starts convulsing violently. Highly invasive surgery time, oh, guys. Shit. The doctor at least knows that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, and there are about 10 million billion, that's 100,000 trillion mitochondria in an adult human that he has to replace. That's a lot of mitochondria. All right, Dahlia, scans aren't looking promising. This is a severe trauma brought on by a giant 12-foot evil monster. It's whacked out his entire system. Oh, entire system is wacky. It's man. almost down to the molecular level. The man molecular grabs level. a microscope scalpel. It's a special to... tool that's used in surgery like this. This tool has a microscope attached to the scalpel. So he's able to see every single mitochondria in the man's body that's been infected by the creature so that he can replace it. But one thing that he notices that's truly horrifying is the fact that his body contains a certain substance. What's in his body? I don't know, Dahlia. Gotta look closer. Gotta magnify closer. So it looks weird. Let me see here. More what, magnification! What is, what is this? As they get closer, they see traces of chlorophyll. But what's the source of the chlorophyll? As he zooms out, chlorophyll? he takes a huge audible gasp that is heard in this film. <gasps> chlorophyll? More like borophyll. He says jokingly to reduce the sincerity and seriousness of the situation. He zooms out and sees that this chlorophyll is more of a fungus, a fungus particular from the burger shot burger foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your bloodstream is someone's foot fungus, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. A 4chaner uploaded a photo anonymously to the site showcasing his feet in a plastic bin of lettuce with the statement, 
this is the lettuce you eat at Burger Shod. Admittedly, she had shoes on. This person is known as Shelly. But Dr. Shaw, I don't deal with feet. What's even D worse? Dahlia, do you smell that? It smells terrible. I, I do. This is why I don't deal with feet. This is why I almost didn't get hired. Well, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll take care of the feet. <laughs> okay. A comment reads, I love how he records his surgery instead of focusing on how not to die. Chills loves us. You know, I do. I, I, Dolly, if there's one thing I got to say is, you know, this, this man, he's, he's, he's certainly a addicted to his art but in a positive way i think another comment I'm not quite sure hot locals in your area click here to meet the woman of your dream are you single do, do you, no do, i i do you think my, i have time to click that i mean you might i mean i'm not dating know, anymore my last husband died i mean should, should we click it or i, 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 I don't know do you want to click it continue to talk I mean, about whether or not they'll click on a suspicious link the man's body I don't know. starts I think, to convulse. I think we should. Whoa, and out of shaking. nowhere. No, no, we can't go that way. Oh, oh, God. What the hell? Where's that? What the fuck? What's that? It seems the 12 foot beast isn't done with this man. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. The doctors cower what? in fear as the doors slam open. The 12 foot beast crawls inside. And with a loud guttural scream, he That's grabs the victim and drags him away. Oh! Oh God! Not my patient. The doctors try to hold him back, but it's too much. Get back oh here. God! You bastard! Get back here! The cameraman is recording as as the twelve foot creature drags him away. No! Where'd he go? No! Where? Get Where him! Is he? Get the creature! He's so fast, the camera is having a hard time catching up and processing the footage. The 12 foot creature runs into the bushes. The creature jumps into the bushes and burrows a hole. Do they even find him? Who knows? But one thing's for certain. It's still alive, and it's probably still hungry, looking for its next victim. Will it be you? <laughs> what was freaky today, dude? Today's roleplay was freaking ridiculous. We went on for a long time today. Um, That was something else. Uh, I think we have, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow because Travis is on a 24 hour hold. I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. Like, do I have to log in during that? I don't know. I still want to do Joe, but I was thinking about doing Joe later in the, later in the day. I might do chills in the morning for a bit and then switch it up to something else. And then Thursday... We'll do uh, Joe later in the day. Can we do a quick check-in with Travis to see tomorrow? Yeah, I think we'll do a quick check-in later on with Travis. Because I think, when did we get arrested? It was like 2 o'clock. So, I don't know. That might be a while. Mental for EU. Oh, yeah, we might actually play Mental tomorrow. I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to do Burn Island RP yet. I feel like it's it's too it's too Halloween-themed, and it just doesn't feel right doing it. <laughs> but it's not Halloween. I feel like just going all out on Halloween there, you know? So. Anyways, that was a long, long, long stream of stupidity. Hope you guys had fun. Hope you enjoyed it. It was very goofy. I will see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what character we'll play. We'll figure it out. Fun day today. Fun day today. Peace out, Bean Sprouts. But remember, if you didn't subscribe or follow the stream, you may not know when you go live next. It could be tomorrow. But what if I were to tell you it could be in the next hour? 
<laughs> it actually does sound like Jugi. That's kind of creepy. Anyways, appreciate you guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for all the love. Uh, seriously, you guys are awesome. Primes, resubbers, followers, you're all amazing. Appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Tomorrow, I see you.